little. And I mean very little. So um, just to give you a, a brief outline, I, I know that Saturday I was talking about it a lot uh, throughout the morning and the afternoon show on Saturday that turquoise is very, very thin on the ground at the moment. Due to the closure of the Sleeping Beauty mine back in 2012, prices have gone through the roof for this gemstone. Um, Sleeping Beauty, obviously very difficult to get hold of now due to the mine depletion, but actually lots of US of A turquoise mines are not commercially mining anymore. Um, we're just not seeing it in the numbers that we were. And about 18 months ago, uh, a headline uh, in a gem uh, article online, that the headline read, turquoise will become as expensive as diamonds. And because of that rumor, prices have shot up massively. We're looking actually at something uh, very similar to, to what's happened with Tanzanite in terms of how quickly the price is rising and how limited this gemstone is becoming as well. It really is, as well as Tanzanite, something that you need to be getting into your stash. Whenever you see it here at Drawmaker, please take advantage of these prices because if anything i mean turquoise should be going up in price yeah. you know it shouldn't be coming down in price we are not as you well know here at Durmaker, you know we don't kind of jump on that bandwagon the same as everyone else and put prices up when that happens in the industry you know we pride ourselves on bringing you amazing prices and we always will now you've got 50 carats of turquoise that is natural now you'll notice on this just at the bottom of the screen above your telephone number there is another description of the gemstone and in brackets there are two letters that say st now that stands for stabilization now basically stabilization is not something that changes the gemstone as such so it isn't really classified as a treatment it just makes the gemstone even more wearable for you so it is fair to say um, that it is just even more wearable do you know what we're seeing especially with this strand here and a lot of the us of a mines is color that actually rivals the sleeping beauty turquoise mm, yeah. you're getting beautiful consistency of color throughout this strand and those blues are textbook we're looking at huge sizes here three by two to nine by two millimeters in size. You see, our band, director Ben, she said, Do you know what you can tell? You can tell, can't you, that it is US of yeah. A turquoise. And I think you can, you're right. It does, you know, um, have those hints of sleeping beauty in there, whereas your Tibetan turquoise has far more greener hues in there as well. Um, so, and I think maybe, you know, the, the more you work with gemstones, the, the, the more you come to notice the, the differences that you get with locations. Mm. This is a massive, massive carat weight of turquoise. And I don't think for one minute you would be able to pick this up in double figures anywhere, apart from us here at Jewelry Maker. Now these are last of stock, trust me on this. 49.95, <laughs> now turquoise at this moment in time, you can't get for a pound of carat. That's amazing, however, it's not your price. <laughs> oh no, oh no, Katie Reid. Uh, we're going down to 60 pence per carat. 29 pounds. This is turquoise. This, this is isn't a resin. Yeah. This isn't a substitute for turquoise. This is actual turquoise and you have a last of stock here. £29.95. 0800 644 Jennifer in Hampshire. Cheryl in South Yorkshire. Dawn in Gloucestershire. Fiona in Angus. Patricia in Surrey. Tracy in Greater London. Mary in Surrey. Please, please check out. Do not hang around at that price point. These will be sold out by the end of the hour. There's no two ways about it. You've got a massive, massive carat weight. Oh, look yeah, at that. Yeah, that is beautiful as a bracelet. Just as a simple yeah. bracelet. How great would this be for the guys yeah, as well, absolutely. you know? Stunning. Perfect for the gents. But do you know what? We can make an entire suite with this turquoise. That is a huge amount. Twenty nine ninety five. Do you know what? It, it just makes me want to be rather decadent with this and just think, do you know what? I'm going to use all of it in, in the bracelet design. Maybe some leftover for earrings there as well. But we could make that go such a long, long way. All you have to do to get this today 
is dial 0800 644 655. You press your option number one. That will put you straight through to the call centre. You need to confirm. Now, do remember you've got a 30 day money back guarantee. If for whatever reason you change your mind, not a problem at all, just send it back. But turquoise, I've always said this about Tanzanite, and I've now changed it to turquoise. You'll never, ever regret buying mm. turquoise, but you'll regret not buying it. There will come a time in the not-too-distant future where I think most collectors will be rubbing their hands together. Yeah. Thank goodness that we've bought it, you know? Mm. Do get... That's amazing, 29... I've got, I've got collectors multi-buying. Multi-buying. Oh, I've just spotted something. Um, these are coming up for you. This hour, as a star boy, towards the end of the hour, four millimetre quiser cola. Oh, wow. I tell you, those were the turquoise. Yeah. Got lots of turquoise yeah. blues in there, haven't you? Absolutely beautiful. They are beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I know, I love that. I saw these on an ad this morning and I was like, Whoa. oh, I need these. These are fab. You'll want to own coming up. At three o'clock, less than a hundred brand new strand for you. This is super duper cool, mm, isn't it? Yeah. This is amazing. Right, kit time. Tiger's eye, tiger's eye. The this one. one. Yes. <laughs> Looking along the line, we've got three parts to this kit. Ooh. I know. Or three kits, if you like. Do you know? I was when I was looking through the hours last night. I saw this. We haven't had this chain for, a long time, for ages. Yeah. The box chain. I love this. Really, really popular here at Joy Maker. Um, the box chain is fantastic. Really versatile. In fact, loads of you have been asking for this lately as well. Um, you've got a huge amount, huge amount of chain here. Box chain, you've got four sides. It is essentially that box connector that you've got in between. And you've got space in between there, enough room to be able to put your finer gauges of wire, in fact, thicker gauges of wire through there as well. There are substantial yeah. links you've got on there. 10 metres. 10 metres in total um, of your antique bronze, I beg your pardon, not 10 metres, 5 metres of your antique copper-plated box chain. 3 millimetres in size, those links are very sizeable. You've then got your wire, 10 metres of your 0.4 millimetre gauge, which is in the antique bronze there as well. Oh, I love the colour of this cord. Love that blue. Navy. Nylon cord, that's your point. Four point four millimetre gauge and look at these. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think this has got to be my favourite tiger's eye. I just Is love it? this, yeah. Because I think it goes so well with mm. with all sorts of different gemstones as well. You could pa pair this with Labradorite, you could yeah. pair it with Moonstone, you could pair it with um, Carnelian, you could pair yeah. it with Mukai. I mean, it, the, the list is endless, and I just think it just adds that little bit of mystery and mystical Isn't fantasy it, into yeah, the jewelry. Yeah, it's it is mystical fantasy. I like that. I do. Mm. I love this, and I love the blues that you've got in here as well. It's quite like Peter's site, actually, where you've got the blues and, and, and the golden hues in there as well. So this beautiful strand, 70 carats, 6 millimetre rounds, desert island size, and they've been faceted beautifully as well. Now, have a look at Katie's Jewellery. Have a look at some of these pieces. Oh, love these designs. Love them. What a great kit. What a versatile kit you've got there. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. That's super cool. I love that. I just love the, the, the whole sort of um, ethos of this yeah. sort of kit. You know, you, you can go quite classical or you can go quite yeah. abstract with it. And I really, really like that about it. Yeah, I love Oh Yeah, I totally get where you're coming from with that. That's beautiful. What a gorgeous kit you've got. Lots of components that can go such a long way. Um, do remember that nobody pays any more than anybody else. You will all only ever pay the final low closing price tag. doesn't matter what point you come in and check out. Just make sure that you're checking out and confirming your purchase. £26.30. That's your should be price. Should be. Where are we going? Mm -hmm. Wow. 19 pounds and 95 pence. We're under 20 pounds for you this afternoon. XE 
XC47 is your code for this one. 0800 644 I tell you, five metres of that, I love that. Well yeah, done. It, it's a really good. These are good kits for your stash building, I think. Yeah. Because, you know, they've got some really good components that you can mm. use either just on their standalone, as I've done in, yeah. in the pieces, or you can mix and match them with the, what you've got in your yeah. stash already, definitely. Oh, I do love those. Love, love, love those. Well done if you managed to get that. Right. Um, amethyst. Ooh, look at these. Oh, that chain. I know. It feels fabulous. It's really oh. fluid. Well, do you know what? I did have, actually, um, earlier on, a, I think it was, was it a metre? No, three metres. Quite similar to this, actually. Um, and it was really, really popular. It's just because we don't have it very often, do we? You know, no. And it is an essential. Mm. You, you're going to use chain at some point, whether it be for bracelets, whether it be for necklaces, or making tassels with something like this. Yeah. I love it. It's almost two-tone, this is. Um, I'm looking at it at different angles. And, you know, sometimes you're kind of seeing that oxidisation. Then other times you're seeing that real golden glimmer coming from that chain. It's really pretty, this one. Great for making tassels. Yeah. Um, you've got your antique bronze wire there as well. So that's your 0.4 millimetre gauge and you're going to get 10 metres. And apologies, you do get with the chain 5 metres of the chain there as well. Amethyst. Ooh. Yeah, it is. Look at that colour. Zambian. So deep, isn't it? It's just stunning. That's very, very luxurious. Zambian amethyst you've got there. Six millimetre rounds. They are beautiful. Look at that consistency of colour yeah. going throughout every single gemstone on that strand. And then you've got the cord to go with as well. So your cord, 70 metres of your purple nylon cord there. 0.4 uh, millimetres. 70 metres, huge amount. So we could be making macrame pieces. Imagine the amount of macrame bracelets you could make. <laughs> just putting one of those gemstones in with your cord there as well. Um, and as you said, Katie, great stash builders, yeah. these ones as well, having these kind of components. Take a look at the jewellery. 0800 644 655 or on the web today at jewelrymaker.com. Should be at £30.80. Now, basically what we mean by that is if you came in uh, and shopped with us on the web today, everything has a set price, if you like. Everything is set. So basically, when you get to the checkout, this is what it would cost you to have bought all of these mm. components. But because you're tuning in and you're watching us live, essentially, that code at the top of your screen is a discount code. You're going to get a discount yeah. on this kit today. And, you know, you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee. You've still got 30 days to think about it. If, for whatever reason, you change your mind, which you're not obviously going to at that price, £18.95. That's, That's Zambian yeah. Amethyst. <gasps> it's beautiful, absolutely. I mean, the necklace that I've made, I did the... Um, I've pearl knotted yeah. with the cord, and then I've actually done, like, a macrame knot, a slider knot on the back, so you ah. can wear it as a long-line necklace, mm. or if you're going to a festival, obviously the kit's called... Uh, what's it? Ha hippie Chick. Yeah? Yeah, Hippie hippie chick i think it is or chic yeah um then you could pop this around your yeah. um, cowboy hat at the festival as well Ooh. so it's a bit of a versatile one you I know like so with the sliding idea. knot at the top yeah. there you can have it onto your hat as well just as a little Perfect. bit of that's a great idea that is fantastic well done if you managed to get that one and finally uh, the snakeskin jasper with turquoise color cord i know Ooh. oh now look at those Limited kit, not a massive quantity of these. So dial in nice and early. You've got uh, 80 carats of your snakeskin jasper. Plain round, six millimetres in size, and that is a 38 centimetre strand that you have there. Your turquoise coloured, or aqua, I say aqua, well, it says aqua, I'm just like going with a bit turquoise. That's yeah, beautiful blue, turquoise. isn't it? <laughs> um, that's your point four, 70 metres in total. Another five metres of chain to add to your stash there as well in the antique bronze. The, the link's on this three by two to two and a half millimetres in size. And then you've got your antique bronze wire there as well. 10 metres. 0.4 millimetre gauge, 0800 644 655 POXC19. So this particular kit should be at £24.80. However, hmm. <gasps> are you ready? Are you steady? Do you know what? This is going to fly. Snake, snake skin Jasper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Easy for oh, you to say. £14.95. 
pounds and 95 pence. That's ridiculous, yeah, that is isn't it? Yeah. You know, even if you just used uh, a gemstone in each ear for mm. earrings, yeah. three pairs of earrings, you'd have your money back easily. Easily. Uh, POXC19, loads of you coming through for this. A massive, massive well done if you've already managed to check that out. I've got people multi buying, in fact, people multi buying for this kit. So a massive congratulations. And you know, there is nothing to stop you doing that either. You can buy as many as you like in any auction, whether it be tools, whether it be findings, whether it be kits. There's no limits. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> you can get as many as you like. Well done if you manage to check those out. What a great price point you've got there. Um, okay, then, Katie, so what are you going to show us? So I'm going to show you a couple of uh, techniques that I've done with the cords just mm. to kind of uh, show you a few different things. You know, we, we know about macrame and things yeah. like that, but there's like a, a couple of different sort of things I thought I would show you. So um, I'm going to start off with crochet. And mm -hmm. I heard Deb uh, Roger this morning talking about ah, crochet with yes, the she nuggets, etc. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is the kind of cord that you can actually crochet with. So to start off with, if I'm going to use the darker of the uh, three, and I'm hoping that we'll be able to see what I am doing. There we go. So we've now got the navy uh, cord. Now here, this is a uh, crochet um, crochet hook, and the size that I used um, on here was a 3.5. Now I know we had done packs of the crochet hooks um, so whether or not we've got any in stock at the moment I'm not sure but they are very easily obtainable but uh, these are the different packs that we've got so that's the the measurement and then mm -hmm. this is the actual hook on the top there that's going to help you create your stitches okay okay right then so in fact if we just stick on um, see I'm directed from the floor <laughs> Could we just uh, stick on to camera two there and then it might be yes, easier then. for us all to see uh, see this part Excellent. here. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a loop. Okay, so I'm just going <laughs> to... <laughs> He's funny, yeah, Ben, isn't he? He's joking, right, he's then, joking. So, literally, we're just going to... Uh, make a loop like so and then literally just wrap that around our finger like so and then pop the cord through so we're now creating a little bit of a a slip knot just there and we'll pop in our our crochet hook like that and we're just going to tighten that up so what we're going to do is just take the tail of our cord and then I'm just literally going to just put my finger onto the end of the cord. We're going to wrap the cord that's still on the reel mm -hmm. around, like so. And then use our hook just to bring that through the hole okay. that we've just created. So there's one. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just do another one there. And this is called a chain stitch. Okay. So this is what we're, you know, eventually doing is going to create a chain. And then that down like so and then you just keep going and then that is how you're going to create your chain now if you wanted to what I'm going to do is just as you can see now we've now mm -hmm. got our our chain so okay. that is um, basically what has made up this this necklace here so and it's a nice one to take on holiday because it looks very statement but yeah. it's very very light yeah yeah so you know and then at the back here if i just turn that around here i've literally just wrapped mm -hmm. the um cord around the ends and then done like a, a a little um wire bead cap on the top there just to secure that oh, all into place yeah. so when you are doing your um your chains mm -hmm. you need to kind of leave quite a long um i'd probably say about three or four inches right uh, cord at the end if you wanted to do that mm -hmm. if not you could then just um just create a knot and then tie okay. it around a jump yeah. ring if you wanted to do something like that so that's one technique with the with the wire uh, with mm -hmm. the um cord and as you can see it just I and mean, if you want to you can have a you know, it's quite stretchy, quite, you know, really of light course, and everything yeah. as well. So it's you, very, you, I, very love, I love about this, you can connect to it as well. Yeah. So with those loops, they're effectively linked. You could pop jump rings in there if you wanted to and add, couldn't you? So Make it, it's a gemstone. If you stuff. wanted to add your gemstones, if I just pop a couple. 
couple of gemstones on, so you could do that. Whoopsie. Not just, that one. I just throw them across the studio there. Oh. <laughs> I don't think it wants to play. <laughs> I'm going to put it there. There we go. Well, I'll pop that there. So I've just got two gemstones on there, so we'll just quickly do that again. So just pop that round into a into a little loop, mm -hmm. and then we'll pop that onto our crochet hook. <laughs> <laughs> if you would like to do it on camera too, that's very kind of you, Ben. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. So we just pop one, two, and then because we've already threaded on our beads, you mm -hmm. can then incorporate those into your into your. Um, there we go, like so, and then that is how you then would incorporate your beads right. into there and then but then like you say if you wanted to you could yeah. attach them with jump rings with jump or anything rings, like that and then you can change it up yeah. at any time so to create the feather uh, kind of effect that i've got on one of the one of the necklaces there if i just move this i'm going to tie just to not we can do this one on camera for now ben <laughs> 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 I love it, I love it. <laughs> okay then, right then, so we're just going to literally just tie our overhand knot. I hope he knows I'm, I am joking. <laughs> there we go, so just tie in that overhand knot and then I'm literally just going to, let's see, pop that down to there. So we've now got our overhand knot like so. So just take a couple of lengths of our cord, pop this in half, like so. And then what we're going to do with that is create a loop on one side and we're going to literally pop that underneath what we're going to now call our lazy strand. So that's going to sit in our lazy strand on mm -hmm. that side. Grab our loop on this side and that is going to, we're going to place that and that's going to pop up through the centre of our first loop that we've created. Just pop that down there and then bring the tails of our first loop through one and oh, my nails I've just cut my nails and they're all really short at the moment there we go so we've now got our tails on either side and then you're literally just going to pull those together like so and oh. then that's just going to create a nice little knot yeah and you are just going to do that all the way down so if you wanted to you could add in another two so if i just do that one more time so you pop a loop on one side underneath your lazy strand like so and then pop that one so that then goes up through the first loop mm -hmm. like so and then you're going to pop your tails through oh, that loop okay. there like that. I should have cut them a bit longer, but that's fine. And then grab our tails on the other side and then you pull those together. So it's a bit like a, I can't actually remember what the name of the knot is, but it is like a, a nautical knot, as yeah. we say. And then you would then push that up and right. just do that all the way until you get the size of the yeah. um, feather that you would like then tie another knot. Sometimes I would just dab a little bit of glue or something like that, just the tiniest bit in between. Mm -hmm. And then you can tie a knot on the other end and then add your beads, etc. Right. And then you would then cut round your feather shape. And then if you've got oh. some hair straighteners or something, very gently on very low heat, yeah. just, just give that a little bit right. of a straighten because then obviously, you know. But when oh, you do it, it actually yeah. starts looking like a, a moustache when you do it. Oh. <laughs> So if you're looking for a moustache for a Halloween That's party, there party. you go. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Um, Fourteen pounds and ninety-five pence for that part of the kit this afternoon. Make sure you're checking out for that one. Star by. Star by. Time's flying. Star by. <laughs> Cola. Look how long the strand is. Wow. I 
mean, to be fair, we don't. Well, I don't think our strands of Christ curler are normally this long. No. <gasps> I. I mean, like Twenty centimeters. Twenty centimeter strand of Christ curler. I think is probably the norm. I can't. Yeah. I can't really recall because I, 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 I'm probably thinking of the Christ curler coins that we've had, mm. where there's been like five on a strand. Yeah. So obviously that's a shorter strand. Um, to get rounds and to get a 36 centimetre strand as well, just beautiful. Do you know what? These colours that we are seeing are very reminiscent of turquoise, aren't they? We've seen a lot of blues in this particular strand that we've got, along with the greens as well. You've got that textbook Chrysocola look. Very earthy, very planet-like as well with those gemstones. 100% natural. A gemstone that has been used by some of the biggest designer houses in the world. I don't think at this moment in time Tiffany & Co have a design on their website, but very recently I looked and there was one design on there. It was a gents mm. bracelet design. They were rounds, actually. It didn't say um, how big the rounds were, or the carrot wipes for that matter, um, but it was £300, which I didn't actually think for Tiffany & Co. Yeah. I did expect it to be a bit more. You mm. know, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, but £300, I thought, actually, do you know what? That's, that's all right. It's Tiffany & Co. Yeah, OK, that's fine. But it's not a joy maker. It really isn't. And you know, I always think, what I love about these kind of gemstones is, Chrysocola, you're not looking for clarity. It's not a gemstone that has amazing um, transparency to it. It's a gemstone that is opaque. You know, it's all about the colours that you get within Chrysocola, the markings on those gemstones. And this, for me, I mean, this is as good as it gets. This is top quality Chrysocola that we are looking at here, which could quite possibly be on par with the quality that Tiffany & Co are using in their designs or any other big designer house. I love it when we have gemstones like this, whereby I can say that and I can think that and then think, well, do you know what? I'm going to make those pieces of jewellery mm. and they are going to be designer inspired pieces. Yeah. Fraction, fraction of the cost. Nothing on Tiffany's website at this moment in time, no Chrysocola. Now, I haven't heard any Chrysocola news as such as in limited supplies, but I, st I find that really strange that it has suddenly disappeared off, off of websites. Always makes me worry, always makes me think, hang on a minute, is there something going on in the industry mm. that we don't yet know about? Are prices going to be on the up for this gemstone? Because you can bet your bottom dollar that if there is a limited supply of Chrysocola, prices will be going up. Yeah. Most definitely. That's what happens in the gemstone industry. I've got 40 carats and they're four millimetre rounds, which has been rightly pointed out earlier on. Actually, this is fast becoming our desert island size, isn't it? You know, six mil, yeah. we've always said. But four millimetres, I think with the popularity of stacker bracelets, a four mil is, is perfect. I mean, look at that, you know, as a stack of bracelets, whether Beautiful. you are using your elasticity, whether you are using beading thread, they are stunning. Incorporating them in with seed beads mm. as well, you know. Four mil, you're probably looking at something that's not far off a size six in a seed bead. So beautiful across all my... Macrame. Macrame, Kumihimo. Yeah. Macrame, dense design. Perfect, I absolutely. I always say the natural coloured eslons because I love those. <laughs> I, like, I kind of like, I like the surface sheet look. Yeah. You know, like yeah. natural coloured eslons, hemp cords, um, leathers and things like that. These would be ideal for the guys. Channel setting in with your leather cord as well, using your suede, uh, suede cord as well. 40 carats. 40 carats of Christ. Oh, what? my <laughs> word. How what? many do we have, Kim? 180 or 118? 180. It's a great quantity, but at that price, it is yeah. not going to be enough. 0800 644 655. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Or on the web at jewelrymaker.com. IGNV73. Yes, Michael. Michael's back with my lunch. Yeah! <laughs> Sarah did. Ah, Sarah did. She went out. Bless her. Thanks, Michael. £12.95. Do you know what the great thing is as well? There's no limits. There isn't. We're not suddenly... Um, we're not suddenly going to say, oh, do you know what? This is a really great price. And we're considering this to be a clearance price. Mm. So we're going to limit you to two yeah. per customer. No. Fill your boots, fill your baskets, fill 
your trolleys. Get as many as you possibly can. What would you do with your strand, Katie? Well, do you know, I think I would definitely make some beady bead sort of um, <gasps> designs beads. as well with this. Yes. Yeah, so be could, ideal. You know, know, the colour is incredible. So you can have a little bit more of an impact yeah. as well. So I would do that and then um, probably use like the chain that we had in uh, some of the kits there mm -hmm. and do like a tassel from that and just do like a real nice navel length sort oh. of necklace. Yeah. Beautiful. I love these. They're amazing. Stunning. And what a phenomenal price tag. £12.95. Uh, Julie's got two. Amy's got two. Cheryl's got two. Collector's got two. Rosie, uh, Karen, Jennifer, Tracy, all there. Joanne, Anna, Deirdre, all there. Congratulations. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Oh, I think we'll probably get an on for 100, 80 to 100 gemstones. Mm. We, we launched Linda's DVD on Saturday yeah. uh, as well, the Beaded Beads DVD. Ideal if mm. you've got these. IG NV73, keep coming through. Can I just show you these? Three o'clock, we're half an hour away. You're one to own. Super cool. Yeah. These are so cool. I love them. I've got to have them. They will, indeed. Brand new strand, three o'clock, righty ho. 95 sterling silver wire for you now. Is it this one? Have a look at this. So 0.25 millimetre gauge, it's a very, very fine gauge of wire um, that we're looking at here. It is the finest of the 925 sterling silver wire. So for, for doing some really intricate work, maybe um, if you are, let's say, embellishing some of our filigree pendants, it mm. might be a butterfly or something like that, with a microfaceted gemstone. Yes, yeah. You'll need something like your 0.25 millimetre gauge to go through those drill holes. And, you know, we get through a lot of it as well. You know, if you're doing any uh, intricate wire weaves with your 0.25, you will need um, quite a bit of it. So do multi-buy wherever possible. You've got a full metre, a full metre long length of 925 sterling silver white. Now, I have a sneaky suspicion I can remember where this is going on price. If you are brand new to us here at Jewelry Maker, that's what she said, Ben. That's exactly <laughs> what she said. Um, if you are brand new to us here at Jewelry Maker, you've never purchased from us before, maybe you are already a jewellery maker, um, and, but you've not yet placed that first purchase, do it now. Do it in this auction. Because there's no minimum spend requirement and you will get two genuine gemstone strands and a getting started DVD free of charge there is no minimum spend requirement and of course when you're brand new you want to spend as little as you possibly can you're trying yeah. us out you know it would be the same wherever we went if you're trying something out you want to spend as little as you possibly can you may not have any clue what you're going to do with this wire right now but do you know what it doesn't matter it will come in a bag with some anti-tarnish paper keep it in there with the anti-tarnish paper leave it there for a year if you like not do anything with it just to get your two genuine gemstone strands and you're getting started dvd i'd be dialing i'd be coming in and if you're a regular here at jewelry maker get as many mm. of these as you can this is sterling silver wire this is something that all genuine gemstones i believe deserve you know a precious metal to complement your beautiful gemstones au rf one five is your code all the way down. <laughs> That's worrying. Oh. The producers are oh. nervous. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm. Kim's nervous. Pete says, "Oh, uh, one pound seventy-five." Oh, okay. oh, cameraman Pete. Do you know what he did at the weekend, Katie? What did he do? What did he do at the, weekend? Do at the weekend? Cameraman Pete gets up. Gets up Saturday morning. Ah, oh, what shall I do with my day? What shall I do with my day? Twiddling thumbs. I know. I'm going to climb a mountain. That's what Pete did. That's it. He drove to Snowdon, climbed Mount Snowdon, came back down, went home. That was Pete's weekend. How amazing is that? How amazing. I love that, Pete. I love it. I really do. Uh, Tracy in Greater London has got two, Sherilyn in West Midlands has got three, uh, Jennifer in Hampshire, Stella in the Highlands, Mandy in Hertfordshire, you've got two, lots and lots of you coming through for that. Keep dialing, keep confirming, it's just £1.75 for your sterling silver wire. Do you know what, even if you don't need it right now in your stash, you can guarantee that when you do need it, we won't have it on yeah. air. 
It's always the way, isn't it? Yeah. With, with, I'm not going to call this an essential essential, but it's pretty essential in my opinion. Um, it's always the way. When you need something, we don't have it on air. So do fill your baskets. Right. Mini findings pack. Now, um, yes, it's this one. Sterling silver. Have a look at this. So this is a findings pack to make a suite of jewellery. Um, so you've got your head pins and you've got your shepherd's hooks to make earrings. And you then have two jump rings, two crimps and a bolt ring clasp to finish a bracelet or a necklace design. So you have in total nine pieces of sterling silver. Now, I can't urge you enough to be multi-buying on this. These are absolute essentials. And if it is 95 sterling silver that you are using, then aside from these findings packs, there is not a huge amount of the essential findings individually that we have here for you. So come in and buy as many as you can this afternoon. You know, we bring you an abundance of very high-end gemstones here at Jewelry Maker. I mean, even, even the, the Chrysocola that we just had, you know, the turquoise that we had. If you are wanting to use 925 sterling silver, and you get halfway through a design and you find that actually you've run out of mm. your bolt ring clasps. What do you do? Yeah. I mean, it stops you. You, yeah. can't, you can't continue until you've got those findings. So for jewellery makers, time is money, you know, and if it holds you up, then well, it's yeah. annoying, it's, it's frustrating. It and sometimes you think, all right, I'll just put that aside, and then you forget about it anyway sometimes, yeah. and then you come back to it and you're like, oh, yes, I needed to get yeah, that, yeah. You know? So, yeah, definitely I would get when you see... Yeah, you, you've got to be quick, haven't you, to get these? You really do. Come in and get them. Again, even if you don't think you need them right now, it's about getting them when we have them on air. Honestly, we can go weeks, we can go months without seeing some things. And when you need them and you haven't got those items at home readily available to be making either that commission or that special piece for somebody's birthday. Mm. I did it, actually, prime example, I did it a couple of weeks ago. We had um, the Clevel Treff. Um, treble treff, treble, treble clef. <laughs> Look, can I just say <laughs> that I have been here since 8 a.m. this morning. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. No, um, treble. <laughs> what did I say? Treble treff. <laughs> I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave yeah. it. Yeah. No, we had some treble treffs. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought to myself, oh, I must get one of those. It was my sister's birthday. I must get one of those. Perfect. She loves music. She'll love it. She'll absolutely love it. And I left it and I didn't get it. And I thought, oh, it's all right. I'll just go onto the website. We didn't have them on the website. And do you know what? Actually, they ended up probably, yeah. Um, ben says, did we not have them on the website, Hannah? Because you searched for Clebel Treff instead of Treble Clef. <laughs> it could have been. Well, it could have been, you know, who knows? But that's just a prime example. You know, that was just for a birthday gift. But I was gutted that I missed mm. out because my sister's actually really difficult to buy for as well. And that was like, yes. Yeah. It was a light bulb moment for me and I missed the opportunity. Anyways, oh, yeah, hundred six double four six double five. Do you know what? £2.95 pence for you this afternoon. If you've got any of those incredible pearls that we've had here at Jewelry Maker, your mm. high-end Tanzanite, your dime, any of your big five, or any gemstone for that matter, £2.95 pence for you this afternoon. 0800 644 655. It might be that actually you're thinking of getting somebody involved in jewelry making. So maybe, you know, if you've been jewellery making for a few years now and you've got a friend or family member that's shown a keen interest, perhaps, um, in what you do, then maybe, you know, come in and get them this findings pack. Come in and get them a strand of gemstones. Tools. I think we've got, have we got any tools coming up, Kim? Did I see tools or did I imagine it? Yeah, a couple of tools uh, coming up later on as well. So lots of bits and pieces throughout the show. I think it's a great gift idea to get yeah. somebody started on actually a hobby that's affordable. You know? Yeah. So it's, it's affordable hobby, you know? Um, two pounds and, and there's no subscription. No subscription. You're not yeah. committed, you know? Yeah. You can just come in as and when with something like this. Yeah. <laughs> right. No, I tell you what, I've never ever seen, I don't think I've ever seen Botswana Agate faceted. I 
think that threw me then. Oh, wow. yeah. Sorry, Casey. Oh, that's, right. that's fabulous, isn't it? <laughs> Vine! <laughs> I think that's why I was I was looking at it and yeah. I could see it was spots one and I go, but it kind of I think it just stopped me in my tracks. It I've never seen it like this. I don't it's think triangle have cut, I yeah. seen it faceted. I genuinely because it's normally rounds, you know, it's mm. normally rounds or cabochons. Wow. Look at the oranges in there. Oh, that's a beautiful strap. How colourful is this? 50 carats of your multicolored Botswana agate, 6 by 5 millimeters in size, triangle cut. Wow. I, they are stunning. They are fantastic. Really, really pretty. I think actually as well, you know, I mean, we've seen a lot of Botswana agate and it does take on um, toned, quieter tones is mm. what I'm going to say. Quieter tones. Yeah. However... This particular strand, there's some punchy colours in there, there isn't there? There is, yeah. I mean, as I said earlier on about the types, I'd go with carnelian and the things. I mean, you've got like carnelian-esque colours yeah. in here. Yeah, carnelian hues in there. Oh, my God. This I is really, fat. really yeah. love this. Something different. And do you know what? Botswana agate, it is a variety of agate that actually isn't very affordable. Mm. And, you know, agate, generally speaking, is a very abundant gemstone. But Botswana and blue lace do have higher price points on them because they're not as abundant as your, your regular mm. agate, if you like. This is completely natural. Yeah. So, uh, do you know, I don't... I probably have seen the oranges, but not in abundance. You know, it's always like toned down hues. There's so many mm. bright colours in this beautiful strand. This is stunning. Absolutely beautiful. And, you know, I'm thinking autumn. I, I always kind of... I think carnelian makes me think autumn anyway. Yeah. And I've got carnelian hues here because of those burnt oranges. And I think because it's a little bit more toned down as well. I'm not saying you have to use it for, for your autumn designs, but as jewellery makers and, and designers, we have to be thinking forward ahead to the next season. So oh, yeah, for me, I'd be coming in and getting this because I think it would sell like mm. hotcakes um, for next season. Textbook banding you've got in there as well. You'll never get an identical match. You might get a couple that are very, very similar, but you're never going to get an identical match with these. Oh, they're so, I love the cut on them. Love, yeah, love, love the cut. it's kind of, it's like a bicone, but it's not a bicone because it's that triangular cut there and there's like the triangular Yeah, it's, 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 it's cross between a bicone and a round. Yeah. Almost. It's, isn't it? Yeah. I love them. Okay. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34. 36, and we're about halfway, 35, 36, talking about 70, 72, Jan says. What would you do with them, Katie, do you think? Uh, with these, actually, I would probably um, pop them in between some of our pearls that we have, like the, um, you Ooh. know, just, just to add that little bit of sparkle, just to kind of Imagine. go with, with the shiller as well. So They'd work be, great yeah. as, um, as spacers, wouldn't they? Mm. Really pretty. But again, do you know what? Stacker bracelets, great yeah. size for your stackers. Loads of you coming in for these and multi-bind as well. A huge congratulations. Keep coming through and keep checking out because nobody will pay any more than anybody else. You all only ever pay the final low closing price tag 50 carats in total you've got there 0800 644 655 stretchy bracelets and yeah. great stretchies 14 pounds and 95 pence do you know what loads of you checking out and loads of you multi-buying at that price as well but it's not your price mm -hmm. i know it's not <laughs> even your price all the way down. That's um, that's amazing. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I was not. Expecting. That's six ninety five spots. Wana as well. That's an incredible price point. So all of you that have just checked out, you can high five each other. I mean. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Virtually. Virtually, that's the word. Thanks, yeah. Katie. <laughs> I thought I was going to be there a while then, but thanks. Um, yeah, virtually high five each other because you've just made a huge, huge saving there. Well done if you've managed to check that one out. 0800. In fact, that's better than half price, isn't it? 
Better yeah. than half price. Wow. You can still get involved. You've still got time. All you have to do is dial 0800 644 655. Press your option number one and get through to the call centre as soon as you possibly can. If you are on the web, just make sure you're checking out as soon as you can. Loads of you there. Well, it's $6.95. Oh, this has been really, really popular. I think these colours for a lot of people will probably be your favorite color combinations in there not not necessarily sorry not your favorite color combinations but your favorite colors yeah you know purples and blues the neutral tones you've got oh, i love this one here look at that one oh, it's like a heart that's cool isn't it but look at that blue that looks you can you see how you've almost got that shade in in that blue it reminds me, you know, when you see um, like aerial images of islands in the ocean and mm -hmm. you've got the different depths in the ocean, so it changes colour. Yeah. That's what that reminds me of. That's really, really pretty. Now, Terra Jasper, we haven't had it for a huge amount of time here at Jewelry Maker. Probably six months. That said, I'm not great with time at all, so it could be longer. Um, but it is, it's, it's like um, turquoise. It kind of takes on the look of your matrix, your webbing in, in turquoise. It's incredibly beautiful. And these colours seem to be the most popular, your purples and your blues. I think because we've got that combination of them in there as well, that's probably why these have been massively popular. I just restrand, yeah, definitely. not them. Mm. You know, beautiful necklace design. They would look amazing and again another variety of jasper here at jewelry maker we could we could spend i know we have jasper days whereby we might have a couple of strands an hour we could literally spend all day bringing you that's mm. how many varieties of this gemstone yeah. there's thousands of varieties of jasper out there lq gp 31 is your code 12 millimeters in size 38 centimeter strands you've got there two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four twenty six twenty eight thirty thirty two individual gemstones are you ready are you steady right kim's ready ben's not ready it's too late then <laughs> hold on to <laughs> Are you ready, but you're not steady? <laughs> £9.95. Do you know what? A pair of earrings, two gemstones, even on your plated base metal, yeah. I think £8 would be an amazing price point. To the point where you'd have people multi-buying mm. at £8, you know? To say you'd have your money back is an understatement. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous strand. Do you know if you use the Chrysocola as spacers in there? Beautiful, Ooh, yeah. That would be rather decadent, wouldn't it? Oh, stunning. And then if you had, if you bought uh, the two kits, <gasps> so you've got your, your turquoise and the purple, you could uh, use both those strands together. <laughs> There's and, a kit, and then right do now. like a yeah, and do like a pearl knotting with that there. You know. So. Oh, look at see. I'd have to yeah. get the kits. I'd have to get the kits for those. Really look at those together. Look at all of these. I think I may have just got those mixed up. Oh no, there we go. 0800 644 655. Beverly's in Cardiff, Sheila in Greater London, Diane in the Shetland Islands has got two. Julie's in Gloucestershire. Pat in Menorca. Weather check. Weather check. 32, Kim thinks. I'm ben go, thinks 35. I want to go 38. So I'm going to go. 26 because it has cooled down now is it 34 oh. pete didn't even get a go yeah. what, what are you going with pete I was that say 34. <laughs> 34. <laughs> honestly <laughs> unbelievable and is it rises to 35 in an hour that's hot pat mm. in menorca sizzling see it cooled down apparently like all the the canaries in spain and stuff had like 45 yeah. degrees didn't they a couple of weeks ago and then it cooled right down last week my husband was in portugal <laughs> and it was hot to hear i found it hilarious <laughs> oh no we shouldn't ask should i but right emerald emerald faceted rounds this is another luxury, you know, to get emerald in rounds. We used to see nuggets. We see the Brazilian nuggets um, here at Jewelry Maker. Uh, pears, drops, rondelles, yeah. rounds. 
it is a rarity, it really is. And I, I love this because obviously different shapes and different sizes will lend themselves better to different designs, you know? And I, I can't imagine it would be that easy to incorporate a pear drop into seed beads. Yes, we could drop them off of the design, if you like, or seed bead bezel around them, but I mean to actually incorporate mm. them. Whereas you take your five millimeter round, sorry, your three millimeter round, and actually, we can do that very easily. You know, it's in keeping with the shape and yeah. size of the seed beads. Um, but again, channel setting. If you're using the bead loom where you need that consistency in size, then it's perfect for that as well. So having these different shapes and sizes is really helpful in our stash because it means that however our creative juices flow tomorrow, which, mm. let's be honest, we may never know day yeah. to day, um, it may be that actually this is perfect for the design that you've got in your mind at the time. I, lo I love emerald, so, you know, I'm there already. But emerald, it's one of your big five. One of the most precious, and the great thing about the Brazilian deposit is the number of tones that you get. So your Brazilian, um, your Brazilian emerald, you've got the deep, dark, really deep, rich forest green hues right mm. through to far more vivid hues, and you've got softer tones in there as well. So you've got a real mix of colour. And look at that. Beautiful. Sparkle is not the first word you think of with emerald, is it? No. But look at them go. That's stunning. They are incredibly sparkly. Twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> <laughs> they are so sparkly. Do you know, I think I'd be decadent with these. I think I would just restrand yeah. and add a clasp. I think so too. Perfect. And that's my bracelet. Yeah. You could maybe add a little charm in there. Now, my favourites, I know, I know I'm a terrible creature of habit, but we had some amazing... They were only at 10 millimetres in size. The gold-plated um, angel wing charms. Mm. They're some of my favourite charms that we've ever had. Just, I just pop one of those in the gold onto there yes. as well, I think. Mm. Gifts, perfect. So if you are doing a birthstone collection, May, uh, Emerald is the birthstone for May, so you will need to have that one in your stash. DENV02 is your code for this one. Three millimetres. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Probably looking about 80 gemstones there. 14 pounds. And 95 pence. 40. This is emerald. If you are brand new, if you've just switched on and you're thinking, this can't be right, you know, and I would totally yeah. be with you. You know, there is no small print that's whizzing so fast across the bottom of the screen that you can't read it. There's no catch when you come through on the, on the, on the web or on the phone lines. The price tag that you're seeing on your screen is the price tag. And all you're paying on top of that is 3 95 for your postage. Mm. And that's it. That's it. And this is Genuine Emerald. We're into our 10th year now here at Jewelry Maker. We've been doing this for some time. We're getting it right, you know. 14.95, amazing. Well done. Wire. Uh-oh. Champagne. Oh, how many do we have, Akim? Kim? This is amazing. Right. Multi-buy, multi-buy, fill your baskets. If I could do a supermarket sweep... Yeah. <laughs> it's the most popular colour in our wire, the champagne gold, and a 0.6 millimetre gauge. A 0.6 millimetre gauge, Kim. <laughs> These are going to sell out. They will sell out. Now, the six is, is very... Um, Come on, Katie, read my mind. You did it before. It's a number in jewellery making that is an essential... I'm going to yeah, say it's an essential it number. It is an essential number. I'm going to yes, say it's an essential it's, number. Yeah. In your wire, in your, in your gemstones, yeah. you know, it's one of those where you're just like, yes, it's 0.6, Six, I can use it. It's an ab magic number. There you go. Yeah. It yeah. really is. <laughs> um, so to make findings with your 0.6, if you're making head pins, you can rosary link with your 0.6, you can make mm. earring findings with this as well if you want to. And look at that colour. Look at that colour. I love the champagne gold. Yeah. And I, you know, completely honest with you, I'm not, I don't use base metal uh, a lot at all. You know, I always tend to go for sterling silver. Mm. But the champagne gold is just beautiful. 
I would, you know, I would come in and I'd get 10 of these today. Yeah, I think a, it's so. the 0.6. B, it's champagne gold. You need to stock up your stash with this. It's going to fly out the door. £2.95. It's 29 pence per metre. So to make a head pin, a connector, yeah. an eye pin, you're talking pence. Yeah. Practice wire. Yeah. I don't think I could come with the champagne gold. <laughs> I love it too much. But you could at that price, two pounds and ninety-five pence. Do you know what? If you make a couple of eye pins, you're practicing your your yeah, wrap loops, loops and stuff. Yeah. If it doesn't go to plan, don't sweat it. It's two pounds and ninety-five pence for ten meters. C I Z R. 83 there are loads and loads and loads of you there with these in your baskets right now what a great opportunity mm. to stock up today do you know what i love with this as well you know the um the little spirals and the cage the, when you cage we had some tiger's eye eggs this morning i saw that cage and yes, the, you yeah. could use that if you wanted to you can use it as your more structural wire where mm. you need to but actually you know Rosa Lincoln, your Viking knit as well. Yeah. We use 0.6 for that as well, I think, I'm pretty sure. 2.95, loads of you buying twos, threes, fours of those. Keep coming through. Well done if you manage to get that one. Coming up for you after the break, your one to own. It's gonna Our jewellery maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people? Are you new to jewellery maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck! Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details and either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. You can watch our Jewelry Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. Wake up and tune into Jewelry Maker every morning at 8am for our early bird special. We have some great offers, amazing deals and great prices to bring to you. So that's 8am every morning and you know what they say, the early bird catches the worm. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewelry making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Look at these. <gasps> oh, Kim, these are going to sell out. Do you know what? I, I, I saw these last night when I was looking through the hours for today. And they are super cool. They are so cool. Mm. Um, but hematite as well. We yeah. had, didn't we? We had a strand of hematite last week. And we were saying then that we can't remember the last time we saw hematite as it is, you know. And I mean, I love the coated hematite, don't get me wrong, but mm. it's been such a long time since we've seen it as it is, as hematite. And metallics, Deborah and I were saying this morning on the morning show that actually metallics, do you know what? Every season, yeah. every season, when you, you know, when you watch footage of Fashion Week or you look at the images from Fashion Week, the metallics just keep coming round and round and round. They are always on trend, your metallics. There is something very edgy about this strand. I love, I love the fact that when we have strands like this, you could take something like, um, like a traditional strand of pearls 
And you could really give it that modern, mm. edgy look, yeah. couldn't you? You know, it's a strand whereby you can completely transform a design. Whatever design it is that you are making, you can completely transform it by literally just adding a few of these gemstones in. They are in And look at the, again, consistency. There are, you know, several strands. For example, we might even have a strand around whereby they're not, they are all rounds, but they're not um, exactly the same size. It might be a graduated strand, or it might be rondelles that are graduated. Designs whereby you need that consistency in size. If you're working on the bead loom, you know, if you are somebody that is very much about symmetry um, and having that, that perfect piece, these, oh, they will look amazing. They will look incredible. Now... Bad news, <clears throat> and there is some, I'm afraid. It's the quantity, I know. But, I mean, I say this, it's the first time to air, right? I look at this, and sometimes I think, oh, do you know what? I'm gutted, I wish there was more, because I want everybody to get this. But then actually I think, do you know what? We do have those, those auctions whereby, you know, lots and lots of you can, can take part. With these auctions, I actually quite like it because it is about owning something that is limited edition. Mm. You know, we've never seen this strand before here at Jewelry Maker. You've never seen this strand before here at Jewelry Maker. There's only 77 of you that we will be able to get this. It is extremely limited. And when you think of the thousands and thousands of viewers that we have here at Jewelry Maker, I mean, what's the chances of you bumping into somebody else wearing this? Unless, obviously, you know, it might be that you come, you come onto one of the workshops and, you, you know, you bump into that person that yeah. has bought the strand as well. That aside, chances are you're not going to bump into that person. And you know what I love? If somebody does say, oh, I love that piece of jewellery, let's say earrings with these. Love those earrings. Where do you get those from? Uh, well, I bought the gemstone strand from uh, Jewellery Makeup. It was limited edition, so you can't get it. Well, I do like that, I'm yeah. going to be honest with you, I do like that. Having that exclusivity is fantastic, isn't it? It really is nice. So, you know, you will be part of a very exclusive club. We can count, well, I can count on, on one finger, in fact, the, um, the amount of times I've had hematite this year. Yeah. Actually, sorry, in its, in its natural form, if you like, not coated yeah. as it is, and that was last week. Other than that, I have not seen a strand of hematite for probably at least a year, I would say, if I had to hazard a guess. Are you ready? Kim's ready. Are you ready, Katie? I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Michael? Born. Born. <laughs> Born ready. Paul, are you ready? Oh, there's always one. There's always one, isn't there? No, I don't think I am, to be honest. We're just going to have to wait. As soon as those graphics are in, get dialing and get checking out for this. You've got a beautiful, beautiful strand. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 33. And we're just waiting for Paul. <laughs> and the graphics will be right with you. <laughs> Do you know, I'd make 33, 33 gents' designs mm. with he's down, this. He's the thing. Uh-oh. He's ready. Oh, was he ready? Yeah. He gave the nod, he gave the sign. Oh, did he give the... I couldn't see him. Yeah. Uh, 90 carats of beautiful hematite. If you want to add luster into a design if you want to add weight into a design this is your gemstone the luster from these just one of those will have the most incredible incredible impact imagine um, i keep looking at your earrings funnily enough katie because yeah. they are so sizable and they're so statement one of these going for tassel style earrings mm. just one of these at the top of this tassel yeah. for example you know and then maybe adding a bigger gemstone mm. above it perhaps or just keeping it more simple if you want to you know and using them as spacers in between gemstones are you ready 
<gasps> oh, let's not, we will not do that again because Paul will just hold us up too much. 0800 644 655. Eight pounds and 95 <sighs> pence for you this afternoon. 8.95. Eight pounds and 95 pence. Do you know what? I can see your quantities now going up. Mary and Jerry in Lincolnshire have just got two. Carolyn Bedbridge has got two. Peter in Tyne and Weir. Linda in Nottinghamshire. Tracy in Greater London. Lynn in Greater Manchester. Julie in Gloucestershire. Julie in Essex. Andrea in Norfolk. Rebecca in Essex. Beverly in Cardiff. June's in in Worcestershire. Ruth in Hampshire's got two. Well done. Susan in Greater Manchester. Jean, Isabel, Collector in Cumbria. Keep coming through. Keep dialing and keep checking out. What would you do with your strand, Katie? Well, I think I would incorporate these into a steampunk design because they Ooh. really, really would lend themselves yeah. to that. Um, you know, so you could do mm. um, some of the sterling silver wire and do a, a gizmo coil on there, yeah. and then just incorporate these in between. So, um, or even like a macrame style bracelet as well. You could pop these oh, into a see, macrame yeah. style bracelet. You know, so it's it's a real sort of unisex um, strand as well. And the aesthetic it is, is, it? is there for, as you say, for your edgy looks. And, yeah. and looking at the, the um, catwalk, I mean, I've been watching loads and loads of catwalk um, shows on, online at the moment. Mm. So, And um, there are such designers like Louis Vuitton and Versace and that chains and sparkle. Oh, yeah. And there's a lot of heavy chains and sort of like See, metallics yeah. in, coming in for, yeah. the, for the autumn, winter, definitely. And this is going to be... You know, inspired. Yeah. Um, do you know what as well? It's quite, it's quite uh, de deceiving this strand as well. Because I was looking at thinking, do you know what? It's on beading thread. Drill holes probably quite delicate on these because it's on beading thread. But actually, it's really sizable. So beading thread through there, and I've just managed to get a standard size head pin through, as well as the beading through. And there's room for more in there as well. So actually, that is a really, really sizable drill hole that you've got on these as well. Eight pounds and 95 pence. Diane's in West Yorkshire, Eileen in Greater London, Lynn in Surrey, Sheila, Jean, Isabel. Well done if you manage to check those out. 8.95. Winner, winner. Uh, chicken dinner. What? <laughs> <laughs> Michael said chicken. Paul said, oh my gosh, roast it. Um, oh, I could eat a chicken dinner. Mm. Roast yeah. dinner. A roast chicken dinner. Yeah, but I've yeah. missed, this is the thing, when it's warm, so yesterday I didn't have my roast dinner, and you know what I'm like with my roast dinners, I have to have a roast dinner on a Sunday, because of the hot weather I've not had one for quite a few weeks. Oh, see, so what we do is we... when you're in Wales, when it's raining? Of course, yeah, next week when I'm we in Wales. We change it up a bit, we still have a roast chicken, but we have it with salad. salad. That's yeah. what I did yesterday, yeah. but it's not the same. No, it isn't. I want veg, I want yeah. gravy, I want my stuffing, <laughs> I want my Yorkshire pudding, I want my pigs in blankets, I want my cauliflower cheese. What are you having for dinner, Paul? Kim? Indoor barbecue. Ooh. That's not very safe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, barbecue food in the oven. Yeah. Kim, you haven't got barbecue. You don't got barbecue. Oh, you need to have housewarming. Yes. It's too late for that. <laughs> no, it's not too late. It's never too no. late. Um, what about you, Katie? What's on your menu? Oh, I don't know what I'm having today. I might stop at the Golden Arches on the way home. Cheeky, cheeky. <laughs> right. Uh, Tiger's Eye. This is a beautiful graduated strand as oh, well. Wow. So this is, I mean, all but restranding. Pretty much a ready-made yeah. necklace, isn't it? You yeah. know? Um, all you've got to do is restrand. You could knot in between those gemstones if you wanted to, which would look lovely. You could add spaces, little gold seed bead spaces. Would mm. look really pretty in between Stunning. those, wouldn't it? Stunning. Hematite. Yes, Kim. Yeah, tiger's iron yeah. as well, which has the hematite in there. So, yeah. That's a great idea. That, that, see, that, lovely, look how... Yeah. It, that hematite is going to transform every, mm. uh, transform every single design, isn't it? You know, it really, it, I mean, it completely changes the look, doesn't it? That tiger's eye, incredible. And I was talking about this morning on, on the morning shows, um, looking at Grazia magazine, other magazines that are available. Um, and there was a little um, article in there about uh, celebrities that use certain gemstones for their supposed uh, healing properties. Adele and Kate Moss are two that have a collection, supposedly, uh, of uh, tiger's eye. 
for its metaphysical properties. And there was a lot, loads of different Helena Bonham Carter, you mm. know, talking about gemstones and why they, they have them and why they use them. Um, and again, Tiger's Eye is one of those that, that has a huge amount of myth and folklore and legend to go with as well. And it's, I love, I love the colour, I love the colours, I love the blues, I love the pink tiger's eye, I love the golden tiger's eye that we had earlier on. But I always steer towards, gravitate towards the natural yellow tiger's eye, yeah. you know, it's just, I think it looks very organic, I think it looks, it reminds me, always has reminded me of, of a very old kind of vintage, highly polished furniture, yes. you know, yeah. it just, there's something quite woody, quite organic looking about this so if you've got any of the the wood strands perhaps that you can incorporate into the same design i think that would look lovely that's your toyancy i mean that's textbook you know this is a gemstone again that doesn't have transparency it doesn't come with transparency it's an, it's um, an opaque gemstone it's all about that chatoyancy so you know with this being incredible quality it's fair to say that this is as good as it gets yeah. you know the, the colors on this is absolutely incredible these are fantastic. And as you say, it's just a ready-to-go restrand necklace. So if you are starting to make for your Christmas fairs and things like that now, this is perfect. Yeah, really is, yeah. isn't it? I love these. XKP050 is your code for this one. 0800 644 655. Do you know what? We've done most of the work for you, haven't we? You know, we, we've taken the gemstone, we've cut the gemstone, we've polished it beautifully to give you the best of that chatoyancy. We've graduated those gemstones across that strand. Six pounds and ninety-five pence. What kind of price point do you think you'd sell that on for, Katie? Just um, you know, I don't know if you've just reached just like that with the sterling silver, like the class that we had earlier on. I would probably sell that in the region of probably like thirty-five to to thirty pounds. I think depending on obviously oh, where you're selling. Point. But yeah, six ninety-five cost. <gasps> Jokes. Um, right. Oh, Kimmy. Do you know, I love this strand so much. Obviously, I love the gemstone, but the colour of the tassels. tassels. <laughs> we never see this colour in any... I've never seen it in any... It's like a silvery gold, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Or like a... Mink? <laughs> mink? Taupe? Yeah, yeah, either or. I mean, look yeah. at that. Isn't that pretty? Look at those gemstones go. Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh. Oh, that is <laughs> How expensive does this look, this strand? Yes. It looks incredibly high end, doesn't it? I love. In fact, I was talking about this particular strand. Mm, what day is it today? Monday. I was talking about it on Saturday. Uh, I was talking about it on Saturday when I was here because I had a couple of moonstone strands then, and I love, you know, that the the the, the, the. I think we. I'm not sure if it's a latte or a cappuccino we're going with with one of the strands, but it's either latte, moonstone, or, mm. or cappuccino. Um, but all of these colours together, these newer colours that we're seeing, oh, they're, they're so luxurious. You know, again, it's lovely to have these different tones with our moonstone. The that sparkle, cool. the luster from yeah. these. I would just simply do <clears throat> what you've got there, just a lovely bracelet. Yeah. I mean, well, they, they sit together beautifully, yeah. it's don't they? It's kind of they? like a tennis star bracelet. They're yeah. ready, ready to go, isn't they, it? They beautiful. naturally want to sit like that, I think. They are stunning. I love these. Angelo, there's quite a few of these. We've had these many times before. Whereby you have that glittery like appearance, adventure essence within the gemstone. Your angela essence from the surface, your adventure essence uh, from within the gemstone there as well. They are very, very pretty indeed. So you have 38 carats. <laughs> 30, I promise I'm going to go and get my eyes retested. I'm not allowed any more contact lenses until I've had my eye test. They won't give me any more, so I'm getting there eventually. <laughs> um, 38 carats of your peach moonstone. Four to six millimetres in size. 18 centimetre strands you've got there. This is beautiful. 19 pounds and 95 pence. 19 pounds and 95 pence. That is incredible for that price. What would you do with yours? You just leave it, would you, Casey? I'm thinking now I might need to multi-buy because I want to do that. Mm. But then imagine a tassel style necklace. Yeah. 
stunning. I mean, I've got, we had some findings um, quite a while ago and they were like uh, three different lengths of chain on, onto a stud of a sterling silver. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would probably <clears throat> have these, like a waterfall effect and have these. Oh, gosh. You know, I think they would, you know, if you're at a candlelit dinner or something like that, Ooh. and the way that these just sort of like sparkle in the candlelight, you know, on your date night. Mm. So. How lovely, that'd be very luxurious, yeah. wouldn't it? Look at those. Well done if you managed to get those, Tracy. You've just checked yours out. Right. Oh, yes, Kim. <clears throat> oh, yes. It's my number one. Look at the colour of these. <gasps> Cries the praise. Oh, my word. Stunning. This is natural. They are glowing. They're so powerful with their colour. Oh, it just amazes me. Any gemstone like this, Peridot is the same, you know, chromed upside is another one where you've got such incredible saturation of colour. You just think, how on earth is that natural? Mm. You know, how is that colour natural? But it is. And my goodness me, that green, it will light up a room. It really will. You've got 15 carats of your cries of praise micro fasted rounds now they're two to three millimeters in size so again along with your seed beads you've got a great size there Ooh, look at them it's sparkle Stunning. as yeah. well mouth wateringly beautiful aren't they yeah i love this gemstone yeah. so much and for many well, many years, Zambian, um, uh, em not Zambian amethyst, sorry, Zambian emerald uh, was my favourite gemstone. But Cries of Praise, and specifically our Cries of Praise here at Joy Maker, is the reason that Zambian emerald has been knocked off my top spot. You know, it might be my number one again. Uh, but for now, with the quality of Cries of Praise, <coughs> excuse me, that we are seeing here at Jewelry Maker, I just, I can't get enough of mm. this gemstone. The quality is phenomenal. And um, it wasn't until very recently that, that I discovered that actually Cartier used this gemstone in so many of their designs. Um, you know, a good few months ago now, I just happened to be reading back Cries of Praise online and, and Cartier, an image of a Cartier piece popped up and I thought, oh, I'll have a closer look at that. How much? <laughs> um, and it was a bubble star ring. Bubble star ring that featured cries of price just like this and lapis in gold mm. for £36,000. Wow. Yes. And actually, if you go along to Cartier's website and you type in Cries of Praise to the search bar, you'll find a huge amount of those bubble style designs. They've got bubble style um, necklaces, they've got bubble style rings there as well. They've got a Cries of Praise coloured handbag, so no actual Cries of Praise again, but it's, it's, a, it's a lovely green. I've printed it off. <laughs> Put it on the notice board at home. <laughs> Christmas in 10 years, please, Santa, if I'm very, 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 very good. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the handbag, £2,000, no cries of praise, just, just the, the colour with yeah. a Cartier name on it. The, the cries of praise and lapis bubble star necklace, Katie. Yeah. <laughs> £242,000. Uh -huh. Wow. Indeed. Yeah. I'll have a house, please. Yeah. <laughs> And buy some cries of praise from Jewelry Maker. Uh, nine pounds and ninety-five pence. And do you know what? Those those designs are there for you to go and look at. So if you go onto Cartier's website, type cries of praise into the search bar, you'll find it. You'll find it there, and you'll be shocked and amazed at the prices. Just have a look. Have a study of those pieces. See what you can find. Come in and get some lapis and cries of praise. Oh, <clears throat> mandarin garnet. Oh, what a lovely colour. This would go with the deal of the day, you know. Ooh. Look at those. I know. I know. It's still some left, I think. By the clock. Um, Mandarin garnet. I think this is the strand. <laughs> yes, it is. I, I said, I think this is the strand, and I heard Kim say, <laughs> I think Kim forgets. <laughs> And then he's suddenly reminded. Um, Mandarin, Zavarite Garnet. They are up there in terms of collectability, in terms of rarity, in terms of premium prices. You know, it's, it's not a gemstone that comes very affordably at all. Now, Mandarin Garnet is very much like pink tourmaline. So pink tourmaline 
has to be of a certain tone to be classified as rubellite, if you like. And your, your orange garnet, if you like, has to be of a certain tone before it's classified as mandarin. It is so juicy. It is so sumptuous in its colour. And uh, do you know what? It's fair to say that you're about to see the best price I think you will ever see in the industry for this gemstone. 45 carats of genuine, natural mandarin garnet you have here. This is a massive, massive opportunity. Do you know, collectors <clears throat> may spend many, 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 many years trying to get this gemstone into their stash. And probably just come to the conclusion that actually, do you know what, I'm just not going to get it. It's just not affordable. There's no way I'm going to get this gemstone into my stash. Until now. Get this. I like 100, 644, 655. WZ, are you 62? That does oh. say four pounds what? and 95 pence. Now, that is the price tag that you should expect to see on something that is very abundant. That is not the price tag you should see on something that is very, very rare. Oh my gosh, <laughs> four pounds and 95 pence. Imagine, Casey, an autumnal tree of life. Oh, yeah. This definitely. is a perfect yeah, that's, gemstone, that's isn't it? Just Yeah, that is absolutely stunning. And you know, Beautiful. I wouldn't sell it on. At this kind of price, <laughs> I'm, I wouldn't sell it on. I'd just keep it and I'd use that ornamentally on my craft stool at yeah. craft fairs. I would be putting it in with photographs on my website mm. if I was selling on a website as well. I mean, yeah. four, four pounds and 95 pence. Multi-buy, multi-buy, multi-buy. Loads of you coming through. Uh, Mary and Jerry and Link are back in. Elaine in the Orkney Islands. You've got two. Grace in Greater London. Collect in Texas. Always wanted to go there. Always. Have you been, Katie? To where? Texas. Texas. No, I'd love to go. <gasps> Texas. Uh, we're just... off to Vegas in a couple of months. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a couple of months. So. How Texas. It just Quite sounds really so cool. It just sounds Texas, really cool, yeah. doesn't it? Uh, Denise in Lancashire, Dean in the West Midlands. Uh, Louise in County Antrim, Paula in Kent, Jean in Surrey, Cheryl in South Yorkshire, Rebecca, Lynn, Susan in Glamorgan, you've just got two, Susan Warwick just got three. There's no limits. You can get as many of these as you like. Keep Good coming quality. through and keep checking out. There will come a time where this is sold out mm. and I can't make that guarantee. You know, even in nugget form, who's to say that we will be able to bring you a price like four pounds? If this were 45 points, if there are a decimal point in, in front of that four, yeah. that I'd still be saying multi-buy. Snap it up. 4 95 mm. 35 carats. Wow. Amazing. Well done. Did you say star by? Let's do it. Look at the colours. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, do you know, we've we've literally gone from mandarin garnet to your beautiful Andalusite. Look at the colours in this gemstone. As you can see, very, very playacroic. As the light hits it at different angles, you can see these incredible beautiful colors coming through from the gemstone isn't this just stunning beautiful. from your glorious green hues you know very earthy tones i think particularly when you get that that kind of combination of greens and reds especially it's quite it's quite earthy isn't it mm. with those tones that you've got there so beautiful I love this. Now, it's not very often gem quality specimens are found. Um, it does quite, oh, I, I have to say, I, do you know what? In fact, I was just going to say, to get this in bead quality would be one thing. And I was thinking, do you know what? When else have we had this here at Jewelry Maker? Not very often. No. I th I, to be quite honest, I think other than this strand, I'm not entirely sure that I've seen any of that Andalusite. 
to get clarity in this gemstone is very, very difficult. And if you get an Andalusite that is natural with amazing clarity, you would be paying an absolute premium for the gemstone. Now here, you know, let, don't get me wrong, we're not looking at something that's eye clean, but the transparency that you have within these gemstones, I think is incredible. They are beautifully lit up from within. You get in this gorgeous earthy essence. Those greens are glowing. There's the light catches that you get these peridot flashes, zesty lime green flashes. And those reds almost reminds me of pink tourmaline. You know, it's, it's a very peach undertone that you've got there as well. You're getting these lovely peach hues from the reds in there. This is a big carrot weight for Andalusite, you know, 25 carats in a single gemstone strand again with individual gemstones to get something of this size we don't normally see andalusite in carat weights that are this significant so we've got 25 carats across the whole strand and we're looking at 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 15 carats that's an average of 1.6 carats per gemstone 1.6 carats i mean this is where i think we get very complacent here at jewelry maker we bring you massive massive carat weights um, individually in gemstones in gemstone strands but if you go elsewhere and try and find these gemstones of significant carat weights you will struggle, you really will. To be able to sit in the comfort of your own home and have these rare and incredible gemstones brought to you is just fabulous, it really is. Fortunately for you, for us, you know, us being employees and um, viewers and mm. buyers here at Jewelrymaker, you know, we all come in and buy as well. To be able to, to, to have literally, you know, Collectors, again, I said it earlier on with another gemstone, do forgive me, I can't remember, but people, gem collectors will spend a lifetime looking for deals on gemstones like this, you know, and it's, it's neon impossible. You know, you go onto a website, you may not know who you're buying from, you, you know, the trust may not be, be there. Um, you know, if you go into a, um, a boutique jewellers and say, oh, I'm looking for, let's forget the carrot weight, looking for Andalusite, you can bet your bottom dollar that they're not going to have it. They mm. may be able to source it for you because a lot of boutique jewellers will sell very rare gemstones and have great contacts as well. So they're probably going to be able to get it for you. But before they've even got it, there's the first cost on your invoice straight away. Just for looking, mm. you're going to have that cost on your invoice, which again, if, if you're shopping for a gemstone like Andalusite, like they're, they're going to think that you've got money to spend. That's going to be a big, big invoice. 0800 644 655 or on the web today at jewelrymaker.com. It's a gemstone that is cut for beauty. It's a gemstone that is cut to enhance those colours so that at every angle we get to see the best of the pinks, the best of the greens in every single gemstone. Now, I think at £81.95, I'd be checking, yeah, I'd be checking out. As a collector, yeah. 25 carats, that is ridiculous. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you steady? <sighs> £29 and 95 pence for natural andalusite you've got here. Yeah. I mean, if you've never seen this gemstone before and you look and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I love, <laughs> I love that. See, I always think in my head, any gemstone that has, I was going to say colour change, it's not technically colour change, but it's got the greens and it's got the reds. It always makes me think emerald by day, ruby by night. And that's what Alexandrite yeah. is. You know, you've got colours here that are very similar to Alexandrite. £29 and 95 pence. 0800 644 655. You need to be checking that out yeah. as soon as you can. That's beautiful. 30 day money back guarantee. Just to, just to say that you've seen it. Mm, I'd get that yeah. home. It's amazing. Beautiful. Right, Labradorite. Ooh. Oh, I love this strand. Yeah. Oh, wow. A 
a strand of what is essentially cabochons with drill holes. Oh, my Every word, single one fabulous. of these has a flat back. Every one of those gemstones has got a flat back to it. Look at the blues. Look at those blues. Wow, electric blue hues you've got there. Aren't they just incredible? And you know, um, the first time I had this strand, I was talking about it for ages, absolutely ages. And it wasn't until somebody pointed out something that I noticed. And until it was pointed out, I hadn't noticed, and I don't think I ever would until it was pointed out to me. Every other round, every other oval. Oh, yeah. You've got rounds. I, do you know what I think it is? I think it's because you're so blinded by the blue sheen mm. on this. You yeah. kind of get a little bit distracted. But every one or every other is a round. Every other is an oval. 0800 644 or on the web today at jewelrymaker.com. 40 carats of your blue sheen Labradorite. 5 by 3 to 7 by 5 millimetres in size. Rounds approximately 4 to 8 millimetres in size. Ovals 5 by 3 to 7 by 5 millimetres in size. They are so pretty. Yeah. 87 pounds and 95 pence where we should be. You've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. 16 and 16 is 32 plus 1, 33. Average of 33 gemstones on this strand. And that blue sheen, it's electric, isn't it? Yeah. I love these. What would you do, Katie? Would you? Would you use the drill hole? Would you restrand? Would you use them as cabotons? I would use them all individually. Yeah. I really, really would, because I think that's where you're gonna. Definitely, if you're if you're selling your jewellery, you're that's where the bang for your buck is going to yeah. be. Definitely. Um, but also, if I was going to buy it two strands, yes, I would be very decadent and just restrand it because Ooh. it's got that that kind of um, medieval sort of look mm. to it. You could create a real sort of historical pe looking piece with this. Yeah. Because uh, you've got the, the cabochons. And of course, back then, then they um, used the cabochons instead of like faceting because right. I didn't obviously have all of the mm. tools for that then. Yeah. You can create something really, really wonderful with this. <sighs> Stunning strand, and it's a hefty carat weight at 40 carats as well. HBJN46 is your code for this one. That just should be price. Basically, if you came in on the web today, this were on the web, that's the price you pay. That's where you'd be checking out. But not today, not when you're tuning in and watching live. 0800 644 655 HBJN46. Twenty-nine really, really pounds, and not. Do you know what Kim's actually getting angry with herself for <laughs> taking it that low? Twenty-nine pounds and ninety-five pence for you. That is a big, big saving. Now, if you leave it in your basket, you may come back and find that it's disappeared. If you leave it in your basket till a minute past eight in the morning, the price tag will have gone back up to eighty-seven pounds and ninety-five pence. Which is still a great deal, but if you could have had this deal, you'll have wished mm. you checked out. Doesn't matter how many times you log in and check out, doesn't matter how many times you dial in, you've got one PMP. You just keep combining your order, keep combining your order, and you'll only pay one PMP. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, no, Katie, it doesn't how matter. heavy that parcel is. Even if the postman can't pick it up. Yeah. I was going to say, poor postman. My postman's very lazy. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> do you know? <laughs> well, I feel sorry for the postmen that do carry all that, but my postman doesn't. He drives from door to door. Oh, my word. I kid you not. <laughs> but it, it takes him longer to get back in his van, fire up the engine, drive yeah. to the next door neighbour, than it would to walk. Yeah. Honestly. Yes. That's how lazy my postman is. He's a lovely postman, but I think he should walk. Yes! <laughs> um, he drives to every house. Yes! <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll, get it, I'll get some footage. <laughs> this is my postman. There's that house, and there's the other one. I said, do you know what? Sometimes I just feel like going to him and saying, look, mate, 
Just sit in your... Do you have a rest for 10 minutes and I'll do it for you? <laughs> like, if you're that tired, which I'm sure they are, about 10k a day, postmen do. Yeah. It's a lot, I tell you. So maybe it's just my road that he does that. <laughs> 10k in 27 minutes. Can you really? Can you do that? Have you done that? That's good. Oh, that 10k good. in 27 minutes. Goodness me, I can't do 10 metres. <laughs> <laughs> ben said no, he couldn't do 10k in 27 hours. <laughs> HB JN46, Carol in Perth and Kim Ross, Joanne in Greater Manchester, Jane in Essex, Yvonne in Cambridge, Lynn in Surrey, Lisa in West Yorkshire, Shalou, well done to you. I'm not saying every postman is the same, by the way. I'm not saying that. <laughs> really? <laughs> my, my, my cousin used to be a post lady, because it's not postman, you can't say postman anymore. Post person. Post -person. It's a post person. Um, <laughs> but I am a woman, but it just doesn't sound right, does it? Post person. No. Post. I prefer post lady or postman. Well, just say it as a post bean. Posty. Posty. Yeah, posty. 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 Yeah, posty. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Beryl pears. Oh, only got eight of these left. Have you ever? Have you ever seen such amazing, <gasps> wow. amazing clarity? That is absolutely Whoa. sublime. That is... Oh my gosh. You know what, these are really, yeah. really nice. Oh, Kim, you sound like a midwife. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, these are incredible. They really are. She was just having a conversation with our Ben then and it just took me black. I had a little, <laughs> I had a little flashback then. Um, these oh, <laughs> are quite possibly, I think we will all agree that that's the best clarity we've ever yeah. seen in Morganite, for it's sure. Fabulous. Aquamarine, we've had some amazing, amazing quality in Aquamarine, especially clarity. But the Morganite, the Morganite on these, just <laughs> exceptional. Now, my friend had a Morganite engagement ring, <clears throat> and uh, it was way back in the day uh, when I used to sell uh, jewellery pieces and her fiancé at the time, or boyfriend at the time I should say, um, asked me if I could help him find a Morganite ring for an engagement ring and I found that ring and it was a one and a half carat solitaire in Morganite and it was six hundred, well he's a husband now you see, yeah, no, they didn't, no. <laughs> ben, you say you say boyfriend at the time, no they, because they're married obviously now um, so it was a one and a half carat solitaire at six hundred and something pounds 600 and something pounds it was for one and a half carat solitaire and that is perfectly normal for, for a morganite solitaire uh, of that kind of significant size these very sizable twenty eight carats of multicolored barrel you've got here seven by five millimeters in size Look at the greens on that recording. That is fabulous. Look at the greens. Oh my gosh, look at those colours. I could stare at that all day. Yeah, they are absolutely incredible. exceptional. Do you know if you were doing, if you were doing um, like floral designs, mm. oh, if you were yeah. doing a really high-end bridal hair comb. Yeah. Oh, Definitely, imagine yeah. just doing a few flowers with those as petals. Oh, stunning. They would look very, very pretty. Seven by five millimetres, eight centimetre strand. And I'm just going to double check because I'm sat here questioning myself now. Are these natural, Kim? They are. Kim can confirm that they are natural. So Beryl, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> you may or may not know that blue, the blue variety is what we know to be aquamarine. The pink variety is what we know to be Morganite. The green variety, emerald, the yellow, Heliodor, and the white, Goshenite. In their natural forms, the Beryl family 
is not the most affordable. If you have a look at Aquamarine and Morganite on the high street, oh my days. Mm. Well, Emerald, it's one of your big five for starters. So, you know, obviously I can't count. Well, actually, just to clarify, I can count the green ones on here because it is actually Emerald. However, as an Emerald lover, obviously we're going to be looking for tones of um, a certain tone, if you like. Uh, not as pale as this in Emerald. So whether you want to sell them as Emerald or not is entirely up to you. If you do, you can. It is Emerald, but just to, you know, understand that people may question it because we're looking for a certain tone in Emerald. The pinks, the Morganites, Ashley Clark, Monica Venada, um, Eddie Borgo, these are, are, are jewellers that use Morganite and you'll see three figure price tags for significant carat weights. Aquamarine, one of the most expensive colour gemstones on the high street in the UK, I think. You know, mm. the, the, the pound versus the carat weight. My gosh, I, I really can't believe it. And a lot of the time, aquamarine is treated to enhance the clarity. Um, sometimes when you treat a gemstone to enhance clarity, you sacrifice colour. Not all the time, just sometimes. So, yeah. you know, and the thing is, and, and I've worked in a jeweller's, it's no disrespect to a jeweller's, but you're just not trained to the same level as we are here yes, at Jewelry Maker yeah. in a high street jewellers because everything is produced on mass. Yeah. And I mean mass. So when I worked in a high street jewellers, I couldn't have told you if a gemstone was treated or not. Mm. I couldn't have told you where that gemstone came from. Yeah. You know, you, you don't, you just don't, don't get trained in, in that way. Um, unless, of course, things have changed dramatically. Um, but you do have natural aquamarine. You do have natural aquamarine here. And it's breathtaking. You've got clarity and you've got the colour. The Morganites are just the most delicate, delicate, beautiful pinks and they have been cut to perfection you've got gemstone quality and some with these you've got two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four twenty six twenty eight thirty thirty one ninety nine pounds and ninety five pence yeah. i think I don't even think you'd find a pair of Morganite earrings of this size in sterling no. silver at that price. If you were to take two of these gemstones, put them into 925, I think you'd struggle elsewhere. But look how many gemstones you've got there. MK BX47 is your code for this one. Half price. Oh. Half price. Forty-nine pounds and ninety-five pence, half price deal for natural aquamarine, natural morganite that is crystal clear in its clarity. Mm. It really, really is. The only way you can make that saving is by checking out as soon as you possibly can at eight a.m. in the morning. That price point will go back up to the original web price of ninety-nine pounds and ninety-five pence. MK VX forty-seven is your code. What would you do with your strand, Katie? I would definitely make these into, like you say, earrings and yeah. things like that. But and the, I love the flower hair hair comb idea. Yeah. I think that would look really, mm. really cool. Um, and literally just individually, just to you know, just a nice little drop pendant yeah. or something like that on some of our stone and silver um, chains. That's exquisite, isn't it? Absolutely exquisite. Well done if you managed to get that one. Um, <clears throat> oh, hello. Love that sound. That's a jingle. That's quite good, actually, because I don't know why, but... Have you got a wind chime? I know. No, I made some jewellery with it. <laughs> no, no, I love that. I was talking about some shapes. So you were talking about making wind chimes, isn't it? And, and Deborah just said, oh, you could make jewellery. <laughs> oh, look. I, love wow. the I do love the sound of these. They just so, make the most yeah. amazing sounds, don't they? So we could very easily recreate this design with that shape. Oh, I love that, Katie. That's really pretty. Look at these. Just put my hand behind. Just getting lost in my, uh, in my print. <laughs> they are pretty. Really pretty. Yeah. Oh, I love that. It just looks lovely it, with yeah. the gold. They're the same colour as well, aren't they? Yeah. Um, these ones are your Marquises. Um, I think I always kind of go back to, to what I originally talked about when I had these, and that is wind chimes. And I think yeah. it was because when I had 
um, when I had all three strands when I was launching them, they were all together and I could hear that yeah. sound. I was just like, oh, do you know what? If you could just make that and hang it in your garden, if you're having a, mm. a barbecue, you've got people coming over or whatever, oh, how luxurious. Yeah. Very pretty. Or you could make jewellery, which would be... Oh, yeah. oh, they're perfect, these are. Even if you're using them individually, obviously you've got this huge open space in the centre there to add gemstones. Add gemstones in there, a little bit of gizmo coiling, yeah. if you like, as well. Or you could just leave it as is. You can even use it as a bezel if you want to, as yeah. well. It looks cool, doesn't it? It looks really, really cool. 220 carats of your Carnelian Marquise. 29 by 42 millimetres in size. 38 centimetre strand. Ben's got a question. Ben has a question. 60777, start messaging with Work James Studio. How many times can you gizmo, gizmo a gizmo? gizmo? I know you could do three. I mean, is this going to be like a piece of paper? Because it is a fact, isn't it? You can't tear the same piece you, of paper. You can't, or you, you can't, can't fold, fold it, it and re tear it more than seven, seven times. times yeah. yeah. So you can try, you can fold that piece of paper in half, overlap, mm. go again, go again, go again, go again, go again, seven yeah. times. How many times can you gizmo gizmo? I don't know. I think we've seen it done three times three here times, at Maker, yeah. maybe. You think we should go for four? have to try it aren't we we're gonna have to try it uh lcgp 74 is your code for this one so you've got two four six eight ten individual pieces and you can see again with these that banding that beautiful color tone that you've got there mm. is just it's stunning absolutely beautiful. stunning are you ready we're going down on price view autumn designs as well i'm thinking katie again it's because of the color it just lends yeah. itself to, to autumn i think you know burnt oranges that you've got there they're colors that we see in the leaves you know in autumn time and they are ideal they're the shape of a leaf aren't they yes, as well at the are, same yeah. time 14 pounds and 95 pence for you this afternoon 220 carats how many gemstones did i count katie 10 2 4 6 8 10 yes yeah. uh, so that's an average of 22 carats per yeah, I mean, to be fair, you know, that's a gemstone that is effectively being cut out. You wouldn't think that would be 22 no, carats, you would you? Actually, no, Goodness They're me. They're fabulous, aren't they? They are indeed. 0800 644 655. We'll squeeze in one more before the break. Oh, my word. Look at these. <gasps> oh, oh, these are Do fun. you know, we see a lot of jasper here at Jewelry Maker, but the woodland jasper... Mm. has got so much texture it really is incredible just look at these and look at those different colors have you got a favorite color katie i think yeah i like the green ones yeah definitely oh, do, do you know what i can't I, as much as i love green i don't actually think i can pick a favorite color um from this strand i love this pink one you've got here that's all mm. all by itself that pink one that you've got there isn't that gorgeous earrings pendants with these what a versatile shape you've got yeah it really is i mean i'm i'm looking at them and the other way around they're hot air balloons you could do like your oh. um steampunk sort of design and have a hot air balloon you know or even you know like the um you could recreate the banksy with oh, the girl yeah. with the balloons yeah. you know you could do a wire work girl and have her with the balloons you know and oh. use those as the and have them as earrings yeah oh, that be cool wouldn't it you've got 420 carats of your woodland jasper drops 13 by 18 millimeters in size 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 individual gemstones on this strand 22 gemstones 420 carats again individually they really are of significance do you know what now katie now you said hot air balloon i can't i can't unsee <laughs> hot air balloon which has made me think maybe uh, obviously very safely done um, a children's mobile yes yeah. you know that would look amazing mm. genuine gemstone oh my yeah, gosh beautiful. imagine uh, tgdp 25 is your code for this one? 0800 644 655. Do you know, I think I'd be tempted to multi buy. Mm. Multi buy, not in between every single gemstone. Over the head necklace, chunking it jumpers, maxi dresses. Yeah. Look at that. 
TGGP25 is your code for this one. Make sure you're checking out Nobody Pays Any More Than Anybody Else. £19. And 95 pennies for you this afternoon. Right. Now, I'm just saying, but I had a strand of chrome upside this morning that sold out, I think. This is a massive, massive carat weight that you've got here. <laughs> and uh, we did a weather check on Siberia today because we're in the mining season. Have a guess. Have a guess. Kim's saying minus 26, Ben. 22 degrees. Oh, I'm going to say minus 23. Minus 23, Pete. Minus 15. Minus 15. It's 26 degrees in Siberia today. I tell you, what? the mining season is looking fruitful this year. I'm telling you now, this is exciting news. Really, really exciting news. Don't go anywhere. I've got Chrome Dark Side coming up in just a few minutes. <laughs> You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate, covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button. Fill in the required fields and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewelry making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. You can watch our Jewelry Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. Tune into Jewelry Maker every morning at 8 a.m. for our Breakfast Club. We'll be bringing you low, low prices, last chance to buy, and end of line stock. Make sure you're watching because once the deals are gone, they're gone. Check out your Wall of Fame entries in this hour and be in with a chance to win £100 credit to your account. The Breakfast Club on Jewelry Maker. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes and The Radio Times. 
We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Wake up and tune into Jewelry Maker every morning at 8am for our early bird special. We have some great offers, amazing deals and great prices to bring to you. So that's 8am every morning and you know what they say, the early bird catches the worm. Um, Director Ben is singing a countdown to us in a uh, Noel Christmas style. La, 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 um, 45 carats of crowned upside. What a treat. What a treat. Yeah. Um, this gemstone, we, we are actually really spoiled for this gemstone here at Jewelry Maker, considering how rare this gemstone is and the lack of it. I mean, we are really lucky, aren't we? We do mm. have a, you know, we're all right for chromed upside here at Joy Maker. Um, this gemstone is incredible. It's natural, completely natural. Do you know, sometimes I think it's really, really easy, especially obviously um, working in the industry that we do. You just get comfortable, yeah. don't you? You know, you just get comfortable. We come to Jewelry Maker, uh, we bring you gemstones. We see all of these gemstones every day. This is perfectly normal for us. Mm. This isn't normal. <laughs> this is not normal. You know, you just have to sit there and you have to pinch yourself. You have to remind yourself yeah. that actually, do you know what, Hannah? If you go into London and have a look for 45 carats of chrome upside in a design, you'll be lucky. You'll be lucky. It's 45 carats of chrome upside. Something that actually it, you'd kind of expect to see in a museum piece. A museum piece of jewellery. Perhaps, you know, like in the Tower of London where the crown jewels are. You know, mm. something that Queen Victoria maybe wore. Or, you know, something like that. That's what this, this is what that kind of gemstone, this kind of gemstone, I should say, conjures up images of, you know, royalty and yeah. Hollywood A-listers. You see gemstone strands like this, you think wealth, you think you would assume that you need to have a lot of money to be able yeah. to purchase gemstones like this. And do you know what? I've no doubt that if you went to a jeweller's and you had a 45 carat chromed upside necklace, finished piece of jewellery, you'd pay thousands. You know, I'm pretty sure you would. But jewellery maker is amazing. In what we do, literally, is incredible. 
We cut out the middleman. We go direct to the source wherever possible. Our margins are tiny, you know, you think of, of a retailer. So a retailer, from mine to retailer, you'll have about 10, maybe 12 different people that each have to take their cut as it passes through. Mm. So obviously by the time you got to the retailer, well, your markup is huge, yeah. isn't it? You know, and you know, it's fine, it's understandable, you know, we just accept it. But actually, we don't have to pay that. We don't have to. Yes, we've got some jewellery making involved, but you know what? It's an amazing hobby and it's a great way to be making money as well. 45 carats of a gemstone that has come all the way from Siberia over in Russia. Now, Siberia, because temperatures can reach as low as minus 45 degrees, if, I don't know if we have this available, Ben, sorry to drop this on you, but the, the, the picture of the, pl uh, the planet, I keep calling it a planet. <laughs> I was doing this this morning. It's not a planet, but I always call it planet half because that's what it looks like. Um, it is. If, in fact, do you know what? I can probably find it on the web for you. Oh, dear. I've just logged out by accident. Um, have a look. I'm, oh, I'm doing it again. I'm typing in planet half. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> if you've got access to the web, just type in um, chromed upside mine Russia and have a look at images. It looks like Planet Hoff. It's literally just covered in snow. The machinery that is required to gain access to those mines, it's all very, very costly. Before we even get the gemstone, the whole process is very, very costly. Then you take into consideration that you've got 45 carats of chrome dioxide. Well, it is very realistic to say that this actually could be a whole week's worth of mining. In three days, in three days, that one of our gem collectors spent at the mine, or gem hunters, I should say, not gem collectors. He is a gem collector, but gem hunter as well. Yeah. Um, he, three days, and he didn't see a single yeah. piece come out of that mine in three days. But that is the reality. That's the reality of it. You know, I always used to think, which I do chuckle about now, that, you know, the mining process, well, you go down the mine at nine o'clock in the morning with your pack <laughs> lunch and your backpack. You fill your backpack, you come back out of the mine <laughs> and clock out. <laughs> no, it's not, apparently. It's not. It's not what happens. Um, you know, it can be, realistically, that the miners spend days weeks and come out with absolutely nothing so to say that you've got 45 carats in one strand i think is epic mm. absolutely epic this could be a whole day's worth of mining this could be two days three days four days it could be a week's worth of yeah. mining imagine the rough that 45 carats came from mm. yeah it would have been huge absolutely huge Right, are you ready? Are you steady? Let's go. £101.95, this consistency of colour, this clarity is phenomenal. That's not your price tag. Oh, we can do better than that. We are jewellery maker. If ever, if ever you have these made into designs that feature precious metals, it, you know what, even if you don't, get this valued. Yeah. Get it valued. And I am thinking that this kind of strand is the strand that you are going to have to add on to your insurance because you could not replace 45 carats of chrome dioxide for £49.95. No. Not on your Nelly. I, I'd give you a 30-year money-back guarantee to try and hunt that. Do you know what I mean? You, you're just not going to yeah. find that piece of jewellery that features this carat weight that you can replace for £49.95. 0800 644 655. Huge, huge saving you've got there. Well done. Oh, hello. Yeah, come on. Ben says, place your bets. What am I going to say? When was the last time we saw these? <laughs> I mean, that, that's not what oh. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> When was the last time we saw these? Oh. Was it? 
Last time we saw them was January and it was Kim and I. <gasps> These are brilliant. Brass clips, 47 by 24 millimetres in size. I love these shoes. Pop yeah. them on your shoes. Shoe, do you remember when we used to have shoe clips? The, the shoe clips were amazing, yeah. weren't they? Absolutely brilliant. Um, we could stick a huge cabochon on there if we wanted to. We could hot fix onto that if we wanted yeah. to. We could enamel onto that if we wanted to. We could do, you'd make a medal, says Ben. I'm going to make a medal. A brooch yeah. for your pashmina, your scarves. Could be a tie pin, Could couldn't it, it? Yeah. as well, if you wanted it to be. I love, love, love these. I love the fact that this is that interchangeable mm. piece, isn't it? You know, you pop this onto your shoes, then you pop it onto your pocket, onto your blouse, yeah. or onto a coat if you want to. Now, you will get a pack of five. Five pieces in total. I mean, would the, did we do this before, Kim? I do vaguely remember. Would they work as clip-on earrings? I think they might be a bit tight. Okay. Think, yeah. Okay. Because you're probably, do you know, I always think, I do always sit here and think, if I'm thinking it, you're probably thinking yeah. it as well. So I just thought I'd put it I'd out there. I'd say they were a bit, bit tight for, for clip-on earrings. I mean, you can try when you get them home if you want to. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to try when you they're not actually that isn't I, I think you'd be all right with that I, I genuinely do 0800 644 655 YC G086 is your code for this one and I'm sure I know so many of you that are very very creative Katie you're one of those people I'm sure there are different ways in yeah. which we could use them in which we could incorporate them into our designs we could do something very different with these yeah. if we want to do, Definitely. We? I mean, if you wanted to add um, kind of like a military vibe to your um, your outdoor, your big thick coat for yeah. the, for the winter, you could pop these on each side and do like epaulets. So we add all of that chain oh, yeah, earlier yeah. on. So you yeah. could do like add like a military sort of style to your cool. to your overcoat and things like that. Wow. So, you know. Do you know what? As well, I just think when you've got five and they're going down as low as they are, mm. experiment. Yeah. Just experiment, you know, try something a little bit different with one. If it doesn't work, you know, it's not the end of the world, yeah. is it? But at least you've tried, at least you know. And it's it, it's all about experimenting as a jewellery maker, isn't it? And trying different things. YCGO86 is your code for these. All the way down. Yeah. Pennies. 79 pence each for you this afternoon. And if you do have that idea, if you've had that light bulb moment, mm. multi-buy. Get as many as you possibly can. If you need a lot of these for a particular project that you're thinking of, then get as many as you need today. YCGO86 is your code. One postage in any one day is just £3.95. Doesn't matter how many times you're logging in and checking out. It doesn't matter how many times you're dialing in on the phone lines. Doesn't matter how many times you are tapping the app. It is just one postage. Keep combining your order. Amazing job. Well done if you've managed to get those ones. Right, silver plated base metal findings pack. Now this, it's essential. Mm. You're gonna have to get this, you really are. This is brilliant. If you're new to us here, in fact, if you're new to us here at Drawmaker, this is the ideal thing to come in for, isn't it? Because you have all your findings and then you'll qualify for your two genuine gemstone strands and you're getting started DVD as well. So you could be well on your way yeah. to making some jewelry, couldn't you? So it's a base metal findings pack. You've got a 50 centimetre length of chain. You've got, I've only got three, but you do get four. Another one uh, four of your uh, standard size head pins, four of your jump rings, four of your crimp tubes, two pairs of shepherd's hooks, and two of your toggle fastenings there as well. So you are going to get in total 21 pieces. 21 pieces in your base metal findings. I'd multi-buy, I'd triple buy, I'd quadruply buy <laughs> yeah. for these today. NGAZ53 is your code, 0800 644 655. 170 available. You're making me nervous, Kim. You're making me nervous. This is a great auction. If you are brand new to us here at Jewelry Maker, you will need them. You absolutely need them. No minimum spend requirement, and you'll get your two genuine gemstone strands and your DVD free of charge. 
perfect, mm. perfect, perfect auction to be coming in for this afternoon. Now, all you have to do to get them is either dial the number on the bottom of your screen, you can join us on the web at jewelrymaker.com, or you can tap the app alternatively if you want to. Now, you don't even have to open up an account if you don't want to. You can check out as a guest as well. And again, if you don't want to speak to somebody, you can do it on the web and check out as a guest as well. NG AZ53, loads of you could look at the multi buyers. So many multi buyers. I've got regulars there that are buying fives of these. I think that's mm. what I would do. Yeah, You're always going to use them. Always. Stock up. Kim, when was the last time we had a base metal find these? I know we have we have the mini one, the sterling silver mini one, which we, we've seen quite a few times, but the base metal findings packs. I think it's a great way of getting people started as well. You know, if you've got any friends or family members that have shown a little interest in what you do, perhaps, maybe get them started. Carol in Durham, 10. Yeah. That's the way to do it, Carol in Durham. There's no limits. Claire in Devon, Lynette in Norfolk, Carol, Louise, Margaret, Lynn, Alla in New York, Lynn in Shropshire, Janice in Worcestershire. Congratulations. Claire's there. Linda's got two. Carol's got four. Congratulations. Most people, most people that have checked out have bought twos, fours, as I say, Carol's got ten. Oh, that's clever shopping, that is, isn't that it? Is, clever, yeah. clever shopping. Well done. Right, kit time. Ooh, luxury. Oh, my gosh, look at this garnet. Mm. Oh, look at that for sumptuous colour. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You have a big carrot weight of your garnet. 50 carats of your garnet. Faceted coins. Five to six millimetres in size five to six millimeters 28 centimeters strand these shell they are ripped they're really what color are we calling these cappuccino it's just i can't quite put my finger on the color of these cappuccino we're calling mm. these and i love that texture as well they are very pretty great size these ones as well so your cappuccino textured shell eight millimeters in size 38 centimeter lengths you've got there 925 sterling silver. Oh, wow. Oh, are These they are 95? Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, 925 sterling silver. Gold plated as well. Perfect pair connectors. Now, they do feature your cubic zirconia. So, I mean, those with that garnet. Yeah. Oh, my God. Gosh, look at that. They're just perfect. I've always said that, that, you know, as much as I love my silver, garnet and gold go hand in yeah, hand. Oh, yeah, don't it's they? an absolute classic. Yeah, yeah, they really do. Diamond like brilliance from your CZ there as well. They are very high end. And you've got three of them as well. So you've got connectors, loop on the top, loop on the bottom. Uh, so you can connect them to absolutely anything that you like. And then you've got your gold colour silver plated wire. Uh, so you've got four metres of your one millimetre gauge, 50 metres of your 0.4 millimetre gauge in there as well have a look at Katie's pieces my gosh have you filled the brief wow look at those I know look at that oh Katie I love it I love this kit I really did I just love this kit they are so pretty do you know it's a fantastic combination isn't it the colors that you've got their gold and garnet go hand in hand mm. and I think that cappuccino in with them as well yeah um, just gives it that slightly different look, doesn't it? Oh, I love, I love, and you must have had lots of wire left over, oh, Katie, yes, I would yeah. imagine. Did you use all of your gemstones? I used all the gemstones. Of course you yeah. did. Of course you did. They are beautiful. That, that for me, is a, a, a sweet for a really special occasion. Yeah. You know, I would be saving those for a wedding or a special event that I'm going to very red carpet. FAXC17 is your code for these. 0800 655 or on the web at jewelrymaker.com for you this afternoon. Should be... £41.75. Do you know those silver connectors? They're sterling silver that you've got in yeah. there, the CZ ones in there. Surely by themselves, pack of three, £19.95? Yeah. £14.95? Oh, I love that. Oh, 800 
make sure you're checking out. The only way you can make the saving is by completing that order. £21.95 oh, for you this afternoon. That's a big, big saving mm. that you've got on this kit. Lots of you coming through for this. Do you know what? Garnet, it's one of those gemstones, I think, that is very, very popular. It's very underrated as well. Garnet, it's incredibly beautiful. And do you know what? The, well, most of the time, I haven't ever seen it treated here at Jury Maker. It's always a natural gemstone as well. Yeah. Exactly as Mother Nature intended, rich, sumptuous hues. And I know it sounds a bit cheesy, but I'm going to say it again. It's the colour of love, isn't it? It yes. really is. I don't think you can go wrong with no. a garnet gemstone in any design. 0800 644 655. Just make sure you confirm him for that one. That's beautiful. Right then, Casey. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the, the main motif. Okay. So the, basically the pendant and yeah. then the earrings there. But um, just how to make those. So Lovely. we're going to go with the one mil wire just there. And I've cut... Um, let's say um, three inches of each and I've mm -hmm. done four of these so I've just taken four of those if I just move over this way there we go so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the point um, point four and I'm literally just going to take two of our pieces of wire like so and what I usually do is I'll as you can see I've sort of earmarked the center of the the wire and then just eyeball the center of um, our wire that we've got here, the one mil wire, just so then you know that once you've done wraps on this side, you're going to get the even amount of wraps on the other side as well. So there's just a, a little tip for you there. So I'm just going to wrap around both wires four times and then push those together and then we'll just bring in our other two. So as you can see, I've now got our point four on the left hand side just sitting at the back mm -hmm. and we've got the point four just popping around to the front just there so then what we're going to do is separate the two so we're just doing a two and a two and then just wrapping that round four times again one two three and four so then your wire is now at the back and then we'll just pop that again so we do four on this side like so one, two, three, four, and we're going to do six on the top mm -hmm. and six on the bottom okay. of these groups. So then what we're going to end up with is something that looks a little bit like that. Now, all oh, wow. I've gone ahead and done is taken the other three wires out. So you don't want to be wrapping too tightly. You ah. just need to kind of, sort yeah. of keep it a little bit loose-ish but you still want it mm -hmm. to kind of have that shape so now I've just left one baseline in okay. and then I've literally just sort of hand gizmoed with the um, point four just up the centre there being very careful not to squash we don't want to squash the work that we've just that we've just okay. done there so now what we're going to do is we're just literally as you can see we've got um, if I just pop on here one two six on the bottom just there and then one two three four five six groups of four on the top like so mm -hmm. so then I'm just literally going to create a bit of a oval shape like so so then as soon as you do the oval shape this wrap is going to fan out really really nicely so as you can see there we're then mimicking Ah, the, yeah. um, I mean, you could even have that in yeah. the centre of there. So, as I say, the uh, the world's your oyster, so to speak. And then what we're going to do is pop in, just to give. There we go. So, pop like that, and then just pop in a little bit of an angle on each side there. So we can bring these two together, and then with some of our wire that we've got left over from our weaving, I'm just going to quickly just give that a little bit of a wrap around both like mm -hmm. so just to keep that in in place for now so with the rest of our wire that we've now got left over I'm going to bring in my bail making pliers I'm going to create our uh, rings to to go through okay what we've just done there so I've literally I'm just going to go on this particular mandrel here on our 
bell making pliers if you haven't then you can um kind of i don't know use a, a pen or a pencil mm -hmm. or something like that if you haven't got these but i would definitely recommend if we've got these on our website to uh, yeah to get them because these are my desert island <laughs> must i think i use them in every single um thing that i yeah. do now what i've just done there is i've just cut the tiniest slither of wire off just there okay. just to kind of even it all up and then i'm just going to go back in my flat nose pliers and then that is how i make my jump rings for basically everything unless i'm doing chain mail and i will um saw them so then we've got like a, a really nice kind of um gap there so now we've made our our rings what we're going to do next is pop just open them up north to south as you would mm -hmm. a normal jump ring and then i'm going to feed it through both of the weaving sections that we've done just give that a bit of a squeeze there so bring that towards and then we can just close that up together and then what we can do with the little join is just twist that back round. so then now it looks mm -hmm. like we haven't got anything ah. um, sort of sat in there. So again, we'll just pop that round the bottom one as well. So just as I say, be you can, you can be quite forceful, but not too much because you don't want to lose the integrity of the loop that you've created. And then bring that back round to there, and then twist that up there, and then that little join just wow. gets lost in the in the design which is very nice and it's also very handy for when we're adding in our next gemstone so just pull that back out again just sort of get them all get all your ducks in a row just say come on stand in a row <laughs> and then twist that back round there so now we have got a nice base design wow you could then go on and do all sorts of different yeah. things with this so this is a really really good base design for that so what I'm going to do next is literally I'll just cut away these in fact I'll just leave those like that mm -hmm. for now I'm just going to create a little loop at the top so I usually take it to about a centimeter we will just cut that off like so and then I come in with my Round those pliers again and just literally bring those two back round to the back there. So that's then going to create our connection. So if I just get rid of one side and get rid of the other side there, like so. So now we've got our connection for our earring or our pendant, like so. And then all we're going to do is just add in some of our gemstones. So as you can see, I've already pre-wrapped some mm -hmm. of these. So we'll just bring our join back round, open that up. I mean, you could put these on as you're popping them, popping them on. So there we go. Just twist that back round. And it's still nice and, and easy to, yeah. to find your kind of connecting point mm -hmm. there. Open that up. So if I just show you how to do a wrap loop for your next one, for anyone who's just kind of beginning. So I'll just take a piece of our 0.4 wire like okay. so. And we've got our round nose pliers and I literally just twist around with my wrist to create a loop like mm -hmm. so. And then just grab that on my pliers there and we'll just wrap round a couple of times, making sure your wraps are really close together to keep it all nice and neat. Pop your pliers and give that a bit of a snip bring that back up so we've now got a nice loop and then add in one of these lovely garnets I think these are my favorite cut of the garnet I love the coins very pretty also I think yeah I wonder if we can get some of the uh, the garnets like the labradorite cabochons that we got had that would be really nice could you imagine oh, that with some seed pearls or something I don't like that list. yeah I think <laughs> yeah. so <laughs> So then what we're going to do then is just pop that around the top, do the exact same thing as we've just mm -hmm. done there and wrap that round a few times and there is our wrap wow. loop. It looks like a little sweetie <laughs> at, the, at the end of it. So you've got like a nice little sweetie with its wrapper on. And then just bring that back round and we'll pop that on 
into there like so. So that is now sort of our um, pendant mm -hmm. or earring to start with. And then we're going to add in our um, connector on the top right. there. So, um, and then also just pop on some of our, because I thought that they look, they do look nice the way they are, but I like them with the, yeah. the garnets in between. So what I did there was I've literally just threaded on the garnets already, but I'll just take the fact that that's all at the bottom there. Just pop our wire straight through the top of our connector and then just take these garnets off because I don't want them to go flying anywhere take those off there so just going to pop our wire through and wrap that round a couple of times so just literally wrapping that round the top there and then through the through the gap again up my uh, chain nose pliers but I can't seem to find them. So if I put them in there, oh there they are. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So if we can find that there we go, bring that back. There we go. Oh. I have to cut that and start that again because I didn't have the right take that out there, I'll just pop that into there right. like so then we can pull that through like so and then we'll just add in okay. our two garnets one and two pop those into the center there and then wrap our wire back through the connector like so one side and another one there and we'll just then we can create a wrap mm -hmm. loop then to sit inside our connection there but it's not we don't have to pop that on just right. yet because we can open that up so again just do the same thing as we did with the garnets before. Mm -hmm. Just create a nice little wrap loop there. It's just kind of using the connectors in a different way. Yeah. I mean, if you wanted to, you could do the, um, just have them as drops, as earrings on their, yeah. on their own. Mm. So, like so. And then we'll just open these up. Bring that back up a little bit. And we can slip that on. And that is your earring Perfect. there taking shape. And then I've done a little um, oh, wow. earring finding just there. And I'll just show you quickly mm -hmm. how, to, how to do the earring finding. And then we can complete our, our look. Just something a little bit different. Yeah. So just taking that. Again, we're going to do the same as we've done for our uh, wrap loop. And I've just taken... <laughs> um, our bell making pliers just here and I'm just going to pop in probably about an inch or so down from right. the end of the wire like so and then I'm going to just create a little right angle so we've now got our loop just give that a little bit of a squeeze there and then at that right angle there what you want to do is this is going to be the shepherd hook part this is going to be the decorative part, right. so we're going to do a little coil and just coil that up that way, mm -hmm. like so, and just give that a little bit of a coil, like so, and then that's going to sit just at the top there, so we can just kind of bring that down a little bit, pop this over our now I'm making pliers, bring that round to create our shepherd's hook. 
and oh. just pop that up there like so. And then give that a little cut there, and then that is how mm -hmm. we've made our perfect our shepherd hook there with just like a a little bit of a detail just on the front like so. So you've got yourself a little spiral on there. It's a bit like a tribal trap. <laughs> uh, maybe I should have got you to make me the pendant that I needed the other day. And then we we'll just pop that on in a wrap loop like so onto our shepherd hook finding and then you've got your your earring. That's or, or you could turn that into a pendant if That's you wanted so to. That's so nice. So. Oh, I like those as earrings. Oh. I like those. So there you go. They're That's very, good. very pretty. Thank you so much for showing That's us that, right. Katie. Gorgeous, gorgeous design. An amazing price point for your kit there as well. £21.95 to get checking out for that one. How about some garnet nuggets to add um, to your mm. kit as well? Make the kit go yeah. further, wouldn't it? These are very, very pretty. I love... Don't get me wrong, I love the coins. I really, really do love the coins. But I am definitely one of these that loves the regular shapes mm. in gemstone strands. I love the organicness of a regular shape. Um, they are very, very pretty. Oh, what, how would you would you incorporate these into the same design, Katie? Would yeah. you use them separately? No, I definitely would. If you wanted to do like a headdress sort yeah. of style of design, you oh, could in, wow. inter, intermingle these with mm. the, the coins as well. So you're going to get the, the flash of the, the yeah. faceting, but then you're going to also get like that lovely smooth sort of... Um, kind of shiller as well you've got them, yeah. i mean they are so i've always said this particularly with these nuggets they're so highly polished they look edible they look like yes, little um little pomegranate mm. seeds don't yeah. they you know they're they just look so juicy and vibrant with that color there three by five to four by seven millimeters in size 38 centimeter strand you've got there 50 carats in total km KY86 is your code for these, 0800 655 just as an addition to this kit, you know, or an addition to your stash at home to decorate, to accent with £5.95 for you this afternoon, That's completely incredible. natural completely natural and look at that color as well they are beautiful you've got those pinker hues those purple hues in there as well oh 800 655 multi-bar you know if you're doing any of your birthstone pieces it is the birthstone for january of course so perhaps get a few of these particularly at this kind of price point you know it's just 5.95 well done oh katie you could have done with these in with the kit i think there's something very kind of oh, yeah. boho yeah. chic about these Kim was expecting these, just from looking at the picture, to have been smaller. They are really sizable. Ooh, look at these. These are fabulous. Silver colour coated base metal you've got here. You've got a set of five of them. These are fab, I think, if you've got your Swarovski as well and your Seralun. Yeah. Because effectively, you've got lots of bezels around the outside here. So if you just wanted to pop a Swarovski in there, you could do that. Very, you could really bling this up. They're very boho chic, but yeah. you know, they just make me think of your long floaty skirts and your little vest tops for the That's summer. Stunning. Maybe just having one of those on a long drop in a pendant, a tassel mm. at the bottom of it. A bag charm as well would be fab for these. You've got five of them, so actually you can make them go a very, very long way. And again, having five means that we can experiment, you know, try something different with them. Get your stash out, you know, embellish it if you want yeah. to. Use your enamels on this if you want to. Oh, yeah. Kim just said, do you think they're light enough for earrings? Yeah. Yeah. They're not mass. I mean, they've got weight to them, don't get me wrong, but they're not massively. They're not too heavy for earrings. They'd be great as tassel earrings, mm. wouldn't yeah. they? Absolutely. I mean, if you had some, uh, if you wanted to do like a kumihimo with a leather cord, Ooh. make a leather cord and then have an interruption of each and then have a nice boho style belt, you know, <gasps> with these, couldn't you? Oh. Gosh, that would look amazing, mm. wouldn't it? A belt buckle, that would look so cool. QRPO43, so you've got a pack of five of them. Or maybe, I'm thinking decoratively again, I'm going back to my garden, because it's that time of year. You know, yeah. if you were to, to have five of these, five of these, you know, kind of, I don't know, 
wire up together, hanging down from each other with gemstones mm. on them, you know. Almost like a dream catcher, but a sun catcher, if you like, or a wind chime. 0800 644 655. I'm obsessed. Um, 36 by 44 millimetres in size 0800 644 655 do you know what that's about one pound 20 just under yeah, each that's fantastic it's a, i just think it's the best price for it. it's just experiment isn't it mm. maybe try a different medium you know if you've never used the serolin before and the Swarovski, then try it with some of these you know if you've never tried wire work before give it a go by embellishing one of these with your gemstones yeah. or your seed beads qr po 43 is your code yeah. there are lots of you can Coming in for these, that were fabulous job. It's something that's so on trend as well. Definitely. Moment, if you've it? got, is it there? I can't remember what, I want to call it silly putty, but it's not, is it? The uh, the moulding, it's the blue and the blue and the white, silly the silly gun. That's it, not silly putty. <laughs> <laughs> but you could you could put that into there and then you yeah, could then create take your own yeah, you know you could either if you do cakes know somebody does cakes have these around the, Ooh, the sides of a idea. cake or something like yeah. that yeah well the silly do you know what the silicone is so worth getting into a stash because you can take a mold of anything and it's so easy to use as well loads and loads of it i've been i've used it on air before it's that easy it's really simple uh collecting so you've got three tracing great another jacqueline in the aisle of man <sighs> One day, it was cut off my screen. I could only see I love. It could have been angle C. It could have been white. Yeah. You know, there's no telling. Uh, Five ninety-five. Well done. Let's see. I was thinking about building a wall in my garden yesterday. You know, like these ruins, like you see uh, these gardens and they have oh, like ruins. I love, I've, I love that. I and think sometimes I'm have they, a go at that. they have doors in them, don't they? Yeah. And you just think, I think what's I'm going to have a go in that. You're just talking about your garden. I was yeah. like, yeah. I was like, mm, where can I put a can fake build ruined wall? No, I'm just thinking about making a wind <laughs> chime. You're talking about building. Gosh, <laughs> built in a wall. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I can just imagine actually you getting up one morning, like, you know, your husband getting up and going, Katie, what have you done in the garden? Just put a wall. What's wrong with that? Just put a wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How would you create a ruined look? Would you just build it and then just build smash it a bit of it down? I think it would or? just look ruined because oh, I built it. <laughs> Have a look at this, 95 carats of your amethyst phantom quartz. I love, love, love this. You've got these areas, these areas um, in there where you've got this diaphanity and you've got these beautiful inclusions within the gemstone that are so stunning. Lots of reds yeah. in there. It's quite autumnal, I think. It makes, do you know what, it almost looks, if you have a look at this one here, it's almost like, you know when, you, when you've got your, your leaves have fallen off the trees? Yeah. In the autumn time. It makes me think of that. It's almost like the, the leaves have been captured inside oh, the gemstone. Yes, yeah. You know? I love these. 60, sorry, 95 carats of amethyst in total you've got there. Six millimetres in size, 38 centimetre strand. You've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 64 gemstones. 60 and a six mil round macrame kumihimo. Just make simple earrings, mm. you know. Uh, Katie just showed us how to make, uh, you know, a simple shepherd's hook. Yeah. Just pop them onto, pop them onto a headpin, add them on to a shepherd's hook. Stretchy bracelets as well that literally require very little work. Very little. Do you know what I like about stretchy bracelets actually, is that they don't require much concentration. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like mm. you are just it's something you can do that I find very easy to do just while I'm, I'm watching television yeah. or whatever. You know, you can just kind of carry on. You don't have to um, focus too much. That's why I love yeah. stretchy bracelets, and they're so wearable as well. In fact, you'll find that a lot of our customers um, and guest designers, even you know, as advanced as you are, and however many years you've been making jewelry, you everybody all still makes yeah. stretchy bracelets. I mean, bracelets, sometimes when I'm stuck in that creative rut, you know, mm. sometimes. Just the simple act of making a stretchy just gets those creative Kick juices flowing, you know. So kickstart your mojo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 800, 644, 655, G-I-K-Y, 35. <laughs> 
We are all the way down to just nine pounds and 95 pence. 9.95, so that is like an average of five pounds. Five pounds per stretchy. Amazing, isn't it? Do you know, not everyone sells. Not everyone no. sells, but present draw. Yeah. Do you know what? It's such an it's such an affordable way of covering all the birthdays that mm. you have throughout the year. I know I've always said, you know, my month is May. In fact, May and it goes into June. It's just that one time of year where I'm just like, oh my gosh, yeah. I have to buy so many birthday gifts. If you don't sell, just to be able to make, I don't know, 30 pairs of earrings with what I've got here or two stretchy bracelets, a yeah. gift, genuine gemstone jewellery. And actually not spending very much at all. No. I love that. Uh, G-I-K-Y 35 is your code for those. Well done if you have managed to check those out. Oh, I love this. I bet you love this gemstone, yes, Katie. I do. Um, this is this is cool, this gemstone. It's often referred to as black labradorite, um, your lava kite. It does have that labrador essence, that blue, beautiful, <laughs> well it is blue, uh, beautiful blue um, iridescence, labrador essence if you like, that comes from the surface. It always, it makes me think of a very dark night, but when you've got a full moon, mm. a full bright yeah. moon, and you've sometimes got a few clouds just floating by. It's really yeah. mystical, this gemstone. It's fantastic. Have a look at that. Can you see? You can, you can see why it's called Black Labradorite, can't you? Oh, wow. Yeah. Aren't they gorgeous? 12 millimetres in size in your lava kite. This would be great. You know, well, we've had the lava kite skulls before, but I'm thinking mm. if you've got any of the skull pendants and yes. things like that. Um, it's, it's quite in keeping, yeah. I think, with, with, with those kind of designs, isn't it? Great for the guys as well, this one. You've got, you know, a colour. You know, I guess the, the gemstone is black. You've got lots of greys in there as well. But it's, it's a tone, it's a colour that is very unisex and also that whereby we can use lots of other gemstones you know any color gemstone any color thread any color elasticity outfit you name it it will work mm. with these gemstones and they're great sizes too so i think 10 12 millimeters it's the kind of size i think do you know what even if i just use one of those on its own in a design you're still going to have a statement piece yeah. of jewelry because it's so sizable individually absolutely i mean these are just absolutely fabulous again like you say they these sort of um pen, uh, gemstones are, lend themselves to a pendant but you would you could create like a 360 sort of like um pendant with this as well so you can mm. see the whole the whole um kind of gemstone so you could just literally yeah. have it sort of suspended from a head pin or something like that so then you will oh, yeah. be able to see it I all like the time and yeah. um, when we launched linda's dvd at the weekend on saturday we had a customer text him and said can i can is there any limit to, to sizes with you know with gemstones to make beaded beads and linda said no just go you know if you want obviously the bigger the gemstone the bigger the beaded beads you're yeah. gonna have imagine one of these a beaded bead it would look Ooh, amazing. Yeah. amazing that makes me think tie backs now add it onto a tie back yeah. in your home decor you know something yeah, like that definitely. just incredible so if you want to do a really extravagant beaded bead with a 12 mil round it would look fabulous now there's two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty two four six eight ten eleven so 31 individual gemstones you've got oh my days oh would be I tell you what if I was selling I would be using it individually sell them on at five pounds each yeah <laughs> five ninety five how much does that work out to each kid wow 19 pennies per gemstone 19 pence that is just I mean let's let's just imagine that you don't do anything with this strand whatsoever and you just want to sell the gemstones on as they are so we've got how many gemstones did I count Oh gosh, 38, oh, um, how do I work it out backwards, <laughs> 31, so there's 31 gemstones on there, let's say that I just had them in a dish on my craft stall or on an auction website, 31 of them, carrot weight, you're looking at over 30 carrots each, my brain's gone to mush, so, okay, oh, 12 carats each, big 
12 carats, 12 carat lava kite pound. Yeah. Anyone? People would be, yeah. yeah. People would just literally take, oh yeah, I'll have a couple of these, I'll have a couple of these. Well, do you know what? By the time you've sold the strand, you've made 32 pounds. Obviously, minus the six, well, I've done nothing. Yeah. So that's a, that's a really good, <laughs> do you know what I mean? But yeah. if, you do, if you did that at a pound each, people are going to multi-bar, you know, and, and actually probably think, oh, I'll get one of those. I do macrame, I can pop one of those into a macrame bracelet. Yeah. Well, at a pound each, that's a phenomenal price tag. We're not at a pound each. We're at pennies each. FWTA53 is your code for these. Do check out, I've got multi buyers on these as well, a massive, massive, well done. Gents bracelets, I love these for the guys. You know, I've said before, there's not a huge amount of gemstone strands whereby automatically we'll say, oh, these would be great for the gents. Mm. A lot of the time we have sparkly strands, which don't always lend themselves particularly fantastic to gents pieces, but something like that I think is perfect well done if you managed to check those out and um, which one sorry kim cries a kyle nuggets these aren't nuggets no whoa, whoa, whoa. do you know this this looks like opalina it's so blue oh now, I don't know where this is going on price, but I can tell you this is going to be a considered purchase because these are yeah. massive. I wouldn't call these, I wouldn't call them nuggets. No, they're not nuggets. I would probably call them irregular tumbles because hmm. they're, yeah. I mean, they are, they're massive. They're absolutely huge. The blues in these are really, really striking. You've got some beautiful, vivid teal hues going on, stunning greens, tropical hues in every single gemstone on that strand. Completely natural. 100 pounds. Look at what I... I mean, to be honest, I mean, I, I can't remember every strand of Cry's Colour we've had, but that's a big carrot weight in one lot, strand yeah. isn't it that really is significant carrot weight our kim says it looks like loads of lagoons oh, oh yes imagine. you'd go on holiday in <laughs> chrysocola yeah i would too that i imagine look at those greens and those, those blues so it is quite reminiscent isn't it of of you know images of earth from space where the land meets the water Beautiful earthy hues. You've got look at that. Oh my word! It just make, it makes you want to go on holiday, doesn't it? This gemstone. Yes. Just beautiful. <laughs> One of those. I'd have to use nine two five sterling silver. And you know what? I think I'd be using my gallery wire on these oh, as well. Stunning. Yeah. Can you imagine? Mm. A gemstone of this kind of size, we're probably realistically talking about eight carats in that one single gemstone. With my gallery wire, my 925 sterling silver gallery wire, that's going to have to be a £50 minimum ring, I would say, in sterling silver. That's a epic size that you've got there it really is beautiful we were saying early on that chrysocola some of the biggest designer houses in the world using this gemstone it's incredibly beautiful it's very individual and unique and you know what it's a great one for the chaps as well again isn't it you know if you wanted to maybe use some leather cord mm. i like this one here have a look at this one that kind of triangular shape. So maybe just one of those on some leather cord in a neckline piece for the guys. Funny, yeah. No two gemstones will be the same. You can see here how different they are with their hues, but with their markings as well. You know, some will have more green than others. Some will be more blue than others in there. Get your gemstone strand home and have a really good look through that strand. Pick out your favorite one. If you're selling, save that one gemstone for your design, for your particular piece. You've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 21 individual gemstones. Do you know what, again, I just the, the organicness of this for mm. me. Not only with the color, but the shape. You're kidding me. So that one I pointed out earlier on, Kim just said that's nearly seven carats each averagely. So realistically, actually, the one that I pointed out earlier on, I think I said was seven carats, probably, just if I had to hazard a guess, is probably a lot more than that because mm. they are graduated. Those ones in the size far chunkier, far more sizable than the ones at the end of the strand there. That one, oh my word, these are incredible. 
0800 644 five. Price tag is going straight down, so make sure you come in and check out as soon as you can. VJ, are you 19? Do you know, I do believe I started off this auction by saying this would be a considered purchase. You did? For what we have here, that is not a considered purchase. That's pennies per carrot for you this afternoon. 0800 644 655. I do live it with the 925 sterling silver, but do you know mm. what? With bare copper, it looks exquisite. Yeah. I think those, those earthy tones along with the, the rawness of yeah. bare copper. Oh, in fact, you know what? Bare copper might be my preference. I'm torn. It's when it comes to, <laughs> when I come to cry as a colour, I, I just I always see it with bare copper. Mm. I love that combination. But do you know what? It's entirely up to you. If you wanted to put it with your plated base metals, you can do. There's nothing to stop you. £34.95. Get your certificate of authenticity with this one. Do you know what? You've got the real deal. You've got a gemstone that Tiffany & Co. have featured in their designs and many other designer houses as well. Well done if you have managed to check that one out. Uh, now, coming up for you, after the break, I've got some of the deal of the day left. Now, where has it gone? There it is. Look at these. The pinks. Rhodolite garnet, it's your deal of the day. I've gone another hour with you. Lots more treats to bring you. I'll see you in a sec. Our brand new Get Started with Jewellery Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewellery making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewellery designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash getstartedwithjm where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewellery making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewellery making journey. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. You can watch our Jewellery Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. Are you new to Jewellery Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Tune into Jewellery Maker every morning at 8am for our breakfast club. We'll be bringing you low, low prices, last chance to buy and end of line stock. Make sure you're watching because once the deals are gone, they're gone. Check out your Wall of Fame entries in this hour and be in with a chance to win £100 credit to your account. The Breakfast Club on Jewelry Maker. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. 
If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Tune into Jewelry Maker every morning at 8am for our breakfast club. We'll be bringing you low, low prices, last chance to buy and end of line stock. Make sure you're watching because once the deals are gone, they're gone. Check out your Wall of Fame entries in this hour and be in with a chance to win £100 credit to your account. The Breakfast Club on Jewelry Maker. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call center. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. to Jury Maker and um, if you've just tuned in I've got one more hour with you here on the mid show or well, myself and Katie have got one more hour with you here on the mid show before uh, Emma Dyson and guest designer Jeb Hawks take you through the late show deal of the day today yes oh my gosh do you know what all of our garnet it's fair to say is incredible it really is beautiful but this yeah. the clarity on this is honestly just perfect it really is now your rhodolite garnet it's not so much about the reds with rhodolite garnets it's about the pink hues that you get with this gemstone gorgeous pinks beautiful violets in there as well with crystal clear clarity and you know i mean don't get me wrong there will be inclusions in there but the parcel of rhodolite garnet that we've just got for you is honestly just breathtaking it really is now it's a hundred percent natural hundred percent natural garnet and with that again come as a premium a lot of gemstones in the industry are treated we're very lucky that with garnet um, the majority are completely natural dates all the way back to 3000 BC this gemstone it's been used by Egyptian pharaohs uh, for decorative uh, purposes and also in, in kind of um, what's the word I'm looking for Katie you've been really good at this today you know like um, 
um, <laughs> you know, like, um, oh, I had it then and it's gone again. Egyptians and I'm thinking like ceremonies, ceremonies. And yeah. <laughs> That's what that means. Um, yeah. <laughs> Charades. Um, ceremonies. I think, oh no, how could you have not got that? <laughs> Um, is able to be used for medicinal purposes, the myth and folklore and legend that goes with this gemstone as well. There is a huge amount to be said uh, for this one. Measuring at six and a half to seven and a half uh, on the Mo scale as well. It does make for an incredibly durable gemstone. I love it. Now, most, well, actually there's 30, 30 different, over 30 different um, varieties of your garnet. Um, and they do fall into six main families. You've got your almondine, your andradite, your grossier, your pyrite, your spacetite, and your uvarite as well. Those, the almondine and the pyrite, this is what we're seeing with your rhodolite. Like you've got the combination of that beautiful pyrite, that almondine in there that gives us that incredible, incredible colour. And if we're honest, I mean, I, I think I've seen one strand of pyrite almondine garnet here at Jewelry Maker before that I think was probably one of the most high-end strands we've ever had in mm. terms of price. That's essentially what we're looking at here with your rhodolite garnet. Look at that clarity. They're like little pomegranate seeds, we yeah. were saying. I don't, they're ju they look juicy, don't yeah. they? They're almost mouth-watering. 0800 655 CJVX93. It's your deal of the day today. And can I just say that that price tag on your screen was not the price tag that was set out this morning at all. £29.95 is an incredible, incredible price tag. Now, all you have to do to get this is dial 0800 644 655 or join us on the web at jewelrymaker.com this afternoon. CJ BX93 is your code for that one. Well done if you manage to get those. Your crown tassels, I love these. These are yeah. super, super cool. I think these are great as bag charms. Yeah. You know, definitely. as your bag, a big tassel, the chain. Do you remember the chain that we had yeah. earlier on in the kits as well? Oh, how pretty. Oh, wow. Look they cool. are really detailed. Um, Adam is thinking of little stalls. Thinks these, these are on. Do you know what they remind me? You know the really decorative um, elephants that you get in your... In your um, you know, like your ornamental shops where yes. they sell incense and Thai Buddhas oh, and yeah, things yeah. like that. You know, oh, that's what they remind me of. They're really pretty. Can you imagine trying to recreate these? Definitely not. I oh, know. Look at the work that's gone into them. Now, Tracy Spurgeon was here, gosh. Um, Friday? No, no, no. This is going way oh. back now. But thanks, oh. Katie, <laughs> for helping me. It could have been a Friday. Could In all been. fairness, it could have I been. I had seven days to choose from. <laughs> yeah. Um, but she came in on one show and she brought in the most amazing, intricate... It was a little trinket box with a fairy on. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Made from silver clay. Honest, honestly, it was unbelievable. And do you know what? It included lots of attention to detail, just like what we're seeing here. And it was more sizeable, but do you know what she said? It was two full days, and her full day is not nine till five. She means like yeah. literally from 8 a.m. till 10 p.m. at night. Mm. It was two full days of work, she said. So, you know, I mean, I'm all for creating pieces like this. If I've got the tools to be able to do so, and it's very rewarding, it's very satisfying creating pieces like this. But <laughs> if you can come in... <laughs> and it's already done for you, and it requires very little time. Time is money as a jewellery maker. I'd just come in and buy them. Yeah. And I'd make those tassels. In fact, many, many months ago, um, Kaleshna did seed bead tassels with something very similar, very similar components in a kit that she had as well. Mm. Seed bead tassels, using your cords, using yeah. your chain with these, or using them as literally your end caps on your chunky um, cord, you yeah, know, like your had, paracord. Yeah, and I've had like that. these with the paracord. Oh, really? In a kit. Yeah, and, and that's just exactly what I did with them. They're so. perfect yeah. for that, aren't they? 0800 644 
six double five or see i've got a thing about tie backs at the moment i've got a thing about tie backs and a thing about wind chimes as well <laughs> when i just thought of the paracord then i just said yeah actually if we use some of that cord and just had those on the end as your tie back that would yeah. look lovely really really decorative xh gp 58 <laughs> oh adam you should see the pins i have saved on pinterest yeah, you'd be telling me I need to get out a bit more. <laughs> um, XH GP at 58. Oh, my word. Not even a pound each. Two pounds and 95 really pence. Now, as a brand new viewer here at Jewelry Maker, there is no minimum spend requirement and you will get two genuine gemstone strands and a Getting Started DVD free of charge. No, There's no minimum spend. No. No minimum spend. <laughs> I'd, just, I'd just come in. I would just come in and get these today just to qualify uh, for those genuine gemstone strands and your DVD, which is brilliant as well. Whole lot of tuition on there to get you started. XHGP58 is your code for these. Loads of multi buyers. I would love to see. Do you know, I wish I could do the Wall of Fame every single day here. I love the Wall yeah. of Fame. Um, you have some amazing, amazing creations and you send in some wonderful designs. I'd love to know what you're doing with these. I'd yeah. love to see those pieces. Uh, Julie in Essex, Colin in Cambria has got two. Gillian in Kent has got two. Fatima in Lincolnshire has got three. Dean in the West Midlands has got three. Carol in Hertfordshire. Sally in South Yorkshire, you're all there as well. Congratulations to you. 0800 644 655 XHGP 58. Oh, hello. Oh! <gasps> Get away. Oh, my word. Oh, I'd have to multi-buy. I, I want some hoop earrings. Look at these. Ten carrots. Of your purple garnet you've got here. Look at the clarity. Can... I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going to hold that. Sorry, a little bit closer, um, so we can see the clarity on the. Look at the clarity. Yeah, that's stunning. Whoa, that's amazing. These shapes, Katie. This is a really different shape to I've use in our designs and the way that they're that. drilled as well how would you use these in your designs do you think um well I, I do like the idea of the hoop earring that you that you suggested oh. but i would definitely actually probably try maybe even creating a bit of a like a, a ring but having like a, a the wire work caged around the top of it so you've kind of got like a a scaffolding sort of look around mm. the ring and sort of emulating that sort of shape so oh, you could you know ooh, that would look lovely i love mm. these but you know restrand necklace design maybe some pearls if you've got any seed bead pearls and um, the spaces that you've got on here at the moment um are just base metal spaces you could if you wanted to maybe use your sterling silver we could use our seed bead pearls now mm. i do love pearls and garnet to go it's a beautiful beautiful combination i'd get these home you know have a look at them and have a think about the designs that you will make with these because it is a really different show to be fair when we normally have um ovals they're i was going to say side drill these are side drill but do you know what i mean they're, they're kind of drilled on the side as opposed to front to back so the i would like to call these front do you know what i mean yeah yeah these are like yeah so the They're other way side top drilled whereas these are back to front <laughs> top drilled is that what you're yeah, trying yeah, to say yeah 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 so normally we would see you know them drilled side to side so perhaps you know this side yeah. through to the other side but it's kind of front, these are to front back. facing yes yeah. yes <laughs> that's where i'm going took us a while but we got there <laughs> Yeah. Oh my days. Oh eight hundred six triple four. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, Adam, do you mind? I'm directing from the floor again, but can we just use the recording because you can see the clarity on those. Look at those. Look at the colour and the clarity. Sixteen pounds and ninety-five pence. That's fantastic. Oh, I'm hearing this has been very popular before. Well that'll be why. Sixteen pounds. And 95 pence. 
amazing, amazing value you've got there. F-O-J-N-72. You've got two, four, oopsie. I'll try again. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28 individual gemstones on that strand. Do you know what? I think I might try those in a bracelet design as well, just because of the movement you're mm. going to get in those. It would give you a very different look. And they'd obviously, I think if you had those against the wrist, fall in different directions. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They look beautiful. You'd put one of the skull charms in, would you, Adam? Look nice, that would. Chromed outside, micro faceted. I tell you what, that would look nice with a garnet. Oh, yeah. Stunning. Yeah, ditch the other spaces. I'd use chromed outside. Ooh, look at that for vividness of colour. Micro faceted. Microfaceted chrome diopside you've got here. That is a beautiful, beautiful strand that you have there. Uh, chrome diopside, we have had a strand of chrome diopside, but the wheels, if your budget wouldn't quite let you stretch to that one, maybe this one. Look at that green. Is that not the greenest green you've ever seen? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it really is, isn't it? <laughs> All right, direct that. Um, the consistency of colour is amazing. Throughout chrome diopside, it's always, always there, isn't it? I mean, look at that. Look at the sparkle. My collection of gemstones, my stash of gemstones at home, I think I've got more microfaceted strands than yeah. any others um, because I just can't get enough of them. I'm very much less is more when it comes to um, jewellery design and... I think the amount of sparkle you get from these strands, and it doesn't matter what the gemstone is, the way that they have been faceted, you know, imagine, imagine trying to cut, just cut a gemstone of this size. Mm. Then imagine taking that gemstone and maybe, I don't know, putting, if I had to hazard a guess, 20 facets on the surface yes. <laughs> of a gemstone of this size i literally have no that's exactly what i say kim kim says i could not be able to see it for starters <laughs> yeah i'd have no chance they'd never let me have a go would they um i just don't know that the skill that is required to be able to do this and you know this goes for all of your microfaceted gemstones it's always always been in the hands of the most skilled lapidrists in our cutting house when you get a microfaceted strand. To be able to facet a gemstone of this size and ensure that every single one is exactly the same. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't do it. No. I just couldn't do it. Lots of you on the telephone lines for this one. All you need to do is press your number one button and confirm as soon as you possibly can. We're at 24 pounds and 95 pence for you this afternoon 24.95 for 10 carats of chromed upside i'm just going to count out 20 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20. do we have a ruler do you have one katie at all uh not at hand no thank you oh. leah Oh, we've got one. Oh, we've got, got two one. now. Um, here we are. So if I count that, that's 20, and that's approximately three and a half centimetres. 30 centimetres divided by three and a half. So 20 times 8.5. Hundred and seventy gemstones approximately on that strand yeah 170 gemstones let's say that one takes 10 minutes 100 and no no that wouldn't be 170 would it be 1700 yeah minutes convert that to hours divide that by 60 give us like oh my gosh <laughs> the calculator 28 hours so 28 hours of work, the average working day is eight hours. Yeah. So three days work, 
three and a half days. Poof. Adam says, poof, eight hours. Hmm, I think you'll find ten. <laughs> <laughs> That's three days of work. Katie, yeah. 24 95 three days of work. Not in your life. <laughs> I mean, I've not even thought about the gemstone. <laughs> three days? Yeah. Do you know? <sighs> Honestly. That's nuts. Calculator's broke now as well. Uh, <laughs> Kim's broke. Oh, Kim wasn't using a calculator. She was using the whiteboard and a yeah. marker pen. <laughs> Look at this. I think it is my favourite strand of kyanite ever. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Carry the two. <laughs> oh, my son had some maths homework yesterday. I had to help him with. Honestly. Oh, I can't. Oh, it, do you know what? It's so difficult. And, you know, I've never been great at maths anyway, as you know. Oh, but I, he, he had a graph, and it was working out the kilometres per hour. Oh, no, sorry, the distance a car, a car had travelled. So it gave you a bit of an equation. There was a graph there, pinpoint. I thought, I, don't know, I seriously don't know how he works out, son. I don't know. And then even when he got the answer, I couldn't work out how he'd got to the answer. Yeah. Like, I just, it's completely... <laughs> no Adam. Adam said, did you rip it up and send a note and saying the dog had eaten it? <laughs> no, I said Megan had eaten it. Um, have a look. I don't have a dog. I don't know. I would, genuinely. 140 carats of kyanite you've got here. This is just the most incredible, incredible strand. Look at that blue. Look at that blue. It's beautiful. Is it, does it, it reminds me of the moon. The, 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 yeah. That silvery luster that you've got there is like the glow from the moon on the clearest night. This gemstone, I love. It's my favourite blue gemstone of them all. And do you know what? Again, I think I would be saving this for my gallery wire or saving my gallery wire for these. It would have to be, you know, my, my high-end components. I would mm. only be using a precious metal with these. Really, really low stock, 17 by 13 millimetres in size. A hun wow. I couldn't sell it for less than 50, no. regardless yeah. of what the, what the strand's going to in sterling silver. That's a big carat weight. 20, even if I was conservative and sold it at 30. People yeah. are going to be doubting the authenticity, aren't they? You've got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven individual gemstones in your beautiful rectangles that are 17 by 13 millimetres in size. That's a lot of jewellery that you've got there. The pearls. Oh, this is a lovely, lovely strand. Look at these colours. Wow, I, I love... You know these hazy kind of violet hues? Mm. I love those. Wow. Look at these. You've got the whites, you've got the peaches. Oh. Wow. Kim's just told us where we're going on price tag. Where are we going on price tag? Where are we going on price <laughs> for this strand? There will be multi-buyers for these. Oh, my gosh. Do you know, Jan was here on Saturday, and we were talking about the Jan wiring, um, which is one pearl, Jan Desire. Um, the ring that Jan makes, one pearl, 925 sterling silver wire, and she sells them for £45 each. And sells them so so Jan makes a living from selling pearls that is her full-time job and she's very open and honest when she comes here she'll always tell us the price points um, at which she puts on her jewelry pieces she sells them at 45 pounds mm. each yeah. it is Kim just said oh, John, that's an amazing price isn't it when you look a pearl ring in a precious metal anywhere yeah. you know you you will struggle to get in double figures the quality of these is just beautiful. And I'm thinking, because a lot of these have got flat bottoms as well, or flat backs, you'd be able to do it easily. Easily with this strand. I think I'd have to have this one here. The iridescence is beautiful. So a little bit of 925 sterling yeah. silver wire, job done. Even, let's say you sold them at, I want to say £10, but I feel like I can't say £10 if it's <laughs> sterling, you know? But let's say £10 a piece. 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. Do you know there's 50? I'm going to change my mind. Right, there's 50. At £10 a piece, I'd sit here and say, well, you know, you're not going to sell them all at once, are you? You're not going to sell them all at once. I tell you what, let's get it down to a price point where we would sell them all at mm. once. So if I did a craft fair tomorrow, I made the rings in, let's say, base metal. Let's say, right, <laughs> let's say I sell them at £2 each. Do you think I'll sell them all? Yeah. I think I probably would. Because <laughs> if I was buying, do you know what? I'd be like, I'm going to buy five. Yeah. I, I, I'm happy to spend a tenner. I don't know actually who they're for yet, but I'm just going to put them in my present drawer because it's, it's a pearl ring. So if I sold them at £2 each, I think it's fair to say mm -hmm. you'd sell them all in one go. But that craft yeah. fair, £2 for a pearl ring, I think you'd sell them all. If I sold those at £2 each with 50 pearls, it's £100, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and and do you know what? Oh, two pounds each. Why is everybody not making jewellery? <laughs> um, and look at your price point as well. It's doable, I promise you. If you've never made a piece of jewellery in your life before, come in and get this strand. It's going to cost you 12 pence for your pearl to make that ring. 12 pence. There's, there, are, there isn't anything you can buy for 12 pence these days. No. Penny sweets don't exist anymore. No. Penny sweets don't exist. You go to the pick and mix, you put five in the bag, you pop it on the scales and it's four million pounds. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> yes. There's the one thing I'll never let my child have is a pick and mix. I'm terrible. Yes. I'm a terrible mum. No. 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 They're so expensive. Um, um, five pounds, you'll have a chalk ice. Five pounds and 95 pence. O R G P 06. Five ninety five. Five pounds and 90. There's 50 pearls. That's amazing value. Amazing stars. Now, do you know what I think these are perfect for? We're coming up to the end of term. Uh, children break up a week on Friday here in the Midlands. Oh, do they? Week on Friday. I don't know where it goes, Katie. I genuinely don't know where it goes. Anyways, teacher's gifts, teaching assistants, best friends, children that may be going off to other schools and their mm. parting ways, perhaps. Wish bracelets. <laughs> Dinner, ladies. Well, do you know what? We probably could. Do you know what? Actually, Adam, this is a very valid point. They work hard and I feel they probably miss out, actually, yeah. because you don't buy the dinner ladies a gift, do you? It's just your teachers. <laughs> <laughs> he says they make that custard lumpy every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know what? These are going to be so affordable. You're going to have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Could be friends, teachers, teaching assistants, Dinner ladies. What about the lollipop lady? Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't want her job. Not at all. Um, people don't say thank you. <laughs> You'd love to be a lollipop lady, Kim. Oh. Do you know? Do you know what? Do you know? I only learned very recently, actually, what the, you know, the black, you know, the lollipop? Yeah. What the black line is in the middle. No, it doesn't. Well, it, the, the her standing there in a high vis means stop. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what it is on the on the actual lollipop, the black bit in the middle. She's got chalk in her pocket, and she writes down the registration of anybody that doesn't stop. Yes. Oh. Yes. That's what that. It's a black board. That black strip in the middle of a lollipop. I don't know, Kim, ask someone else. I don't know that. What if it's raining? I don't know, just, you'd probably quickly write it on there, then obviously maybe ask somebody around if they can maybe help you out, save that number somewhere, just in case there's another one. You know, in case, Leah's like, well, what if this happens several times? I didn't make the rules. I don't know what happens if it rains. I don't know what happens if there's more than two cars. All I know is that if you get it in the pub quiz at the weekend, yeah. there's your answer and I will share the winning prize. <laughs> there you go. Uh, anyway, every day's a school day here at Jury Maker. Every day. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. <laughs> 
I mean, maybe, actually, Kim, maybe they don't have actual chalk anymore, because you, know, you can get chalk pens. Maybe they have those. I don't know if that washes off. More high-tech. <laughs> no, it will never go in case it's, it's like a legal thing. If your battery goes, if you drop it and it breaks, you're never going to break your lollipops. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right, you've only got half an hour left, Hannah. It's all right. <laughs> 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 to lollipop ladies. It's a good job that Adam's listening. <laughs> <laughs> do you have do you have actual caretakers anymore? I think so. Do you think <clears throat> the school, I don't know. Oh my gosh. Anyway, if you want to make a wish bracelet for whoever it is, it doesn't have to be school related, lollipop related or caretaker related. <laughs> It can be just a simple friendship bracelet. Four, we've given you all the options now. Uh, 14 millimetres in size. <laughs> you could buy all the lollipop ladies in the county at this price, I tell you. 5 95 Actually, maybe not. There's a lot of them. Uh, 2D KY54 <laughs> is your code for this one. 0800 644 6 Double five. Five ninety-five. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um <laughs> Oh dear. Right. Um oh gosh. Leah. Uh have a look at these. Silver plated. These are well, they're spacers, aren't they? But you for your thicker gauges of wire. And they're tarnish resistant. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I've never seen those before. No, I particularly the Obviously, yeah. they're silver plated, so it is silver, but they are tarnish resistant as well, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm just going to take these out just to show you the size of the drill hole on these because for your thicker gauges of wire and cords, these are brilliant. Look at that. They're chunky, really, really substantial. This is like you say, standalone spaces anyway, as well. If you didn't want yeah. to use them as crimp beads. I see. I don't think I could crimp them. No. I couldn't. I, I genuinely don't think I could. They're too decorative mm. and they're too substantial, I think, to um, to crimp. But obviously, if you want to, uh, that's entirely up to you. Intended for your large wire um, in particular. Uh, so if you have got those thicker gauges, perhaps it's in your aluminium wire, perhaps it's in, you know, I think our base metal wire, I think that the thickest gauge is a one and a half that I've seen mm. in the copper yeah. wire, perhaps. I know the one, I have actually seen the 1.25 in the sterling now, but we do have some very, very thick gauges um, in the plated wire as well so these are very very handy and let's be honest there's you know I mean in terms of spacers there really isn't a lot you would get onto a one and a half mil gauge no. wire is there no, so these are great not. so you've got a pack of 50 pieces in total there you can buy more if you need more and there's no, uh, you know, there's no kind of um, small print that says you can only buy two per customer or, you know, that you're limited in any way, shape or form. You, you're not. You can get as many as you want to. 0800 644 655. OMBN95 is your code for these 50 pieces all the way down to £3.95 for you. Three nine, that's a great price point, yeah. isn't it? Do you know what? I, I don't particularly need these at the moment, but do you know what? I'm just going to get them anyway because they're three pounds and ninety five pence, and they're so useful. Yeah, so, you know, yeah. if you are working with that thicker gauge of wire, 
these would be absolutely fantastic. 0800 644 655. You could pop them onto head pins if you want to use them decoratively, you know, an addition if you like, yeah. in an earring, just as that little bit of attention to detail. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you wanted to create kind of like a Native American sort of style piece as well, yeah. if you had some of the um, turquoise that we had earlier on, you could do that and then create quite a wow. nice sort of like ladder weave style um, yeah. Native American sort of um, jewellery. Oh, that would look lovely, mm. wouldn't it? Very pretty. And again, yeah, that price point, you're saying that, yeah. Katie, experiment with them. Because whether you are putting them onto cord or beading mm. thread, monofilament, however we're using them, if it's a design that doesn't necessarily go to plan, we change our minds, we don't like it, yeah. just undo it. You know, you're not going to have lost any of your um, of your spaces there, are you? Well done, if you managed to get those ones. Yeah, very good. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, tea. Ho! Pillow packs. These are great. These are fantastic for jewellery. I love these. And I like I like this colour. It's very traditional yeah. as well. And it's in keeping with uh, kind of vintage, I think. If you've got any of your lace or your hessian with these as well, you can pop your label. If you've got a little uh, sticker with your info on, you know, your the name of your company perhaps, or um, your address, your telephone number on there. If you want to pop that on there, you can as well. But it's also a great blank canvas, I think, as well. So if you are gifting to anyone's special uh you know mother's day father's day it's a great blank canvas for the kids i think you know being a mum again if you know if if, if megan was just let loose with some crayons and just did some scribbles on there mm. you know it's sentimental isn't yeah. it you know it really is so anything like that you can decoupage on these you can use your mica powders on them as well if you want to you could stick a photograph on them you know there's lots of options with these great size as well uh, for things like bracelets stretches actually yeah. you just wrap a stretchy bracelet up in a bit of tissue paper and pop that in there it's lovely packaging and people remember people always come back to you won't yeah. they you know and it saves you wrapping present mm. if you like yeah adam brilliant five pieces six pieces you got there that's the lollipop lady that's the caretaker that's the teacher that's the teaching assistant and two friends one each just draw a little picture draw a picture of the lollipop lady on there as well <laughs> what do you mean the head teacher. oh the head teacher <laughs> <laughs> Picture of the lollipop lady. Yeah, I thought he meant the head yeah. of the lollipop lady. And then lady. he said, "What about the head?" And I'm thinking, "Well, I just, I wouldn't cut a head off on the drawing. I would just get it all on. Like, what do you mean? Like, what about a head? I didn't mention drawing the lollipop lady mm. with no head. <laughs> he meant the head teacher. What about the head? I get it now, Adam. I get it. Oh, eight hundred six double four six double five. They're one pound ninety five. And actually, do you know what? We don't need to be a jewellery maker to buy gift boxes, do we? You no. could come in today, make this your first purchase, and you will get two genuine gemstone strands free of charge. And a getting started DVD, $1.95. Multi-buy, multi-buy, multi-buy. Okay. What am I looking for? I don't have anything in there, Kim. That's a worry. <laughs> oh, but I see now I really want to see it because Kim just said it's triple A grade Zambian emeralds in my ear and that's like my favourite gemstone. <laughs> Where would it be? I'm assuming because we only have one left, maybe it's... No. No. Okay. Okay. Wow. Let's have a Larimar donut. Um, don't eat it. It's a gemstone. Uh, 35 carats of your Larimar you've got here. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> the markings on every single one will become released. <laughs> Adam, he's like, there's a face there. Look, he's got two <laughs> eyes. Um, <laughs> now, Larimar is... I think that one gemstone, I know, in fact, I haven't talked about holidays much today, but um, I do normally, generally, speak about holidays a lot. Um, but I think, you know, for 
everyone. This is the gemstone that will transport us to a hot, mm. sunny climate, to white sands, to tropical waters. It's the one gemstone that really, really looks like its location i yeah. think it's very reminiscent of its location isn't it just incredibly beautiful all the way from the dominican republic <laughs> now it's the only location in the world the only location so basically uh, uh volcanoes erupted lava flowed and cavities formed and within these cavities there's a mineral called pectolite that reacts with copper and it gives us this blue mineral. And this is the only location on the planet where this happens. Now, uh, many, many, many years ago, it was washed up on shore, Larimar was, obviously because in the way that it's formed, um, you know, it would be picked up by the ocean and carried and then washed up on shores. And it was uh, taken to the Smithsonian Museum and actually passed off as industrial waste. Um, and it wasn't, I know, everyone that loves gems is like, oh my gosh. Um, and then it wasn't until the early 60s that this kept happening and more and more of it would come about. And the locals thought, you know what, this is just, this is too beautiful. This is not industrial waste. This is incredible. So they actually took a bigger sample over to the Smithsonian Museum. And it wasn't until then that it was classified a gemstone, if you like. And obviously, um, the locals had struck gold. You know, we've got something here that is so incredibly, incredibly beautiful. And at the source, as many of you will know already, any gemstone at the source, we assume, is more affordable, but it's completely the opposite. You know, you go to Mexico, as, as our Kim has, and look at prices for Mexican fire opal. It's through the roof. You go to the Dominican and have a look at the prices of Larimar, it's mm. through the roof. And, um, you know, I think we all naturally assume that because you haven't got quite the, the transportation costs, you know, it would be more affordable, yeah. but it's not. It's completely the opposite. You've got a great opportunity to get an incredible gemstone here this afternoon. And the donuts are really, really versatile as well. So we've seen lots of techniques. Most recently, uh, Kleshner joined me, I think, Friday or Saturday um, of last week and did a, a lovely seed bead technique with the donuts actually whereby uh, she just created kind of like two triangles I want to mm. say uh, two triangular pieces and just stitched them together top and bottom and it almost created a bail yeah. if you like you know like a bail look uh, and then just use some uh, suede cord and do you know what that would look fabulous with even actually if you're not a seed beader just take some suede cord create a lark's head knot through yeah. there that's all you would have to do mm. to this gemstone and it would look phenomenal 35 carats in one piece you've got there so every single piece completely individual and unique i would definitely definitely be multi-buying for this hq q oh no hq oq 45 is your code for this one all the way down to £29 and 95 mm. pence for you this afternoon. If you've not seen this gemstone before, get it home. Get it home and have a closer look. Multi-buy if your budget will allow you to. Pick your favourite one, send the others back, or maybe just keep them. It's incredible, this gemstone. Well done if you have managed to check that out. Keep coming through. You can join us on the phone lines today. 0800 644 655 or on Tinterweb at jewellery maker <laughs> what was that is that you laughing Leah then laughing. oh it was him laughing oh. <laughs> uh, HQ OQ 45 is your code for that one well done <laughs> another donut and I got one look at oh, that oh wow oh, that colour is incredible yeah. at, can you see that at the bottom yeah. it is like water do you Adam you need to have one is there where at the festival Oh, there's donuts tomorrow. We've got our immediate media festival tomorrow. So um, throughout the day, I don't know who's. I know Vicky Carr's doing the mid-show tomorrow, isn't she? And Zena's doing the morning and Zena's on the late as well tomorrow. Um, so you'll have uh, an incredible day here tomorrow. Oh, we're all at the festival. Oh, donuts. Adam, you're going to have to have one. Adam says, I've got craving for donuts. Craving for donuts. Are they like the warm ones as well that are freshly cooked? You know, oh, that you get the seaside. Yeah, you know, yeah. like when at the fun fair mm. and things. Oh my gosh, crispy crab donuts and the donuts are available. That's.
that'll be exciting. But this one, fat free again, not edible. 60 carats, your dyed blue stripe agate. This one, I'm just going to turn that around because that's how I saw this first. Look at this, like waves mm. that you've got there. Beautiful waves, such a, a striking hue. It's really, really vivid. And this is what I love about dyed gemstones, you know. We can have any colour that we like. And you yeah. do pretty much see that in agate, don't yeah. you? You know, the pinks, the oranges, the reds, the purples, the greens, you know, you name it, it it's there. And when we dye agate, it really accentuates the banding within the gemstone as well, which shows the gemstone off to its best. You know, it, it highlights its best bits, if you like. This one, 60 carats in total in your blue agate. I definitely multi-buy based on the markings. And you can see this one is multi-tonal as well. So again, it's about picking your favorite one, um, potentially keeping that for your own design and selling the others on or returning them. It's entirely up to you. But the price tag we're going down to, I think you might be keeping them. Again, it's quick jewelry making, isn't yeah. it? Maxi dresses, belts, lariat style belts. Yeah. Pop the cord through there, look lush, wouldn't it? Three pounds and 95 pence. Perfect. That's an incredible price point, isn't it? Mm -hmm. LDGP 64. We had one on the morning show actually today as well. And we were saying that they're almost like palm stones, if you like, like thumb stones, the yes. one that Alex brings in as well. So, you know, if it's something that you just want to get to, you know, to keep in your pocket perhaps or in your handbag for whatever reason uh, and use agate for its supposed um, healing properties, its metaphysical properties, that's £3.95. Yeah. Just do that. Goodness me. Well done. Um, connectors. Oh, hello. Oh, these are very nice. Oh, these are lovely. Very, oh, we could stitch these together, couldn't you? Oh, yeah, stunning. I should have done that on your board, Katie, so that we could have seen it on camera <laughs> for, but not to worry. Um, you get the idea, just stitching them together. Really pretty, these are. I love I love the little components like this. Yes, Kim. Kim says, these look really nice in your hair. And you'd be able to do that very easy. You'd be able to wire up that to a bobby pin, no problem at all. It'd be quite vintage, wouldn't yes, it? You know? Yeah. Maybe add some, oh, I'm going to say zircon. Some of the, the zircon yeah. strands that we've had would look amazing. So I've got 10 pieces, I think, in total here. Lovely design on these as well. Do you know, actually, they're really versatile, not just for jewellery making, but, do you know, I don't know, maybe popping some onto photo frames, photo yeah. albums, perhaps, as well, if you're a card maker. Yeah. You know, popping them onto gift cards as well. You could do that quite easily. You've got lovely filigree work there as well. So if you wanted to embellish this further, um, you could... Very, very easily. Oh, you could put some ribbon through there, couldn't you? Oh. And sort of create like a bit of a, a buckle sort of style bracelet yeah. or something. They are very pretty, mm. aren't they? But do you know what? Again, I look, that's why I love things like this. I've got a pack of ten. I'm going to experiment with a few of those and try different things. You could almost use them as stencils as well if you wanted to. If you, you know, you're a bit arty again, you with your um, card crafting maybe. And if you've got your silly gum, as Katie said earlier on, why not take um, a mould of that yeah. and recreate it mm. time and time again? Definitely. 0800 644 655 HA GP 62 is your code for this one. 0800 644 655 10 pieces, 39 pence each. Fantastic. That that is definitely yeah. an I'd experimental price, to, isn't it? To cut them in half actually, and then you get 20. <laughs> that is such a good idea. I love that. Cut them in half, get 20. Um, 395 we've got a text on screen it's um evelyn in carmarvonshire i just spent a great afternoon with you all on jay and fabulous kits and tips today thank you oh evelyn you are very very welcome evelyn where in carmarvonshire are you uh, how's the weather Ammon, today i'm in first i really is she oh. yeah lucky lucky <laughs> uh, i'm in wales this weekend down in Swansea, I am. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Step in a little chuckle to myself. I've got a girls' weekend this weekend. Uh, yeah. Do you know? I oh, know, exactly. Mm -hmm. Say no more. Say no more. Uh, HAGP62 is your code for those. <laughs> 
<laughs> you've managed to check those out. Do you know what? I'm just I'm gonna laugh to myself because I think I've got to the point now where it's like, do you know what? We're not we're not gonna go crazy. We're not gonna go out. So it's not like texts between the girls saying, "Where are we oh, gonna go? Yeah. What are we gonna do?" It, honestly. Um, so w- where are the supermarkets then? What should we get from the supermarket? What food should we get? <laughs> honestly, I don't think I'm in for a crazy weekend. <laughs> It'll be lovely. Right. Um, how long have we got? We've got time to squeeze a few more in. Turquoise. <gasps> no. Yes. No. I don't have the wheels, I don't think. Do I have them? Have they fallen down? Yes, they have. Look at these. Okay. Only approximately four chances left. They are nearly gone. Do you know what? I can't remember the price point for this. I know it was amazing, but I just can't quite remember where it was. 50 carats of turquoise you've got here. Graduated plain wheels. Now, just to let you know, there are seven of these in baskets at this moment in time. A quantity of four, and there will now be people joining us that haven't been watching throughout the day and now want to get their hands on this. It is fast becoming very much like Tanzanite in its scarcity and with the rate in which the prices have increased for this gemstone. It's not the most affordable at this moment in time and as mines deplete, as mines close over in the US, do you know what? It's just going to get less and less and less, which means prices will keep going up. SY NV45 is your code for this one. 0800 644 655. It's natural US of A turquoise that you have here, stabilized to make it more wearable. It doesn't change the gemstone. We don't really class that as a treatment as such. £29 and 95 pence for you this afternoon. 50 carats in total. You got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38. I'm about 40 halfway. So you're talking approximately 80 gemstones on that hmm. strand. That's a whole lot of turquoise. That's, I just, do you know what? That I, I would use that in a gents yeah. design. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Just phenomenal. Right, Chrysocola. Oh, was, was it the rounds, Kim, or the tumbles? The rounds, yeah. And Katie, you and I both said earlier on, this is a really long strand it for Chrysocola, really is. isn't it? Yeah. Look at those go. Beautiful rounds. I love them. And a great size. Great for stacker bracelets. You could do his and hers bracelets with these if oh, you wanted yeah, to, be couldn't lovely, you? Yeah. Uh, a nice little set for the chaps again. Really natural Eslons. Your leather cords, your suede deck cords with these. You do have, if I just bring back that turquoise, look at the blues. Yeah. I mean, it's very, Don't very me. similar, isn't it? It really is. And that's the thing with the Chrysocola. You get these turquoise hues in there that are mm. so beautiful they really are that is quite possibly one of the longest strands i've seen of chrysocola yeah. 36 centimeters four millimeters in size i can get that around the wrist. do you know what you'll get that around the wrist twice and you'll have some left over for earrings no problemo ig nv 73 is your code for this one 12 pounds mm -hmm. and 95 pence 12.95 that's amazing. Incredible. 1295 is quite a colour. 0800 655. If you haven't come through already for this, you can come through now. This is another opportunity to get your hands on this one. 0800 644 655. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 100. Easily, easily on that strand. Hematite. This was our one to own yeah. this afternoon. Oh my gosh. They're just super duper cool. We were saying earlier on, weren't we? Put them with anything, it's going to yeah. completely transform the look Absolutely. in a jewelry. These are just fabulous. They're amazing. Just amazing. 
90 carats of hematite. I've seen one strand, one strand of hematite in its natural form in the last year, mm -hmm. I would say, and that was just the other day. Um, I think they were microfaceted. This is pretty, really pretty. Consistency in shape, in size. If you are somebody that needs that consistency, that wants that consistency in your designs, then this is ideal. Do you know, look at that. Oh, stretchy. Beautiful. Just a simple stretchy. As a stacker, gorgeous. You can pop those little chrysler colours in there as spacers as well if you wanted to. Make them go even further. LH. Are you 83 is your code for this one, 0800 644 655 or on the web today, <laughs> com. <laughs> oh, I do love you, Ben. You've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 33 individual gemstones. 33 gemstones. Let's say 32, 16 pairs of earrings. Yeah. They will look fantastic. Eight pounds and 95 pennies is all you are paying. How fantastic is that price? I know, I know that is absolutely incredible. Isn't that fabulous? Stretchy and you know what? I can spare two there for earrings as well. No problem at all. Well done if you have managed to check that one out. 90 carats of hematite. If you have anything in your basket, from the show so far today, or shows so far um, today. Um, across the morning and across the mid-show, we've had some amazing, amazing treats. We really have. So uh, perhaps you've just got home from work and you've tuned in or you're logging on. All you've got to do is check back on the website. If you scroll down, you'll see all the items that we've had on the show so far today. It will always say if they've sold out, um, clearly states sold out. If it doesn't say sold out, they're still available. So you've got until midnight tonight to add to your order. Keep combining your order and you'll only pay one p and of just 3 95 Now at 8 a.m. in the morning, prices go back up to the original web price. Even if it's in your basket, you must make sure that you're checking out as soon as you can. Um, so please, please do. Katie, thank you so much um, you. for this afternoon. Staying with me <laughs> and laughing at me. Um, or with me, I meant, not laughing at me, laughing with you. Gosh. <laughs> when are you back? I'm back on the 23rd. 23rd of July. morning, mid, late. I think I'm on the late. Okay. Uh, we'll tune back in then to see Katie. You can check on the programme guide and schedule as well to see what's upcoming uh, with your presenters, with your guest designers and the shows that you've got coming your way as well. Now, Emma Dyson and guest designer Gem Hawks will be taking you through the late show. They've got some cracking deals for you, some amazing kits as well. So please, please stay with them. I will be back now with you on Friday on the mid show um, from a one o'clock. So please come back and join me then. Whatever you are doing for the rest of your week, have a great one, have a safe one, and I shall see you back here on Friday. Take care. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewelry making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. 
Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Our brand new Get Started with Jewellery Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewellery making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewellery designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash getstartedwithjm where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewellery making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewellery making journey. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides and jewelry maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Um, we are joined today by the fabulous Gem Hawks, everybody. Good evening. Welcome to Monday night. M welcome to Monday night. It's going to be a good Monday night, isn't it? It's mischief and mayhem. It is. Which one, is. which one are you, mischief or mayhem? I can't remember. Probably a bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> So we haven't worked together for ages, have we? I oh, know, it's been far too long, sweet. It, it has been far too long. Uh, for those of you who have not met before, hello, by the way, I am Emma. Um, we're going to be starting off today with um, a whole hour of sterling silver. Um, we've got some amazing deals. Honestly, Beck has just put... So oh, I've got these. Sorry, I'm just saying to the point. Oh, I've got those. Um, We've got all kinds of gorgeous stuff. We've got some uh, sterling silver featherweight headpins we're going to be starting with. Um, then we have obviously got the kids. We've mm -hmm. got the, the jewellery that has just arrived in the studio is absolutely amazing. Um, we've got some brand new Labradorite. We've got, we've got all kinds. I think this one's coming up at nine. This is coming up at nine. Mm -hmm. <gasps> we'll get that switcheroo in a sec. <laughs> Holy guacamole. That's amazing. Thanks, babe. It's that is incredible. just stunning, stunning gemstones tonight. Absolutely. Fabulous. I'm very excited, yes, even if too. I've got a sweaty tash. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Snap! <laughs> It is. Right, so we're going to start with sterling silver. Um, have a think as well, what should we get people texting in tonight? It's Monday night, isn't it? Everybody's like, nah, mm. after the weekend, so... Yeah. What should we think? What... <laughs> um, how about... Um... I don't know. I don't know. We'll have a think. If anybody's inspired, let us know. Let us have. Let us know if anybody's inspired. What we can text in. I did a 12-mile bike ride yesterday, everybody. Oh. So please excuse my thumbs. I've literally ripped the skin off my thumbs from cycling. Oh. So Ow. My toe looks like that. Your toe looks like that. Karate. Karate. Oh, how long have you been doing karate? Wow. Only one. I did it when I was a kid. Okay. Now I'm doing it again. I've only had one session so far. Yeah. 
Fantastic. Oh, do you do any kind of anything martial arty or anything? No, the closest I ever got was I used to do Tai Chi about 14 years ago, which is like really slow martial oh, arts. I love Tai with Chi. No contact. No, but it's, it's great. Fab. It's very relaxing. It's so much fun. I love Tai Chi. It's I've forgotten all the moves though. It's good. And yes. Yes. Frequently. I met <laughs> I met a guy in Singapore as well, Dr. I can't remember his name, but he was, he taught me, um, like, Qigong, and he's like, okay. so, and you do all, like... <laughs> That's not terrifying. No, no it was great. It was <laughs> all kinds of mad stuff. I've got videos of me, but we're at a big event, and he's at the back of the event, like, doing all of this, like, Qigong. I'm like, what are you doing? I was like, can I do it with you? Teach me. So, yeah, it was... <laughs> Sounds amazing. It was amazing. Anyway, featherweight headpins, everybody. Um, we have got your... But you can't hold these very well, can you? <laughs> um, so you are getting a pack of 20 mm -hmm. featherweight head pins. Gem, why does everybody need sterling silver featherweight head pins? There are certain gemstones that desire sterling silver. There are certain gemstones that deserve sterling silver. Oh. And there are certain drill holes that require the featherweight aspect. So to have the, the ball end on a featherweight head pin, and these are beautifully straight, they by are. the way, uh, you, you are able to use some of the gemstones that you perhaps otherwise wouldn't get your standard 0.5 or 0.55 head pins through. Absolutely. And that's like traditionally more of the, the higher end gemstones, right, tend to have the smaller drill holes? They, they quite often do, yes, mm -hmm. because if you're working with a gemstone that's sort of two or three millimetres across, mm -hmm. um, then it is going to be slightly more difficult to put a, a whacking great 0.8 mil drill hole through it, because you'll lose, you, you, it's kind of wasted. Yeah, absolutely. And if you're talking about diamonds... Yes. You don't want to waste a diamond. Nobody do you? wants to waste a diamond, no. do they? <laughs> Nobody wants to waste a diamond. Um, if you're watching Jewelry Maker, by the way, for the first time today and you're thinking diamonds, yes, you can absolutely buy diamonds here at Jewelry Maker. Um, and that's what we're super passionate about is you know, we, we are able to offer some of the most considered mm. gemstones and some, uh, uh, what we've got coming up, we've got brand new Labradorite coming up for you. Um, we have also got, I mean, the gemstones that you've had in the kits. The kits, I, I've got to be honest with you, they're some of the best I've seen for, for a little while. I might have um, harassed, harangued and otherwise begged okay. for these combinations. I like it. <laughs> um, by the way, folks, you're getting 20 925 solid sterling silver head pins. They're one mil um, with a one mil bore, sorry, at 40 millimeters. Yours today at just two pounds and 45 pence. Blooming it, that's cheap. I was going to say cheap, but it's, it's affordable. It's achievable, absolutely. It is. It's mm -hmm. achievable. It's affordable. Uh, £2.45. And you can multi-buy on these as well. Don't forget, it's 1 p and p until midnight tonight. So if you've already purchased something today, you want to add these to your order, feel free to do so. And likewise, if this is your first purchase, um, well done. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. There's tons of you there. Um, Cheryl's bought four, Clayton Essex have bought four, Pauline's bought two, Caroline's bought three, Beryl's bought two, Tracy's bought two. Uh, literally, almost everybody's multi-buying right now. Hello, Marlene and Lorna. Uh, hello to Beryl and, oh, we've got two Beryls, and to Donna. Uh, lovely to see you there in Greater London. Michelle's just joined us in West Yorkshire. It is busy, busy, busy today here at Jewelry, Ma uh, Jewelry Maker. Um, you can, of course, call 0800 644 or you can bid on the web at jewelrymaker.com. Um, and, uh, yeah, take advantage of these they're awesome louise is there deb's there loads of you there hello right. <laughs> right where are we going next let's have a look i've got this this is what i just said I, I, i've got i've got these these are so gorgeous they're amazing they are amazing. Um, the quality is in incredible. The the finish that you're going to see on this Dreamcatcher, and Dreamcatcher's obviously, you know, really kind of popular, mm -hmm. especially now. I mean, I've always been a, a big fan of Dreamcatchers. I bought one when I was in Alaska about, gosh, a long time ago. Um, and I just adore these. Um, they're so, so beautiful. And I, haven't, I don't even know what I'm going to do with mine yet. I just bought them. I'm like, I want these. They're a beautiful thing to have, to be perfectly honest. I mean, it's perfect for making earrings and pendant sets but just as an object mm -hmm. if, if you're one of those people who particularly enjoys the finer things in life then why not have a sterling silver one above your bed oh yes yes Gem I love that and the detail as well I don't know how well you can see um, but the detail on the feathers is just it's so intricate it's so intricate you've got the vein 
down to the set. Is there only 22 of these left? Oh man, I need to buy some more. Um, <laughs> Right down the centre, you've got the, um, again, the, the detail of the vein. Oh, and, and then it fell out the tweezers. Um, but Bye these... These are so beautiful. They are gorgeous. And the thing that I particularly love about the attention to detail that you get on the feathers uh, is that the notches on either side aren't perfectly symmetrical. Yes. You wouldn't kind of expect a, a feather on a dream catcher to be 100% identical both sides. So it's lovely just to have that element of, of nature. They're gorgeous. I absolutely love them. Bang on trend right now. And there's so much, um, you know, behind, as well as just being, you know, fashionable at the moment, um, there's so much history and there's so much folklore behind the dream catcher. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of creative people as well are really kind of drawn into things like dream catchers, yeah. right? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, £9.95 pence. For a £10 note, you're getting 95 sterling silver. Imagine this in the window of a jeweller's, um, you know, just with a simple bail on a sterling silver chain. And think of the price point you could pay for something like this elsewhere with that detail. Debbie's bought two. Karen in West Sussex is with us as well. Claire's there as well. 0800 644 655. Dial through right now. And the articulation, the movement, I mean, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's subtle. Yeah but at the same time it's so detailed and that's what I love about this it is it's perfectly on point I mean it would feel lovely against the decolletage but in the ear the movement is really going to attract the eye I love that and if you wanted to make a little stained glass window dream catcher then you can pop your coloured resin in there put some clear tape over the back <gasps> let it set oh that would be cool you don't have to do anything obviously but you could oh, I love it right perfect next up we are going to Oh my gosh, we've got Ooh. a sterling silver bangle. It's exciting. Right, only nine of these in stock. There's a, there's a load of silver in this. It's a chunky monkey. It is chunky monkey. Mm -hmm. 7.56 grams gosh. of sterling silver. That is um, a good weight, yeah. It is beautiful. <gasps> Look at this. So this is your 95 sterling silver bangle. You can see, you know, we talk about... Um, Sterling silver as being the most lustrous of all the precious metals. So you have, of course, that beautiful reflection. You have that mirror. Um, when you're looking at something like this, and it is a substantial chunk of sterling silver that you've got here, you can really see what we're talking about in terms of that reflection that you've got. I mean, you can see that into the studio right now. It's incredible. I'm trying to catch Leah waving, but I'm failing miserably. So you have to put your mind yes. into reverse. Way! Hey. Hey. Nicely done. Hiya! <laughs> <laughs> um, but also on here as well, of course, I mean, beautiful uh, as a cuff, mm -hmm. um, but you've got the, the two drill holes there. So, you know, how would somebody kind of make this into, into a bracelet? For me, I would want to reform it slightly, so sort of warming it up very, very gently, probably just with the heat of your hands rather mm -hmm. than with a flame, uh, and then just drawing that slightly closer together. You could add a section of chain, you could add one of the centrepieces from one of our slider bracelets, which would be nice sort of elongated Ooh. dangle effect. Or for me, I think I'd want to do Lark's Head Knot either side with some satin Ooh. and then a tiny little bit of macrame in the middle so that you can open that right up, make it really easy to take on and off. Gem marks, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we should be at £24.95. We're going to take this bangle under £20 tonight. Uh, do take advantage. Um, just a beautiful piece. And, you know, if you're looking for that special piece as well, if you're looking for... Um, how many have we got left? Sorry, Beck. Six. Mm. There's only six chances left. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry if you miss out on this. Lots of you already on the phone lines at £19.95. For all that silver, you could pay more than that for a silver chain just with a couple of grams of silver in can't you you absolutely can yeah i mean even in the bargain basement jewelers it's like 12.95 for a trace chain and that's 0.8 of a gram exactly so yeah there's a lot of silver in that and could you could you uh, stamp onto this could you etch i mean could you you could certainly engrave, engrave onto, onto it. it you could certainly etch using mm. the etching acid system you mm -hmm. can kind of uh, go over with either stickers or with uh, there's a particular product that you use to mask it mm -hmm. before you put the etching fluid over the top uh, you could certainly add uh, an impact of uh, you could wrap beads onto it you could give it some texture obviously you don't want to whack it too hard with a hammer otherwise you're going to lose that beautiful smooth shape of unless course. you're very very confident 
uh, in, in kind of reforming that. But those are lovely. They are. 1995, everybody. And a lovely gift. I think everybody mm. would love a, a sterling silver bangle. I, I, I don't know. And it's age appropriate and it's occasion yes. appropriate. So whether you're, you know, one or 101 or whether you're wearing this with a pair of jeans or you're dressing it up. It's just beautiful. It is absolutely perfect. And it's going to work with every gemstone in your collection as well. I really want to just have this with a with a, one of the sterling silver slider mechanisms. Mechanisms? Mechanisms. Mm, yes, with one of those. I've got a couple at home, actually. I've not used yet, so love it. There's three left. Good luck. There's uh, mm. loads of you got these in baskets, so make sure you check, check, check it out. Right. <laughs> um, let's do... We've got some jump rings. Woo! Are these seven mil? Check me out. She's good. I'm getting good at this, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've got your 95 sterling silver jump rings, 7 mil. They're sizable. They're also quite chunky as well, aren't they? Yes. I don't know what the exact gauge is, but they're, uh, they're not the finer ones. These are going to keep their shape really beautifully. Perfect. Um, so you're getting 50 of these um, 95 sterling silver 7 mil uh, open jump rings that you've got there. They're, they're super glossy, aren't they, these? They're finished really, really beautifully. I mean, oh, you can gorgeous. obviously get your jump rings, or you can make them yourself, uh, but if you don't give them a really lovely polish after you've formed and cut them, they can be a bit meh. A bit what? A bit meh. 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 There's nothing met about these. No, is there, there isn't. They're absolutely gorgeous. And your seven mil in a diameter is a really useful in your chainmail weaves. I'm not a chainmail artist, but I, I know that it's one that's very commonly used, mm -hmm. and it's great to be able to offer that in a sterling silver. So amazing. Ah, oh, I love a sterling. I love sterling silver bracelets. I've got um, it's not um, chainmail. But it's handwoven, uh, like Balinese design, lovely, and it's and it's so chunky. But I really wanted to start doing some chainmail, and mm -hmm. I'd love to do it with sterling silver. Um, you're getting 50 of these today, uh, 14 pounds and 95 pence. Gem, if you weren't going to do chainmail with these, mm -hmm. how useful is like what what is what would you use a seven mil for? Uh, like I say, I'm not really a chainmail artist, but I know that you could um, do a nice open Byzantine or you could do a, a Queen's box weave with mm -hmm. them. You could certainly do a two into two. Anybody can do a two into two. And if, if I you can, weren't, you can. If you weren't going to do chainmail, what would you do? What would you use them for? You've got lots of options. You can use them for exactly as they are designed, which is to link, say, for instance, the end of a chain to uh, a device which acts as like a toggle clasp mm -hmm. or a jump ring or some such thing. But they're also really lovely. You could solder these onto sheet and they form like a faux little bezel. Ooh. So you could solder it onto either copper or silver sheet and then uh, either set a gemstone in or even glue a little gemstone in or a little brock pearl or something. And it gives you a, a, a really pleasant effect. Fill it with um, resin or, or, or similar or oh, enamel. I like even. that. Lots of choices. I like that. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Right, where are we going now? Let's take a look at... Dum, dum, dum. Ah! Oh, how cool is this? I'm excited. How cool is this? Oh, my gosh. Um, I am just chatting today with one of my business partners in India, and I am desperate to go over and visit. And just, for me, this epitomizes mm -hmm. um, just the culture and the vibe and just have a look, have a look at this. This is really, really beautifully made. Um, this is your elephant. Oh my gosh. And you've got this section here as well in this, oh gosh, I'm dropping everything today. What's wrong with me? Um, you've got this kind of stardust section in the center right there as well. There's only 34. That's a load of silver in this as well. That's beautiful. Look at that lovely effect. How gorgeous is that? It is stunning. So I love how you've got the different combinations of the textures as well. Can you see? So you've got this almost like chevron kind of effect that you've got down the, the legs uh, and onto the trunk. Um, you've got the detail and that's quite stylized in the, in the ears. Uh, and then you've got this wonderful section that almost looks like it's been parve set with little diamonds. That's actually in the silver work itself. So you've got this section right there of that stardust uh, in the center there, which is just absolutely beautiful. Big 
um, size on the bale as well that you've got here as well. So you could put that onto a thinner Omega um, necklace or onto some cord or a leather. I think this is just so, so lovely. Everybody's multi buying. Lynn's bought two, Mary's bought three. Uh, hello to Christine and Karen and Georgina. Um, I think this would, do you know what, as well? I think this would be lovely in something very colourful. You know, yes. do you know what I mean? So I'm thinking garnets would be beautiful with this. Oh, yes. Garnets always make me think of India. And yeah. Beautiful. That's fabulous. I love it. Less than 20 left now at £9.95, 0800 uh, 644655 if you are uh, dialing through. Just to show you the quality of the finish of the back as well, you've got that just that beautiful, um, wonderful polish. And, of course, um, uh, it, you know, even if it flips over, you... Still, still looks beautiful on the other side. I think that is just gorgeous. Uh, well done, Anna. Well done, uh, Margaret's just joined us. Uh, Leslie, Rosemary, Andrew. Do make sure you check it out, folks. We've got less than how many left? Left than 15 chances left. So if you are loving this, do check out. I don't want you to miss out. I'm really glad you showed the back actually, because sometimes when you buy a very featureful a charm or a pendant, however you want to think of this, what you'll find is it's been punched from a sheet, and it's you have hollow, the reverse like, yeah. open hollow mm -hmm. of the punch. Which yes, you can do things with. You can pop your resin or your clay in if you desire. But I think that's a really beautiful attention to detail to have that enclosed and smooth. Absolutely, it's very. It's, it's almost got kind of a locket feel to it in the sense that it's. Do you know what I mean? In yes. that kind of solidity. If that's probably not the right word, but you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> <laughs> lots of you there. Do make sure you're checking out. I think this would be lovely. You know, on. I'd like this on like a scarf or something like a really mm. like a, a, like at the bottom of a scarf or maybe on a scarf. Be cool. Tie. What do you, do you call Scarf them? Scarf ring. Scarf ring. I think that'd be lovely with like a bright coloured. I don't know. I've just got this Indian vibe going on looking at this now. Oh, mm. lovely. <laughs> um, less than ten chances if you've got it in your baskets. Check it out. <laughs> um, right. Next up. Ooh. <gasps> I do like this. It's great fun. It's oohs and ahs. It's like going to the fireworks. It is, isn't it? <laughs> and I'm so... You think after, you know, gosh, a long time in the 15 years working in jewellery and gemstones that I'd be like, oh, it's a whatever. But no, I get excited every time. And certainly when I can bring you a 30-inch chain, oh, that fantastic. is not something we see. That elephant on the 30-inch chain, that dream catcher on the 30-inch yeah. chain, oh, that is so bang on trend right now. Um, and this is beautiful. Oh, look at the sparkling uh, that you've got here and the faceting of all of these um, beautiful uh, diamond. Oh, my gosh, it's diamond cut um well I, I, I could see that looking at it but then when it's i'm like oh it looks diamond cut this is stunning there's only seven chances as uh, just so that you know when you're looking at a, a diamond cut chain you're, you're looking at something that is a premium um traditionally about 40 percent more considered than what you would pay for a regular chain um but it oh, do you see that then? do you see that then? all the sparkles then there all the sparkles it's incredible i'd, I'd multi-buy on these they are going very fast. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm not going to get one, am I? That's amazing. No. I mean, it's such a long chain. and It's so elegant. I, I always feel really elegant when I'm wearing a long, a long piece. Yeah. Also, sometimes I wear a piece that's kind of just for me. It's not for anybody else to see. Yes. You can kind of smuggle it, hide it away on a 30-inch chain. Beautiful. I like that. <laughs> um, also, as well, uh, I think it's quite slimming as well, having that longer length it's quite slimming. It does draw the eye to a different part of the body. It does. Face. I think they're about to sell out. Good luck, good luck, good luck. I'm not surprised. That's really lovely, actually, to see it in a, quite a spectacular effect as well. Yeah, that not just... Paparazzi flash. <gasps> <laughs> oh. Where have you found all these, back? There's some... These... these. Look She's at been in the special silver stash cupboards. The special silver stash cupboards. I want to. I want to go into the special still silver stash cupboards. I'm not saying there actually is one. Okay, I'm just going to pop the black background so you can see the detail that you've got here, and not, not the fluff. Let's move the fluff. <laughs> so these are your twist charms. Ah. Oh. 
I love these. Uh, 10 by 2 millimeters, you get in a five pack. Um, and what I, I love particularly about these, and I don't know how well you can see that, but the, the kind of rope design that you've got, one of the, the, the twists, uh, one of the ropes is um, textured and the other one is just plain polished silver. Yeah, it's lovely. It really brings the highlights and lowlights together, doesn't it? It's gorgeous. 17 chances. It's been so it's busy this hour, isn't it? Everybody's uh, everybody's jumping. They're going under five pounds. <gasps> That's a pound each. There's so much. I mean, feel the That's weight fabulous. of that. Oh yeah, you really know you've got that as an individual piece, and what, they're uh, what would completely you use them for? sealed. They're, they are. They're not open in any way, so um, you could use them. Exactly as you would it's sort of a closed piece. Yeah. So if you wanted to do a really fancy chainmail weave and just have one of those oh jump rings gosh. in the centre, which doesn't need to be openable, mm. then this is going to be the one to kind of draw attention and <gasps> draw the eye in. Do you know what I've just thought as well? What I would like, just really simple, you know, like a wish bracelet. Yeah. But and have like, what what's the knot? Lark's head knot. Lark's head knot mm. on either side with just a little uh, on some cord. That's cute. Yeah. How cute would that be? But if you look, if you quite like uh, chunky, stretchy bracelets, mm -hmm. as I kind of do, I've not got them on today. Um, but the sort of the eight mil and the ten mil, these are going to be the most immaculate spaces between mm. larger size beads on the wrist. Yes, but you get to see them all yourself, you know. Lovely. Uh, Lynn's bought two. Susan's bought two. Other Lynn's bought two. Mary's bought four. Um, Marianne's bought three. Everybody. Everybody's multi bought on those. Every every single person is multi bought. They've sold out. Sorry, not sorry, sorry. Don't forget that one. Thanks. But go back to the vault of joy. The one vault of, the of down. The vault of joy. Well, that's what I've decided that the secret silver stash is called now. <laughs> the vault of joy, where the secret <laughs> silver's smuggled. Um, I just, I would like these, please. Um, I. Oh, those are so cool. They are cool, and I think these are the perfect size. Mm. And I think as you get a bit older, you can't. Not that you could, because you can wear whatever you want, right? But I think you're a bit more mindful of not wearing massive, mm -hmm. massive earrings as you get a little bit older. Also, if you have small animals and, and younger children, perhaps yes. having giant hoops that reach your shoulders, slightly less advisable. These are the perfect size as far as I'm concerned. They are beautiful. My dad used to say, "What? Are you, what? Are you, are you going out in those? Are you going out in those big? What do you call them?" Parrot perches or budgie <laughs> perches or something. Uh, <laughs> uh, these are your square tube hoop earrings again in 95 sterling silver. These these are real quality because you can buy hoops and you know when you have to like stretch them. Yes. Because the, the 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 post goes into the hoop. Yeah. I I that makes me nervous and I've used uh, them sometimes and you mm. know after you've used them for a long time they're not always. Well, they don't sit back. There's only so much flex you can put through metal yes. before it becomes fatigued. Yes. So knowing that that's jointed, oh my gosh. and then you've got that kind of almost spring action to close it. And they, they're really secure. And I lo look at the quality that you've got here. You've got the, the 95 sterling silver stamp that you've got there. I love that you've got this wonderful... Um, uh, it kind of changes in its, in its thickness as it goes um, through the the post there and then you've got this just clicks into place did you hear that it's, it's a very secure it's super fitting. secure isn't it mm. i've got some diamond uh hoops they're like inside out diamond hoops and they the the clasp on them has gone a bit loose so i haven't worn them for ages i need to take them back to a jeweler but i love these for everyday wear you know just you know and They're if you've amazing. got any of the small donut style beads that we had in jadeite uh, last week, the week before, then Ooh. a single one of those threaded on and yeah. worn. Uh, it, it's really beautiful. It's very, very effective. Oh, that'd be lovely. I like that they're square as well. Yeah, it gives you that different light interaction, doesn't it? Yeah, and it's quite modern as well with that square look. And they're Love nine those. pounds and ninety-five mm. pence, and just as they are, like a gift for somebody. Perfect. You yeah. know, you usually say you go to I don't know one of the pharmacies or something, and you go and buy some bath salts or, you know, that kind of thing. Mm. You can spend ten pound easily on some body wash and some bath salts, mm. um, or you could get somebody, you know, some sterling silver earrings. And there's no reason that those won't last for years and years exactly. and years and years. 
Exactly. Or you could buy food jewellery on your way out of said chemist, which yes. is plated. Yes. Plastic. Yep. And also at nine ninety five or yeah. thereabouts. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Right, um, we have got Star by coming up on the Ooh. Bolt Ring Clasps. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm quite excited about these. They're coming up for you as a Star by right now. Welcome back. I don't know why we say that, welcome back, because we don't go anywhere, do we? It's like about <laughs> 10 seconds, and then it's like, ah, welcome back. Um, we've got some bolt ring clasps, um, a jewellery box staple, really, isn't it? Jewellery making yeah. staple. Um, and these are going to be star by today. So there's 10 of these, um, beautiful quality. Again, it amazes me how these get put together <laughs> and I'm such a nerd and I find it just fascinating that inside here there's a little spring mm. I am a nerd aren't I I'm such a nerd um, <laughs> look at that it's so cool I'm really sorry about my um, injuries um, but you've got 95 sterling silver again so this um uh, pulls back and then of course you've got the spring inside there and then when you release obviously it closes we all know what a, a bolt ring clasp is like mm -hmm. right um but i think you know with, with some of the sterling silver that we've been we bought to you already today some of the charms and some of the pieces that we bought to you you know if you're wanting to create that beautiful sterling silver piece this is a must-have right this this pack of 10 most definitely I mean if you're making necklaces or bracelets or anklets then yes you need something to close those if they're not an elongated one that goes straight over the top for me if you got the featherweight sterling silver head pins earlier these are the perfect partner because what I would do is I'd use singular leftover gemstones and make with the head pins just perfect little charms so a sterling silver charm with a genuine gemstone, mm -hmm. you think about what your head pins cost you, you yep. think about where this is going, and I've, I've got a, a sneaky idea where it's going to. Oh, wow. The amount that you would actually spend in terms of time and actual cash money buying the yeah. bits and pieces to then create a charm which you can sell for, let's see, I mean, where, if you go on the high street, Oh yeah. What does a sterling silver gem set charm cost you? My with, with my clasp? mom bought the charm bracelet company, not the one where you slide them on, but the one where you clip them on. Yep. My mom bought a turquoise. wasn't real turquoise. It was a supposed to be turquoise. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a disc. The turquoise fell out, by the way, after oh. a couple of weeks. I know. Thirty-five pounds. I said, "Are you mad?" She saw. Uh, my, so it was for Christmas last year. But my dad wanted to buy her something, and I, he, he usually calls me up and he's like, uh, uh, "Can you can you go get your mum something for me?" This is usually like the twenty-third of December or something. Of course. <laughs> I'm like, nope. Um, but no, we, we we planned ahead of time this time. Um, but no, thirty-five pounds, and it had reconstructed turquoise in it, or mm -hmm. not even turquoise, and a bit of sterling silver. And that was with a clasp. It was with a clasp. You yeah. clip it on. It's on the on the bracelet. So quite often when I'm making a necklace suite or a bracelet or whatever it is, the design that I'm creating, there'll be three or four beads that perhaps don't get used just simply because there's an excess on the strand. We, we bring mm -hmm. genuine, genuinely generous strands at Jewellery Maker. Yes. So there's a couple left over. I'll pop them onto a, a charm of some description. And then, you know, it, it's basically free, isn't it? Mm. It is. And I love that. And people love charm bracelets as well. It's such a lovely gift. You could also as well, you know, if you wanted to add them to an anklet or something like that, they would be really lovely. Yes. Um, I love an anklet. I do too. I if think... you've got any of the charms or the little smaller pendants over mm -hmm. Amber Weekend, then these are the <gasps> perfect partner. Yes. Oh my gosh, absolutely. I've got the... Um, I bought the little um, the little planets as well that have got the abalone in the middle. They're awesome. They are so They're gorgeous. so cool. They would that would they would be lovely just clipped onto a bracelet, yes. something like that Absolutely as well. Absolutely perfect. Oh my gosh, Becky, are you serious? So two pounds. <laughs> 
pounds. <laughs> and so I was thinking six ninety five. I'm going to put that straight out there right now. So you know, I, w I was thinking they'd be seventy p each. Yeah, absolutely. That's astonishing. That's that's. That I was gonna say something rude then. That's but it is absolutely astonishing. Um I just <laughs> ordered some charms. They've been kind of made specially um and uh, for my my uh, supplier in India and basically I am paying you know, a lot more. I'm looking at these right now going, oh my gosh, I could have just bought the bulk clasps <laughs> from JM and sent them over. <laughs> um, well done. Jennifer's bought four. Maggie's bought two. Uh, Margaret's bought three. Lots of people are multi-buying. I'm not surprised. I would multi-buy on these as well. You never know when you're going to be using them. Um, it's something that you're never going to be... Um, I'd, rather be I'd rather be looking at them than looking for them. Totally. Because when you want them, that's when they'll be unavailable or there'll be a, a different price point won't absolutely they? absolutely um loads of you there agnes has just bought two as well hello to leon rita and christine and susan and beryl donna's just bought four it is fail to prepare prepare to fail absolutely it's all about the seven p's isn't it the seven p's do you not know about the seven p's <laughs> no, Adam, that's I'm not the same thing. I'm guessing preparation is the number Prior one. Prior planning and preparations. I'm not going to say the rude one. Prior planning and preparation prevents something poor performance. I can't say the word before poor because I won't. I'll be fired. So it's a naughty word. <laughs> Prior planning and, and preparation prevents something poor performance. There you go. It's a it's a it's an army thing, isn't it? Isn't it an army thing? Isn't it something? From the, uh, anyway, Brenda, well done. Anne, well done. Jan, well done. Vera, well done. Right, um, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Loads of you taking advantage of that. Right. I've got to say, I think that's probably the lowest I've ever seen a pack of ten little bolt rings Absolutely. go to in, in sterling. That's amazing. I hope there's some left at ten. <laughs> Did you just say what? Ah. <gasps> I like this. <laughs> I told you it was fireworks night. I like this Ooh. a lot. Ah. Oh, that's cute. <gasps> you know the bangle? I was, that's exactly what I was just thinking. Oh, and then just with one of the bolt rings? Yes. Yes, it's made, it's done. Yes. I love this. So we had the sterling silver bangle earlier. You could pop this. And do you know what I love about this, Gem? I like that this silver stardust bead isn't in the center. I'm just gonna get a black background so you can see a little bit better. Oh, there we go. Perfect, perfect, Adam, perfect. Positively perfect in every way. Absolutely, like Mary Poppins. So you can see, or not, but you've got um, the, the silver stardust bead is the second one in from the right or the left, right? Um, and I love that with this not been put in the centre. I, that does appeal to me as well. That yep. really appeals to me, yep, that it's not been put in the centre. It's quite modern, isn't it, having that? What I'd like to do is make uh, buy a couple of them, make them into earrings, use one of the featherweight head pins, add a dangle on one end, attach the other end to an earring, and then have them opposingly in, in the way that they fall. So on one side, <sighs> yes. it's second from the bottom. And on the other side, it's second from the top. I like that. Apparently, you liked that. <laughs> I like that. Um, beautiful, genuine freshwater cultured pearls, 95 sterling silver, that beautiful stardust bead. Um, that's just a should be. We should be at six pounds and ninety-five pence, but we're going to take this under five pounds today. Under five pounds today. You think about what you're getting. Not only are you getting the beautiful sterling silver for under a fiver, but you're also getting as well beautiful freshwater cultured pearls. They are pretty spectacular. Those pearls. I've They're got incredible. to say. They're incredible. And do you know what? They would have to be. They couldn't be very irregular because it wouldn't look right having that that. It's the silver spacer bead there. Yeah, you're so correct. They, they are very spectacular, in, in my opinion. I'm not a pearl specialist, but... Me either. I'm rating them spectacular. Yeah, well, I think that's, that's a good rating. Is that, that a new rating? <laughs> it's, it's, it's the new pearl Nobody rating. Knows. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's fine. <laughs> 
there's only 40 of these, four pounds and 95 pence. Um, let me show you this again at the wrist. Um, with that bangle, like mm. you said, that we just had, that would be beautiful in the center there. Um, also as well with one of our, um, just one of the um, slider bracelets, um, at this kind of price point, though, you could make a beautiful modern, because it's not your grandmother's pearls, this, is it? It could make a modern mm. kind of suite of jewellery with this kind of, you know, price point. You really could. Yeah, absolutely. And if you were to have the 7mm in diameter sterling silver jump rings, yes. multi-buy on those and just connect them. Yeah. It'd be really quite funky. And then you can play around with the order again. There are... They're about to sell. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Right, Enjoy. next up, we've got... Ooh! <gasps> Ooh! Oh, I need these. I'm not bored of that yet, sorry. <laughs> I love silver. I just love Ooh. silver. Do you all love... Is everybody's like, me too. I think too. we all love a bit of silver. Didn't need the pots, fine. Who needs a pot? Anyway, right, so take a look at these. These are heavyweight engravable beads, everybody. Heavyweight engravable beads. These are 8 mil. Um, you have got a substantial um, hole through the center there. Oh gosh, I'm catapulting things everywhere. Um, but you have, you've got a substantial hole there, Gem. I. <laughs> I absolutely love these. <laughs> oh, we did like 40 minutes together. <laughs> We've been so 38 happy. minutes. We've 38 so minutes happy. you managed. <laughs> the aperture of these engravable beads is super. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. So you can see straight. Oh, I'm going <laughs> to. Mm. So, um, <laughs> I'm thinking right now, uh, these would be lovely to disguise your knot. Perfect, yeah. The aperture it is, is certainly big enough, isn't it? Stretchy bracelet, mm. absolutely. Oh, are they? Oh, I want some of these. Wow, and they are super, I mean, they are, feel that? Yeah, again. 4.74 grams. Wow. Yeah, there's so, a, over I, a gram and a half each in a bead. I've got a chain, an 18 inch chain that weighs less than that. Do you know what? Talking of chain though, how lovely would this, oh, oh my gosh, how yes. lovely would this just be this on a chain? It'd be just perfect. Maybe like a, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going in, like a little, um, I like a little 16 inch just sits there in the nape of the neck. I think that would be lovely. And they are engravable as well, but I think that's just gorgeous. That's perfect. Put that on some uh, ribbon. Ooh, if you yeah. sort of cut the ribbon on a slant and, and burnt it with the tool that has temporarily left my name, the, the name of it. Yeah. Um, but just cut that on the slant and then post that through. It'd look beautiful as a choker. Oh, really I'd lovely. like that. As, I mean, I'm quite into me chokers. Um, right, uh, let's do, ah, oh, these are fun. Those are cool. Right, only Love 19 them. of these, only 19 of these. Um, these are your, I've started wearing my glasses, Gem, because I can't see the screen, I'm like this. Um, well, does it make you feel better if I grab mine? Hold on. Yeah, that's all one. right, I think it's, we, we both. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> both look very intelligent now, don't we? <laughs> Looks can be very deceiving, though. Um, <laughs> so, let's talk about these. <laughs> how cool are these? Look at them. Love that they started square because it gives you a completely different dynamic on how that twist works and how it plays with the light. I mean, it's reflecting the different lights in the studio. They're, they're quite drippy, aren't they? Look at those. That's amazing. Um, I think these are brilliant. That is so cool. I bet they fit on the bracelet uh, memory wire as well. They look oh, like they've got the right curvature yes. for it. 
So again, you could pop, you could spread out your beads a little bit further, make them last a bit longer. Oh, I like that. 95 um, twist square curved tube. Gosh, there's a lot of shapes in that description. <laughs> twist square curved tube spacers. Uh, 25 by 2 mil at 10 pieces that you've got here. Um, and they're, they're just lovely. Do you know what I would like to do with these? Like, join, I, I don't know, like, could you, you could, like, Put, put them together like this. Be very, very in like easy. an earring. Yeah, absolutely. Little you could even have a little together. bead at top and bottom. Mm. You could use wire. You could probably use beading thread and just sort of crimp it together. It's entirely how you want to work with them. Yeah. Very versatile indeed. And as I say, because they started off square, they've got a real interesting interaction of light over the surface. They do. It's all about the relationship between the observer and the wearer and the light. And they're yours today, £7.95 for 10. That's fabulous. 10 of these. They're really substantial as well, aren't they? They are. Mm. Look at them, they're, they're fab. You could they do some... They can make a nice noise as well. They do. Do you know what I'd quite like to do is take the featherweight head pins, bead on the end, pass the rest of the head pin up through the tube, a little uh, wrapped loop at the top, and then put them onto a chain. <gasps> that would be lovely. Maybe even using the... Uh, clasps that we had, the bolt ring clasps, because mm. they sort of twist and move in different ways, wouldn't they? Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, good luck with those. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Flying through today. We've got loads to get, we've got 15 minutes, loads to get through. Um, I forgot where they've come from, sorry. Right, let's do some sterling silver wire. Awesome. Yay! And it's 0.6. Oh, wonderful. We don't see 0.6 a lot. You don't see as much of it. We often see the 0.8, the 0.25, sometimes the 0.4, mm -hmm. sometimes the 1 mil, but the 0.6 seems to be the, the lost little one. Aww. So it's, it's fab. It's my preferred gauge of wire for making the spike weave, sunburst weave, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. that features in the citrine bracelet <gasps> in the 9 o'clock hour. Oh my gosh, wait, you, you've got to stay with us to see this bracelet that Gem's made. It is just incredible. In fact, the, everything's incredible. So, and we're gonna, it's going to be fun, so just stay with us anyway. Keep us company. Um, so um, your 6 mil, 1 metre of sterling silver wire, which is always amazing to me that you can buy an entire metre of sterling silver wire. I know we do bigger uh, lengths, but I think that's incredible. Oh, I've just got a metre of sterling silver. It just sounds decadent. It does sound decadent. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, not just under £5. Pounds, no! Well under £5. Beck's pounds. like, oh, it's under £5 pounds as well. I'm like, no, it's £3.95. <laughs> it's got a three in front of it. You can't even get a meal deal for that. You can't though, can you? You can't get a sandwich and a drink and a packet of crisps for £3.95. <laughs> In my experience. Possibly not a particularly wonderfully nutritious one. No. <laughs> um, so for people that are maybe a bit nervous about using sterling silver, you, what would you what would your advice be for somebody who, who maybe wants to try some wire work with sterling silver but obviously it is more considered however for three pounds and 95 pence it doesn't matter too much at that price you can afford to try it out can't you at that it's price? not as great a risk uh, what i would look for is when we are able to bring you the uh, all soft 0.6 mil gauge copper silver plated wire and that will give you a very similar feeling to working right. with sterling silver in that gauge or uh, the 0.5 standard silver plated copper wire feels quite similar um, and then soft. sort of practice in your your plated metals right. and then move on to your solid sterling silver don't do what i did and i just ordered sterling silver the first time i've used any wire and um, text me in the middle of the night how uh, do i do the end Gem, what <laughs> Gem, I, I think I've messed this up. <laughs> I did a text. I was like, and, and what, am I, uh, what do I it's need to do now? Two in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was awake making jewellery. I was going to say, I hope uh, I didn't keep it. I hope I didn't wake you up. Oh, oh, I need this as well. Oh, this is this is cool. Yeah, are there more fireworks? So more? not not only is this, I'm not showing you. Not only is this textured, but it's also brushed finish. Sorry, right, have a look. Oh, that is super cool. This it was the anticipation was worth it. Patient. 
How cool is that? So it's brushed, um, hammered. It's called the Sil Sterling Silver Hammered Effect Connector, but it's it's not actually. Yeah, it's just not been polished. It's just gorgeous. It's the sort of effect that you would get with a, a, a very fine wire mop. It kind of gives you that brushed effect, isn't it? It's gorgeous. I love it. <laughs> did, you, did you just say the effect that you get with a fine a wire fine mop? A fine wire mop. That's um, if you use the Dremel or you do. Oh work. right, I'm like I'm, in my head. I've got you know, gem like on the floor with a fine <laughs> my, with a mop. I was like, what? <laughs> Please don't mop your sterling silver. It won't end well. You might lose it. Um, yes, I know what you mean. A brushy now. thingy. I need to get a Dremel, don't I? You do. Everyone's nodding their head. Yes, Emma. Um, I, it looks so exciting. Uh, but you've got, the, if you haven't got a Dremel, you've got this which is done for you already, right? So you've got this Perfect. beautiful... Uh, and that is incredible. Wow. Hey, you know you were talking about the abalone planety things? Yeah, there would be, would be the so moon. cool with it. Yes. It does look like a moon to me. It looks it like gorgeous? a moon to me as well. And again, I'd look, you know, I don't want to sound boring, but I would just like this in the, just like a cord bracelet. Oh. Yeah, you absolutely could. It's lovely. But it's lovely to be able to have the different finishes with the sterling silver, so you can play Mix around with match. texture. Have something perfectly smooth, one of our mm. smooth spaces. Where, where, sorry. Ah, oh, that's what I'd, I'd got in my hand. Right? Oh, <gasps> that was like five meters. That's a lot here, isn't there? Oh, it's exciting. There's a lot here. Um, so this is your point four um, of your sterling silver, and it mm -hmm. is. It's five meters. Five meters. That everybody, just to put that into perspective, that's your first swimming badge. Mine was ten. Oh, well, mine was, I did 10 because I just whazzed past the five. So I was like a fish. Um, <laughs> I used to swim distance. I used to swim for the county, actually. I used to swim a lot. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, I was, I did, I, I have a badge for 10K. My gosh. I know. I couldn't do uh, 10 lengths now, let alone 10K. <laughs> um, but anyway, five metres, that's half of the width of, an, of a swimming pool. It is indeed. Or enough to make a really beautiful pendant with all the very, very intricate weaving in and out and doing the beautiful uh, binding of wire with different orders and things. It looks it's absolutely stunning. It is gorgeous. Mm. It is really, really beautiful. Um, an entire five metres. Um, so maybe you got the uh, point six before, get the point four. Um, do you ever kind of mix and match different... Because both of those are quite weavy... Weavy widths, aren't they? <laughs> yes, they are malleable enough in Sorry. the point six as well. You could, because it's sterling silver, because it does have that sort of soft core appeal, um, then you can weave with it and get that effect. Amazing. Oh, this is so beautiful. Wow. Um, it's the wire I use the most of is the point four. Beautiful. This is your point for nine pounds and ninety-five for five. It's two pound a meter, everybody. Two pound a meter. Cracking. It is, isn't it that? Good luck, good luck, good luck. Right, next up, let's bring to <gasps> Ooh. Oh, I need these. Oh okay, no, this are cool. Oh, it's one thing. Oh. That is super cool. How amazing is that? Oh, so all the different connectors that we <gasps> bring, put them all together with your jump rings, finish it off with one of the bolt ring clasps. And you've got the most fascinating sterling silver necklace or bracelet, however many you put together, all kind of jumbled up together in their designs. I love that. Or multi buy. Like Gem, just I was, harvest everything. I was I'm not listening to a word that you said then because I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your 95 sterling silver bead detail bracelet connector. Um, again, we've had the bangle earlier, you know, you've got the slider mechanisms. Um, it is so, so beautiful. Um, I love what we've done here. And again, you've got the, it's just the detail that you've got. So pretty. 
You know, we sometimes bring the little sterling silver daisies with the hint of, I don't know if it's yellow gold or gold enamel in the centre. Mm -hmm. They're like little daisies. Well, this kind of reminds me of a daisy chain. Yes. And I think it would work beautifully if you've managed to get grab any of the little daisy connectors. Oh. I made a daisy chain the other day. I thought about it, but then I could only see two daisies and I thought that'd be a really lame daisy chain. Oh. <laughs> I did. I made one in the six pounds and ninety-five. I made one on the on the solstice, and I made some. I made some nice um, um, with some rose hips that I'd got in the freezer from that I'd foraged, mm. and some rose hips and some mint and some tarragon and something. And I've made some sun tea, and I put. <laughs> and put it out in the sun and then did a little um, mandala around it with lots of flower petals. Oh, it was beautiful. like I was like... Were you yeah. super chilled? I was, I was super yeah. chilled. Amazing. Yeah, it was an awesome day. Just spent all day in the garden, literally, just planting and, yeah. yeah. It's it coincided with the moon, it. didn't it? Yeah, it the did. Solstice this year, yeah. so it was a good, good time to plant. It was. Oh, I love you. <laughs> 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 the feeling's entirely mutual, hun. Oh. They're beautiful. £6.95. Good look, good look, good look. Right, next we've got some rose gold plated sterling Ooh. silver. Guess I the size, love guess this. The size, guess the size. I'm guessing that these are five. Seven. Ah. Oh. No, no, they are closer to seven. That's what it says on the graphics. Um, <laughs> So, these are, and I, do you know what I like about these? And they're rose gold plated. They're not, they're not too rose gold. Do you know what I mean? It's mm. lovely. Yes, yeah, sometimes it can be a little bit. It's a bit... blush colour. It's very yeah. subtle blush. It's to not them. too hot. You want an element of warmth with rose gold, mm -hmm. not too brash. I know what you mean. Mm. Yes. Oh, these are lovely. Really, really beautiful. So these are your um, 95 sterling silver rose gold plated 7 mil uh, uh, jump rings. <laughs> uh, the, the, you're getting 50 of these. They're so beautiful. And again, you know, a, a, a staple, isn't it? It's, it is. And at £14.95, it's, it's a great price. It is fantastic. It's lovely if you are working with chain mail to be able to bring in different colourways from time to time, but still have that solid 925 sterling silver core. Absolutely. So that when you sell your piece, you can say, yes, it's all precious metal. Beautiful. And that isn't rose gold colour on the outside. That is genuine 18 karat rose gold that you've got, that, that every single one of our components is drenched with um, 18 karat gold when it does say that it's plated. So whether it's silver plated, uh, whether it's yellow gold plated or rose gold plated, it's not a colour that you've got. If you're watching for the first time and you're like, oh my gosh, how expensive is gold? Absolutely. So you've got the luxury of having that rose gold next to the skin as well. So you've got that luxury that added. And there are some naughty people that's a bit cheeky when they say, uh, there's some websites you go on and gem, they say, um, this is gold or this is silver and then you look at it and it's not it's mm -hmm. a base metal yeah and it's got a bit of silver plating on it yeah it's naughty that is and you you can find that actually out there in the world of buying the silver boots. that people will put a 925 mark on it and it's not 925 That's another thing naughty. to look out for if you're buying earrings instead of making them yourself sometimes you see a design thing oh, I really love that I'm gonna have that it says it's sterling silver Look at the details thoroughly because you may be caught out by the fact that the ear wires are sterling silver and the rest of the metal is a base metal. That's all fine if all you want is the ear wires, as long as you know. So it's, it's just about transparency, isn't mm. it, and being real. Ooh. <laughs> I've never seen this. This is, you know we're talking about not your grandmother's pearls. These are, how, wow. How stylish is that? That's lovely. Very, very elegant. It is, isn't it? Just like us, darling. It's not a word that's used to describe myself. No, no, no one's. I don't think ever, anybody's ever called me elegant before. I got called young lady the other day. I was fell about laughing. <laughs> so I'll take the young as a compliment, but really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lady. Um, 
This is really... I got asked for ID the other day. <gasps> yeah, but I'm 40 next year. <laughs> I was like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. The woman's like, I'm so, so sorry. She's like, I've got to ask you if you got any ID. I was like, yes. Yes, you have. And I'm going to put it on Facebook now. <laughs> <laughs> Huge compliment. Much appreciated. <laughs> um, anyway... I love this. What I love most about this is a lot, well, actually, several things. Look at the, again, the luster that you've got and that beautiful mirror, you know, mirrored silver that you've got here. We say, you know, I mentioned this earlier, but in some, in some, in some mirrors, um, you'll find sterling silver. Mm -hmm. They actually have silver in mirrors because it is the most reflective and the most lustrous. Um, and this is, there's so much silver in this. It is really stylish, really modern, yet it has that very kind of classic feel to it as well with that beautiful freshwater cultured pearl, which looks, to me, perfectly spherical. And, you know, I'm not saying that it is, um, but the way that it's captured in there as well. Are we grading it spectacular again? We're we grading this one spectacular again. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs> Nine pounds and ninety-five pence today. Oh eight hundred six trouble four six double five. If you've already bought something today, add it to your order. Get it home. Um, maybe somebody who wants something that is a little. Um, maybe they want to have pearls. Uh, if you make wedding jewelry, but they're not mm. looking for something that is girly pearly. Yeah. <laughs> It's thing? quite contemporary, isn't it? Girly burly. Um, it is quite contemporary. <laughs> you know the little connectors that we had with the pearls and the stardust bead? I was thinking that. Just on, on the bottom as a, an elongated pendant would be gorgeous. But you could, really couldn't pretty. you? Sorry, I know we've moved mm. on. But because you've got the... You could... Because there's a gap here, you could attach it from the uh, top and either. then use that to drop down the little... Anyway. Um, sorry. Oh, oh we got... St what's the star by? <gasps> Got some sterling silver tubes coming up now Ooh. as a star by. <laughs> Just drop anything. I didn't. It just sounded no. like it did. So I was just look, like, looking at everything. I'm like, oh, I want everything. <laughs> um, so it is star by time. The other star buys have been extremely, extremely popular, and this is going to be no exception at all because what you are about to get right now is sterling silver tubes. It's the final 69 um, that we have available for you. The final 69. Um, and these are lush. They are lush. Again, absolutely perfect and a staple for your uh, stash. They are, aren't they? An absolute staple for the stash. Um, you've got um, 10 mil. There are one point eight. They're not a staple, they're a tube, Adam says. <sighs> Brilliant for your ladder weave. Makes a really exciting, different way to utilise them. Because you can, ha yeah. if, if you multi buy them, I mean, if there are 60 and available, then I'm going to be harvesting as many as possible. They are of the length that they will still work on your middle size, your bracelet size memory wire, um, but they will act as a sleeve against other materials to give you the sterling silver against the skin. <gasps> All that luster as well. Oh, yes, Gem. Um, loads of you there already. Marie, Leslie, Brenda, Susan, Michelle, Gloucestershire, Tyne and Weir, Merseyside, West Yorkshire, Surrey. Um, lots of you on the phone lines already. Um, not even close. We're not even bought any prices in yet, and everybody's like, we need these. Um, they are just, again, just a lovely thing. They're just a beautiful, they just f feel nice. They've got a lovely uh, finish to mm -hmm. them. It's just, I don't know what it is. I just I like tubes. I think they... They're formed perfectly, I that, think. It, that it, it must be what key. it is. Yeah. That must be what it is. They're all exactly the same length and dimension. There's no squishing where they've been sawn. Oh, no squishing. You and don't look want a squished many... tube, do you? Nobody wants a squished tube. Look how many multibuyers. Brenda's, uh, Barbara's bought two. Hertrude's bought two. Well done. Brenda's bought three. Leslie's bought three. Um, loads of you there. Loads of you there. Um, I, I again, just I would like these 
you know what I'm thinking? I'm... No, actually, forget that. Scrap that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it wouldn't work at all. So let's just scrap that. Um, but they are lovely. Like you say, if you've got another, like, some kind of threading material that you're mm. using, to have these, like, a... Sleeve. A sleeve is the word. I was going to say another word that begins with an S, but it was the wrong word. Sleeve. Yes, that's what I was going to say, Adam. You could knot between them, couldn't you? You could yeah. use kind of funky coloured threading material and knot between mm. each one of them. That'd be an interesting necklace design. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Three pounds and ninety-five pence, everybody. Three pounds and ninety-five pence. Tina's bought three, Lynette's bought three. It's so lovely to see so many of you joining us on a Monday evening here at Jewelry Maker. If you just tuned in, uh, this is your last star buy of the Sterling Silver Hour. What you know what we got next, don't you? We've got the kit coming up next and We've got some under five pound pearls Ooh. after the break, and we've got loads of under ten pound deals as well in the next hour. Uh, well done, lots of you there. Make sure you are checking out if you've got this in your baskets. I know a lot of people um, like to snaffle them and then decide what they're going to check out at the end, which is awesome, and mm -hmm. I do that myself. Absolutely. I don't want you to miss out though, and there's not a lot of these left. Um, straight after the break, we've got the pearls going under five pounds. Uh, we've got Gem's first kit, which is just incredible, and we've got loads of under ten pound deals as well in the next hour. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in two. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewelry making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Buying with Jewelry Maker Online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash getstartedwithjm where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewelry making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewelry making journey. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
watch our Jewellery Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. Uh, my name is Emma Dyson. I'm joined by the fabulous Gem Hooks, everybody. Evening. Evening. Um, we are, I just need to double check something before we start this auction because um, it says, in fact, before we bring the graphics in or anything, let me show you the strand of pearls that I announced before the break were going under five pounds, okay? Take, take a look at these, and we will start the auction momentarily, but we just need this. That is absolutely crazy. Okay, have a look at what you're getting today. You're getting a beautiful freshwater culture. Look at the wonderful luster on the surface of these. It's, it's metallic. It has got the most gorgeous luster. You've then got these beautiful lavenders. You've then got these wonderful peach tones. And do you know what? Listen up. Whatever you're doing, stop what you're doing. Come over to the TV right now because these are going under five pounds. Not only are they going under five pounds, Tell them, Gem. Those colours are natural. They're... I know! They're actual... They're naturally coloured. This is absolutely insane. Um, we just had to double check. I'm like, there's no way that these should be going under £5 with a natural uh, colour to them. Um, but they are today. Um, don't wait. There's already a wait on the phone lines. 0800 644 Dial through as quickly as you can. It is busy, 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 busy uh, for a Monday night here at Jewellery Maker. Oh my gosh, these colours. Those lavenders are absolutely divine. You've then got that wedding white, that beautiful um, ivory tones that you've got there, and then these apricot colours, mm. these beautiful, real, elegant, decadent apricot colours. Um, I just adore these, Jim. They are exceptional, and, and what you'll notice is that you've got them in colour gradient yes. all the way through. So what that says to me is that I can make so many pairs of earrings with these and know that there'll be a similar number of mm -hmm. pearls. Absolutely. And, and these are going to work with the featherweight head pins at the <sighs> very beginning of the six o'clock hour as well. Yes. <gasps> They Look are sensuous. So You're absolutely right to say that they're metallic as well. There's uh, some real moments of a metallic finish to those. Because, you know, let's be completely honest. You know, when you're looking at a five pound strand of pearls, yes, you're getting genuine pearls. Yes, we do amazing deals on pearls here at, at Jewelry Maker. But I've never seen, you know, the metallic sheen coming from this, this beautiful, it's almost a pewter sheen that you've got as a, a kind of Ooh. undertone to those beautiful lavender hues it's like a lavender a pewter lavender that's beautiful way of thinking of it yeah well, it's usually you're the eloquent one uh, how long wait on the phone about two minute wait on the phone everybody's multiple guys don't wait for the price to come in they're guaranteed under five pounds oh eight hundred six trouble four six double five if you can bid on the web bid on the app on the web or you can tap the app of course um well done to hertrude's bought four well done uh margaret's bought two tina's bought three judy's bought three sharon's bought two i've got mavis and karen and app uh, and kathleen uh well done to Catherine's there and annette and to michelle and Anne and denise and angela uh nice to see so many of you there well done to sean uh Mavis Make sure you check it out on the web guys 0800 6 treble 4 6 double 5 if you're on the phone lines genuine i mean it's incredible to think that these are and, and, and look how perfectly kind of color matched they are as well they are absolutely gorgeous not only have you got that perfect kind of and they are obviously natural so you've got those natural shapes to them um but they're, they're perfectly colour matched. It's incredible to think something that is. Imagine trying to. I mean, we we're quite close. Oh look, I got a bit of a tan compared to today. Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> but we're quite colour matched usually. But yes. I, I went on a 12 mile bike ride yesterday, so I got a bit of Got, got a bit pink um but imagine you know how can you when do you find things in nature that you can then color match like this that haven't been dyed if they were this mm -hmm. perfectly color matched and they've been dyed yes absolutely it's, it's incredible to me Ev literally everybody apart from a handful of people are multi-buying caroline's bought two sean's bought two well done lancashire's bought two cumbria's bought two peter and hazel have bought two there is a three minute wait on the phone lines right now 0800 six trouble four six double five if you can bid on the web do that um or just sit tight it is a toll free number a free phone number it doesn't cost you a penny to dial through and you've got your 30 day money back guarantee so if you're thinking about these and maybe you've never worked with pearls before Maybe you're thinking, oh my gosh, they are absolutely incredibly beautiful. Look at the metallic luster that you've got. It is one of the, the value factors when you are looking at purchasing beautiful pearls is having that incredible metallic shimmer on the surface. These are outstanding. And what I also love about these as well is that they're quite flat. So they're going to sit flush against the, the skin as well. So if you are wanting to do something that is a little more, um, you know, flush against the, 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 the neckline or against the wrist, these are going to be perfect as well. Essex has bought three, Vera's bought two, Manchester's bought two, uh, Caroline in Manchester's bought two, Mary's bought two of these, 0800 6 trouble 4 6 trouble 4, natural pearls. And you could separate them. I could, I'm so blown away by these. I mm -hmm. cannot believe you're getting genuine, natural, fresh cord. Uh, fresh, I can't even talk. I'm not excited. Freshwater gorgeous pearls. They're lovely. I'm, and, I'm glad you referenced the fact that there's a lot of them that have that Baroque nature because they're so yes. beautiful in little solitaire rings. Oh, so yes. You put a little nest of sterling silver wire around oh, it. Oh, I'm totally doing that. Let me let me get a pick one of my faves. I, I still can't quite get my breath that they're natural. I mean, look at that one. How beautiful is that? It's just different. It's gorgeous. And this, this peach, wait till you get these home. We, it doesn't even show you <laughs> the luster here in, in the studio. You're not seeing the quality, the nacre or the nacre, of course, that builds around and around. And when you're looking at a pearl, don't forget, you're not looking at the pearl. You're looking into the surface of the pearl. And this particular one, you can see, um, what I can see here, I can see uh, turquoises. I can see beautiful um, reds coming through there as well. That's incredible. Um, good luck, good luck, good luck. There is still a wait on the phone lines. You will be answered momentarily and it is free. So just sit tight and listen to our lovely dulcet tones for a little while. <laughs> um, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much. Tea has just arrived, everybody. We're so civilised here at Joymaker, aren't we? Yeah. I'm still looking down my iced coffee. Oh, You're yeah. civilised. I'm slightly less civilised. That's all right. I have had loads of caffeine today, so I didn't have any more tonight because I'll be like... <laughs> Wired. <laughs> I love that Wired. face. <laughs> That's the thing. The face. <laughs> just, 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 just quick. We're going to bring the kit graphics in and then I'll tell you about the face. <laughs> so, Gem, Gem, Gem. You, this, this collection right now of jewellery, if I saw this in the window of a boutique jewellers, I would be like, oh my gosh, that is going to be so considered. Gem, this looks so considered <laughs> it is it's just be oh my i like i love that um on the talk there it's very kind of egyptian-esque isn't it it's not I've, I've done the eye of horus several years ago now a couple of times and i've done a sort of a, a more wedge at eye before as well because I'm, I'm very inspired by egypt mm. and then latterly by the art deco interpretation mm -hmm. of all the love for egypt but it, it was more organic this one a bit more swirly yeah. whirly and, and just fun and it, it kind of grew and this is all, is this all from the one kit? Certainly is, yeah. Are you kidding? So you've got two bracelets. Mm -hmm. This is all from the one kit. Okay, two bracelets. There's, that's the one I was talking about. Into How incredible is that? And as I said, it's got an Egyptian-esque feel to it. It's not, you know, textbook to, to mm -hmm. what it should be or what it isn't. Well, it's not, is it? It's just a slightly more organic version Thanks. of... Thanks. <laughs> um, but it's beautiful. And I love the bracelets. The, the one on the far end is my favourite. Variations on a theme. <gasps> Look at that. So that one actually closes with the feature bead. And the <gasps> bracelet at this end um, has a feature bead in the centre and then closes at the back with a J-hook. So it just... If you learn a technique, then you can kind of play with it and, and mess around with how it all works, and then every piece is individual. 
This is just an amazing gem. Thanks, babe. And I, I, the ring as well. Look at that ring. I let myself have a little bit of fun with that ring because quite often I, I try to think of rings in um, a, a very form-fitting and a way that they would just be able to be worn everywhere every day. Mm -hmm. This is a bit more of a cocktail ring. You probably wouldn't want to cart the groceries home with that on your hand. No, but do you know a bit what? More fun. You'd look fabulous carting <laughs> the groceries home anyway. So just to tell you what you are getting in the kitchen, should we have a look? Should we have a look? Can I just say, like, how incredible are these pieces? They're Bless so, you. so beautiful. And I can't believe that how much you've made. Yes, and I had some of the smaller multicolour left as well. The, a little baglet that I have with me. A baglet? A little bag. Well, I'll pass it to you if you prefer. Or... That's, that's what you've yep. got. No, carry that's, on. Carry that's on. what I've got left over. So there's a substantial quantity of the smaller of the two beads. Beautiful. <laughs> Apparently baglet is not an actual word. But I've never heard baglet before. It's a little before. bag. Itty bitty baglet. <laughs> oh, makes sense. So let's have a look at what you're getting in the kit. This is awesome. You are getting three spools of wire. Um, so you are getting 10 meters of the champagne gold colored silver plated copper wire, which is the 0.4. You're also getting the 0.6, and you're also getting the point the knot point just the one mil so that's 10 meters of each so 30 meters of champagne gold colored silver plated copper wire which is incredible you have then got not not one not two not three carats of gemstones but you're getting 170 carats of the golden tiger's eye in those plain rounds they're eight mils um, they are absolutely incredible Love, love, love. Ah, this golden tiger's eye that we've started doing is just incredible. Look, it's like it's proper furry. I mean, it's not furry, <laughs> but it, it is, isn't it? It's like, oh, it feels, it looks like it should be furry, doesn't it? It's beautiful. And then you've also got as well the multicolored, which is in the four millimeters. And I, I've got this a couple of these strands mm. in the six mil that I've been using for stretches. Um, but these are really gorgeous. They're so beautiful. Uh, every color of tiger's eye is amazing, whether it's been treated with a dye or not. Absolutely. Uh, but the blue in this strand is exquisite. Absolutely exquisite. I love it. I really managed to play with the colour grading in this piece that we're looking at right now. So I kind of separated them out um, okay. so that you can kind of enjoy the different colours however you want to. They're beautiful. Should be at £32.75. Should be. So do you know what? Even if you saved, I don't know, fiver or six quid or something, it'd be a great deal. However, you're getting all of that. That is a wow. 14 pounds and 80 pence saving, 17 pounds and 95 pence. Fab. That is absolutely crazy. Gem, if you were selling your ring, how much would you sell your ring for? The ring by itself would probably be 15 pounds. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, everybody. I think that's very uh, affordable. That's just cute and fun, isn't it? But uh, the bracelets would probably be the start price. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And how many pieces of jewelry have we got there? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I want to say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's correct. Um, <laughs> counting. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, Go on. Thanks, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Seven pieces of jewellery right now. You've And you've got some left over. Yes. For £17.95. Oh, my gosh, this is incredible. And what are you going to demo for us? What are you going to show us today? The feature bead in the bracelet nearest to me. I thought we'd have a quick look at that design. Um, Ooh. There are so many of these tiger's eye beads that I looked at and went, oh, that's my favourite on the strand. Oh, no, that's my favourite on the strand. Oh, oh, no, that's my favourite on the strand. I couldn't decide. So they are all so very beautiful. You could use each of the golden tiger's eye from that strand in a feature piece. Mm -hmm. And then kind of back it up with, with other beads from your stash. They're gorgeous, absolutely stunning. The chatoyancy is out of this world. It's one of the best words in the world. Chatoyancy. Chatoyancy. It's quite a, a sultry word, I think. Chatoyancy. No, when I say it, it isn't. <laughs>
Shall we, shall we do the demo? <laughs> shall we? Okay. Well, I'm not going to do the demo. I'm going to sit and watch and drink my tea. Um, but I'm really looking forward to this. I love learning new things. So there are two key stages to this demonstration and one is basically a double wrapped loop or if you prefer to think of it as a, a rosary link with one of the large beads of the tiger's eye, the golden tiger's eye and that goes on the one millimetre gauge. Mm -hmm. So I won't demonstrate that segment as we have done rosary linking quite recently. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to show you is how to do the, the little aurora that sits around that bead, if you like. The little aurora that sits around the bead. Oh, I didn't know how else to describe it. It's Halo. Beautiful. Auroras, I like aurora. <laughs> and again, um, we used to have some nice light wood coloured, which would have shown that a little bit better, but um, we'll, we'll show you on the overhead in a second anyway. Perfect. So what I'm working with at the moment is the 0.6 millimetre gauge, and I've taken eight random of the smaller tiger's eye beads. Mm -hmm. So the length of wire that I'm working with, and again, this is the 0.6 mil. This is probably about 14 to 16 inches of wire, which is significantly too much. Uh, but I always say it's, it's worthwhile having a little bit extra to play with so that you can kind of change your mind with what you're going to do with it later. So what we want to do to begin with is kind of draw those around to make a nice little circle shape. As I say, there are eight beads on here and we don't want them to be too tightly packed, we want just a little bit of space. So what we will do is just reference it against one of those larger beads that is currently sitting on a length of the one millimetre gauge wire and just see that you need to have a little bit of space to make that work and also for the design to work. But I will just pop that back out of the way now. What we're going to do is basically wind the, the wire around itself. So I've set those beads in the centre of my 0.6 millimetre gauge and we've allowed ourselves probably around about 10 millimetres, that might be a little bit much, so maybe sort of 8 to 10 millimetres of space in between the two end beads. And I'm just going to support that gently and push the first bead on the right hand side of that loop up against my non-dominant hand. The final wire is coming over the top and what I'm going to do is take the tail of that final wire and pass it up through the centre of that piece allowing my thumbnail to sit over the top of that bead and just drawing the wire through the hole and all the way around. So you can see that we've looped mm -hmm. over the top on the left of my first bead, all the way around the outside and underneath up the centre. So I'm just going to hold that quite firmly because what the wire will want to do is tighten up and then put a sharp bend. And then I'm going to repeat that several times until we get that lovely halo effect all the way around. So it's just a case of drawing that through and trying to not work hard on that wire. So we're just putting a little bit of uh, tension on it as we bring it into its final position. Now don't worry if that comes off a little bit angular at the moment because we're going to just tighten that up at the, in the last moment. So again, over the top, around the outside of the... Are they 4 mil, the little ones? Yes. Over the top of the 4 mil one, skirting around it like a Saturn's ring and then drawing all the way around that central section of the 0.6 mil gauge and you will do that eight times. So I just whiz through that. Uh, you will obviously be able to, uh, as this will be at some point hopefully uploaded to YouTube, you will be able to refer back to that. But again, we're just kind of circling around. Now you can see that that form that we created is, is getting mm. a little bit larger at the moment, but we will be able to just draw that slightly closer into true in a moment. What we're looking to do is to generate those lovely swooshes coming around the outside of the beads, sitting on that halo effect, or whatever it was I called it earlier, I can't remember. Uh, uh, aurora. There we go, let's go with Aurora. It's beautiful. What is it that you, um, when you see the sun having an eclipse, there's a name, not the diamond ring section, but when you see the halo, is that a halo around the outside? I believe so. Yep, okay, so this bit's getting on my nerves, so I'm just going to push that down and out the way. <laughs> just being honest, because it might happen to you. And that tail again, coming up through the centre, skirting all the way around the little four mil bead and now we're on to number eight so the design is basically completed at this stage pull that into true so you get that nice smooth effect now at this point you can kind of tighten this up slightly just by pulling those together yep and then what i would do is just wrap a couple of times with one of these so that it finishes it neatly and locks that into position and just pull that tightly around in the opposite direction. Oh. So what you can then do, you can leave those two tails on. Once you've done your double rosary linking, you've got these little wires with which you can 
tie it over the top to generate that effect mm -hmm. or if you can pref if you prefer what you can do is just cut that away and I do exactly the same on the other side just bring that slightly closer in and you can see it tightens up really nicely mm -hmm. just take the other tail all the way around one more time. What, another effect that you can do to kind of take this design and make it completely your own is take this long tail and go all the way around exactly the same as we did before and you'll end up with like a, a, double, a double halo which oh, is really that's pretty. That's really cool. So if oh, I just I like show that. you that very very quickly we won't do all of them but I'll just do a couple of them and then you can see that you get that double swoosh effect instead. So you go for the double or go for the single as you prefer and once you get to the end we'll just pop that around the main circuit as we did with the other section of wire, tidy that away neatly and just give that a bit of a squish and then just allow it to sit over the top of our little rosary linked design. And you can either use a section of your point four or a little bit of the tail if you haven't cut it away just to secure that over the top. And then add it into your rosary linking design. So we've made a little rosary link. What I've done on the back of this one is just put a little swoosh of wire as well. So you could play with that as a design feature if you wanted to, Very which well. kind of replicates the chatoyancy effect that you yes. get in some beads. Sometimes you'll have straight line striations and sometimes you'll get this gorgeous curving like effect. Ooh. Almost like a wave, yeah, absolutely. Mm. So that just sits in the centre of a rosary link and on this particular design I've done the 8mm beads with the 1mm wire six times and then just a J hook on the far side. So very, very simple to master this design. Um, may take a couple of moments of practice just to get the swooshes to sit smoothly. Once you've got it, you can take that wherever you want to. It's brilliant for making pendants. Add yourself a little bail. It'll take you all the way through. But this kit, honestly, uh, blown away by it and I thought this was going to be 22 95 24 95 so I'm absolutely delighted for you I, yes. hope, I hope you love it as much as I did oh amazing <laughs> I, I'm just blown away you could make so much like oh, so much absolutely and, and like I say there's that that little baglet of beads left over as well not a word oh. damn everybody <laughs> um, I can't wait to the second kit, those citrines. Oh my gosh, they are so beautiful. And it's a strand very similar to one that I've bought myself. And I made so many pieces with it. It's just love it, love it, love it. Exciting, exciting. Right, um, we've got some under £10 deals coming up for you. Um, and we're going to start by, by what I just picked up, actually, um, which is, is wonderful. Do you know what? I saw a llama yesterday. Oh. I was on my bike ride, riding down the towpath. My other half turns around on the bike and he's like, llama ahead. It's like, what? Were you alarmed? Llama ahead? No, I was like, no problem. <laughs> Yours was better than mine. Yeah, we did that. <laughs> um, so I've never, and I had to get a picture. I was like, sorry, can I just have a picture with your llama? Um, they'd borrowed it from a farm so that some girl for a birthday could go and take it for a walk. It was just like someone walking a dog, but it was a massive. Was it big? Llama. Are llamas big and alpacas little, or are they all? It was, I'm, I'm, it was big. Oh, it's on a postcard. <laughs> right, let's talk, talk about crazy, um, crazy lace Ooh. agate. I love crazy agate. Um, and this is a beautiful strand. This is your mixed colour. Uh, it, it's crazy. It is, absolutely. Chicken Oriental. Um, but it's so fun. I love crazy agate because you get all of these beautiful um, kind of like... Uh, webbing that you get that's the right word yes it is that's what i would i was what i would say but so you've got all these um really and they all work so well together it is kind of mixed color but it's not like a pink and a blue and a green you've got all of the how the, the colors all kind of blend beautifully together all of those quite fiery colors quite autumnal colours as well. They are. Like, kind of gentle and earthy, but in a really pretty way. That's, that's me. I'm gentle and earthy in a pretty way. Aww, Aww. I like that. Do you like that? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> a pretty weird way. <laughs> um, that's me. <laughs> £4.95. Pence. For a £5 note for Crazy Lace Agate, oh, that's wow. incredible. That really is fantastic. good. Really, really beautiful. 
and if and you could you could have these as they are look at the swirls that you've got they're so cool look, you've got like blues almost like indicolite blues through there um you've got beautiful cherry reds this one looks like a sandstorm and these are really cool you could separate them and and put all the colors together but they work so well just the way that they've been blended um and and put together on the strand i think that's absolutely gorgeous um or you could pick one out and have it as a feature piece because they're so intricate aren't they they are five I'm pound really note everybody yeah add it to you if you like something that i'm like more i don't i'm not into bright bright colors so that would be perfect for me um sorry uh, oh i've got some shell oh they're textured oh i like these oh, these are so cool Oh, I need to get some of these as well. <laughs> I had some very similar in a kit a little while ago, and, and they were my favourite shell pearls I've ever worked with. That's Absolutely a, gorgeous. That's a bold statement. It, yep. That's a bold it's statement. It's a true statement, though. These are really awesome. I don't know how well you can see the texture with all the lights in the studio, um, but you've got this wonderful kind of... Um, texture there we go uh, i was gonna say this kind of like dappled kind of yeah effects that you've got there almost um it almost looks like a hammered silver but it it's a, it's a shell pearl dimples little dimples yes yes oh that's made me think of something completely different. oh my dimple are you poking my dimples they're so cute though they've got they've gone a bit now oh they're lovely who used to do that when i was a kid eh? Dimples. They're adorable. Yeah, they're, they're, they're £3.95. That's adorable. Are they? That is three adorable. pounds and ninety-five pence. Um really gorgeous. I think they'd be nice as well with the silver starter speeds and things like to to have that texture and then the sparkly texture and yes. all the hammered silver that we had earlier as well, that kind of brushed hammered and mix the, the different moon. textures and the different finishes. You know the uh, elongated connector which mm -hmm. had four pearls and yes. stardust that yes. would be perfect to create the rest of the bracelet because that kind of draws the stardust with the pearl yes draws it all in together that's lovely i like that beautiful good luck good luck good luck three pounds and 95 pence right oh moving on it's going to be fast and furious it's going to be fast and furious i've seen it i've finished it I've watched it all. Have you watched any of? Uh, have you watched that any film of, franchise? Have you watched any of uh, Stranger Things? Anybody watched any? Have you not watched it? Oh, yes. I've finished it as well. I've only seen the first two seasons. Ah. I'm currently binging some British detective dramas. So. Ooh. Um. This is. I've never seen anything. I've got. This isn't. Ooh. This is not right. Is it? No. I was going to say, this is not right, <laughs> but I've never seen anything like this before. I was like, oh, this is good. I don't, I don't have those in that, that location, uh, but I do in the next one. Ah, I have them in the next one. Look at these. Ooh. Is, it, is this still part of the same theme? Under 10? <gasps> You've got rose quartz, lemon quartz, green fluorite and amethyst. Under 10 pounds today. Blimey neck. Do you know, I can count on the fingers of one hand how many times I've seen lemon quartz. Yes. I love lemon quartz. It's wonderful. It's, it's quite different in its feel and its vibration to citrine. Mm -hmm. And it, it can be used in so many different ways as well. What a beautiful strand. It's a stunning strand. It is so pretty. It's like, it's, I don't know, it's like a candy strands like it has Aww. those wonderful kind of candy tones to it or um all those it's quite whimsical isn't it and and when we say whimsical you have to over pronounce the h it's a new whimsical <laughs> whimsical whimsy amazing that's that is a beautiful incredible. strand. It is gorgeous. What would you? What would you? you I like. I like it as it is. I mean, what would you do with it, though, Gem? Oh, you've got uh, so many feature rings there straight away. I'd probably make every single one into a solitaire. Would you? Yeah. But they'd be great on a stretchy. It'd be beautiful. I like this on a. 
I'd like this on, you know, you're talking about the rosary link in, mm -hmm. but I'd like this to just have like them on a longer. With lengths of chain between? Yeah. Yeah, that would so be cool. So they're, they're kind of. A bit spread out like. Yes. Stations. Exactly. But the colours just work so well together, don't they? They've got that wonderful, you've got those ballet slipper pinks. You've got these beautiful kind of sea foam greens. Mm. Uh, these lovely, um, the lemon colours that you're getting from the lemon quartz. And the glow is just beautiful. And then, of course, those beautiful kind of pastel wisteria purples as well. It's quite uh, fantasy as well, isn't it? Quite kind of... You could be go unicorny. Uni unicorny. Mm. It's unicorny. Unicorny. That uh, might not be a thing. <laughs> I, oh, I've got this strand. I love this strand. Oh, that's cool. Oh, my gosh. Oh, hello. Oh, yes. That little uh, yes. kitten. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Does, look at this one as well. Oh, wow. Look at these. Do you know, it's taking me to mind of um, almost in places of trapeze amethyst. Mmm. It's lovely. This not is... an actual kitten, okay? Calm yourself. It's not an actual kitten, no. No, but that's the one, that's the badger. <laughs> it's not an actual badger either. <laughs> Have you been working with Ben? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Ben's favourite saying, that's the badger. Is that Ben's favourite saying? Ah. Oh. Well, it's either that or quiche. He likes a bit of quiche, doesn't he? I don't know. Um, beautiful. Um, I love these. It's almost like, you know, when you get kind of with amber and you get little flecks of like leaves inside. You've almost got that almost uh, similar to what you would expect maybe from uh, a phantom or from ki some mm -hmm. kind of view quartz or something, you know, and you've got those, those patterns. In. That's really, look at that. That is really cool. These are awesome. Oh, I need to get some more of these. <laughs> They're interesting, aren't they? They are. Oh, wow. Ooh. Beautiful, five pounds and ninety-five pence. Genuine amethyst, multicolored amethyst. Um, it's, I mean, it's all purple, but it just has those different nuances and tones that that come through as well. Every piece is unique and different and one of a kind. Oh, sorry, I had a bit of a yawn and a kind then at the same <laughs> time. Um, it's lovely. I love it. It'd be gorgeous with like smoky quartz as well, wouldn't it? Like I, I'm looking at this thinking, I want to pair this with smoky quartz. Do you wonder if it would work with the tiger's eye, with the elements of the sort of Ooh, warmer tones? With yeah, it? yeah, it would. Yeah, it would. Really pretty. Yeah. I think you're right with smoke quartz, though. That'd be gorgeous. Uh, right. Next. Oh, I love this. Wow. Faceted as well. Uh, yeah, oh. I've got these not faceted. Oh, gosh. But I love them faceted. See, I was like, if I had seen that and I was shopping and I'm like, mm, no, I don't want them faceted. It's bots one and agate. Like, I want to see all of the... I don't want it to take away from all of the banding. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. It enhances all of the banding that you've... These are really... Pr I would never, ever have, have bought these unless I'd seen them faceted. They are They are stunning. amazing. Something that... Um, is brought to the fore when you facet a Botswana agate is that it's got a real kind of translucency glow yes. shine thing going on. Yes, a, a shine thing. That's exactly what it's got going on. <laughs> Which one of us is gemologically trained? I'm thinking it's not me. It's got a translucency glowy shine thing. I've said worse, so don't worry about it. Um, it's, it is incredible. It's so beautiful. And because you do have that, that, that added element of that luster on the surface that you've got there, I love the fact that the, 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 the faceting is quite soft. Mm. And what I mean by that is you don't have those really crisp facet junctions. It's more of a suggestion of faceting. I know what you mean. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like a, an overpolish. Mm, yeah. It's beautiful. And some of these patterns are absolutely exquisite. I love Botswana and Agate so much. Um, I made a bracelet for my friend with Botswana and Agate. Mm -hmm. It's B and she just adores it. It would go <gasps> really well with your stretchy. Thanks. This is with um, lava kite. Oh, no, it's not. It, oh, there is so some lava kite and some... Uh, I'm going to put it next to it, actually. There's Please. Some lava kite and some howlite and some vein jasper. 
And I just think if you're Ooh, looking yeah. to work with monochromes, but then kind of branch out very gently into the softer, slightly autumnal, mm. very earthy tones, then Botswana and Agate is just gorgeous. Beautiful. And I've paired this with Amethyst as well, and then you get some of the more, um, uh, and uh, some of all the, mm. pink, the purple hues that come out. It's yeah. interesting. You put it next to that, and it almost looks black and white. Anyway, um, let's do... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, so... If, Oh, same way. Uh, they look like pink pearls to me. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll be over here in a minute. Oh, do yes. not fall. <laughs> <gasps> oh, oh, wait, what? No. <gasps> yes. Is that that'd be uh, how perfect with the kits? <gasps> how perfect would these be with the kit? Oh my gosh. Where and they're has this strand been? I've never seen this strand. Look at us. We're like kids in a candy store. <gasps> Has this been? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. So this is your Golden Tiger's Eye Mixed Blue. Um, I've been looking at this on the web, but not again, not the faceted version, but I want the faceted version now. That's astonishing. Never seen anything quite like that. It takes me to mind of Hawk's Eye. Mm, absolutely. And... Perfect. With the kit... Perfect. Beautiful. These are stunning. So you've got, and, and it is very, very much Gem Hawk's eye. <laughs> <laughs> so I did there. I see what you did there. But it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So you've got. Seriously. That... <laughs> You've got that beautiful chatoyancy again, and then you've got this all this kind of marbled effect within, and then you've got those ah, oh, it's just it works so well with the blue. Do you know what I would like to see with this as well? I would like to see um, some lapis or something with this. I think it would bring out more of the the blues within. Yes, micro faceted, micro -faceted lapis. lapis. That's what I'm yeah. seeing when I look at this. Do you know it's amazing, isn't it? I started working a jewelry maker. Gosh, it's been a few years now. And I was like, oh, I know lots about gemstones, but I know nothing about making jewellery. And then as it goes on, you're just like, oh, my gosh, you could do this, you could do that, you could do the other. It's so it's, it's just really interesting, isn't it? It's a brilliant world. It is a brilliant world. Good luck. Talk amongst yourselves a minute. <laughs> uh, it's not, it's not, but I found it anyway. Um... Oh, that's cool. These, this is <gasps> totally, this is so me. This is like, this is an Emma Strand. It's black and blue and um, <laughs> it's fabulous. <laughs> you only have to like touch me and I bruise on this. Look. I've, I've seen your bruises, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Um, <laughs> no, I did actually put some on Facebook, so it's fine. Yeah, um, that's precisely what I meant. <laughs> Not starting rumours. <laughs> this is so cool. I love, 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 love this strand. Um, to have those bright and and the, the just sorry, I'm going off on a tangent already. Um, but the different kind of textures that you've got of the the agate um, and the different kind of it's almost like. It's almost, it's almost like, um, like soda light mm -hmm. combined with agate within. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. See what I mean, Jelly Bean? That's, these are ace. Oh, I love these. Again, I just want to look at these. I'd want these in a stretchy. I might have to get this as well. I'll be, I'll be like taking the sheets after the show tonight and putting little circles around everything that I want to them. buy. One of them. What? Are you kidding? That's fantastic. So some of the first strands I bought were a coloured agate in smooth and faceted and they are so easy to work with, so many design ideas that you can utilise. For me it was adding little bits of chain, making bracelets with those. Wow. Mm. They're quite unisex as well aren't they? I you think know, so, even though even the faceted. Even with the faceted, yeah. yeah. Would you wear them, Adam? How's your allotment? Not good. Oh, oh dear. Oh, we'll change the subject. Uh <laughs> I tried to grow a loganberry bush. I had one loganberry bush. I've, one loganberry 
off it and then it keeled over. Oh. So me and plants, not so very good. Well, I was going to say, do you grow your own? I do. I've been... Oh, sorry. I've, I've, got, I've got loads growing at the moment. Fabulous. All kinds of good stuff. Right. We've got star by next. Um, it's some snake skin jasper and it's going under ten pounds. <laughs> Oh wow, how beautiful is this? That is stunning. Oh. Really beautiful. Again, these more kind of muted tones, um, if you're somebody that doesn't want to wear a lot of bright colours, mm -hmm. this is going to be put every day, you could wear this every day with yeah. absolutely everything, be perfect with a pair of jeans. Anyway, um, this is your snake skin jasper, your plain rounds, I don't know how I've not seen these either. No, I no, literally no. trawl jewelry maker website and put like six mil in because I'm <laughs> so all my stretches are in six mils. So and I've never seen these. Oh, I love this colour palette. It's so beautiful. It'd be really lovely with your um, multicoloured Amazonites as well. That'd be a nice combination together mm. with some of. Um, I think this is nice with bronzite. I think this would go well with malachite, maybe. With malachite. Yeah, I think that'd be interesting. Quite a, a diversity because you've got. It's like a, a. There's a hint of green underneath there the is. blue. I think that would be fascinating to see what that looks like. It's funny that you say that. Is that? Mm, I think is this is this that's quite a closer color, I believe. I was just looking. I was like, is it malachite with azurite or is it quite a color? I think it's quite a color. Which is quite a color. Yeah. Oh, but even it's a similar kind of. You, you get the, the same sort the of gist. impact between the two colors anyway. That looks really lovely with the Chrysocola. That's cool. And all you'd need to do is intersperse them. Mmm. I'd never... When's the Chrysocola coming up? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock for the Chrysocola. Always reminds me of an Australian swear word. <laughs> <laughs> it does. I don't know why. Um, and, do you know, but if you wanted to kind of carry it, let me just... And you could, if you... It mix it with the Crazy Agate that we had earlier as well. Yes. That's yeah, very... that's dreamy. Mm. Could also put it with the Botswana facet. That would give you a different impact. Oh yeah, should we do that? Let's do that. Let's do that. See, and do you know what? Everything under everything this hour has been under ten pounds. So you can mix and match. You can do all of these, you know, crazy ideas. <gasps> So yeah, it's a bit different, isn't it? The, the similarities and then there's differences. Yeah, I you like can that. Pick them all off the strand and, and go with whichever way it goes. But I'd be inclined to just randomise them, throw them together. I love that. It's very subtle. Beautiful. And these, five pounds and ninety-five pence Fabulous. for your snake skin. Uh, beautiful uh, plain rounds that you've got here in your snake snake skin jasper. And Easy so for you to say. I, 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 Mm, allegedly um, <laughs> but you, like you said it works so well and you can see that you know you can when you look up close and personal you can really see the different textures that you've got mm. um, but you could you could just uh, you know t take everything off the strand and then put all the kind of blue tones together or the red tones mm. or those golden tones together but you've got like the blend that you've got within these are just it's incredible they are gorgeous. They are. A very natural palette, but then you, you don't tend to see so many blues in the natural. No, you don't. And I guess by just adding more blue gemstones, you'd really be able to enhance that and bring out mm. even more of the blues within there as well. A little bit of Peruvian. Um, mm. Even a Peruvian ochre Opal, with that would yeah. be gorgeous. Right, next up. <gasps> I was... <laughs> Oh no, they're all they're all in different places, but it's okay because um, the one after. So this is 
25 carats of your black rutile um, in this 20 centimeter strand. These are usually when we see, we don't see them in these little rondelles. No, it's going to be fantastic to be able to bring this to your designs with the cabochons with the larger slabs that we have of the rutile to be able to bring that effect but miniaturized miniaturized well it is because it like, is often if you cut your rutile quartz you end up with a piece of very quartz heavy stone mm -hmm. and a piece of very rutile heavy stone mm -hmm. uh, so these have been really thought about very very carefully for the majority of the strand to have that perfect balance absolutely it is and to think you know something of this size like you say you can get all of those beautiful um rutile inclusions actually even with with stones of this size you would think couldn't you mm. that there'd be some that would just be completely clear um uh, or some that would be completely black but to have that dispersed beautifully so that's what i love about gem what i say in about you know 10 sentences gem can say in like three words <laughs> My husband would agree that the opposite was true and that normally I say ten words where one is necessary. I think you just des describe things beautifully. So, um, 20 centimetres, 25 carats of your black root iron. You know what, this would be lovely with the micro faceted um, black spinels oh, in between. That yes. would be so pretty. Absolutely, because you've got that perfect jet black, completely mm. solid gemstone, which is spreading light and gloss and gorgeousness and that paparazzi elegant sparkle. Yes, it would be very glittery. It would be very glittery. We should, oh, that's not the price, everybody. We should be at £9.95, pence, but we're not stopping there. Oh, no, 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 no. We are not. Oh, that almost made me sing then. <laughs> Good job. Wow. <laughs> £5.95. The great thing about this hour mm. is you can absolutely build your stash. This is what these under £10 hours are all about. It's those stash building hours. Um, you can absolutely today um, get so much, can't you, in your collection for such a small amount of money. Um, and I, I, like I said, I love this with black spinels in between, mm. but also equally, I mean, you could use these very sparingly and just having a little you know an intricate moment that only you know you would know looking at them up close and personal do you know what That's i mean true. i like yeah. that it's like you know people would see them from a distance and and not necessarily see those rutile inclusions and then um i think it's lovely just to have a, like a little secret definitely piece a yeah. secret in your jewelry and it is a special gemstone one gem that grows within another is always something a little bit spectacular isn't it it is incredible and to think how that forms as well so i always thought that with rutile that basically the there's cracks in the quartz and then the needles actually formed but they don't they're actually both in liquid form at the same time and they actually grow together and they solidify together which is quite spectacular isn't it you think yeah. about it it's amazing where sorry Right, which is perfect. <laughs> right, we've got pink shell pearls that are pretty chunky and beautifully, again, with this texture that mm. you've got here. These are really sizable. Um, eight mil. Oh, look at those. Do you know, I was just talking about the black spinel. I'm like, oh, that would be nice with black spinel now. <laughs> oh, it would. Yes, absolutely it would. But, you know, if the... Uh, this is quite a, a, a subtle pink in, in the general terms of how vibrant pink can be. Yes. You could pop these with some of the more muted tones that we've had throughout the last half an hour or so. Yeah. The Botswana, the beautiful faceted tiger's eye, any of those. And it's going to give you a very grown up but slightly sultry look yes. to just kind of take that pink down a bit. But also, especially in the Botswana, you do get moments of, of heat with yes. the, the pink towards the purple, towards mm -hmm. the red, the lilac tones. Uh, and, you know, just one or two of those little shell pearls in amongst those beautiful faceted Botswanas. And you, you kind of pick that out, wouldn't you? Mm, absolutely. Absolutely. So true. <laughs> <laughs> you sounded terribly triumphant then, <laughs> Becky. She's like, 3 95 <laughs> Yay! Oh, there you go. <laughs> 
Yes. I, I, I think that's so such a lovely idea with the Botswana and Agate. Mm, um, just something to different. kind of blend beautifully. It is stunning. Um, I, and really, do you know what they're really very nice with as well? The um, the strand that we had with the lemon quartz in and oh, the, the big rose. Dolls. Yeah, they'd be lovely yes. with those. Just looking what else we've got. We've Let's do next. How about... <gasps> do you know what, though? Look at these together. That's really cool. Because That is really cool. Grey and pink, I think, is a really lovely colour combination. If you think of red and black being ultra sexy, then your grey and your pink is just a slightly more subtle variation. Yes. Yes. Are you more of a... Red and black kind of girl. No, I'm a. Uh, if it doesn't come in black, I'm not buying it kind yeah. of girl. <laughs> Me too. Me too. I go shopping and my, with my mom sometimes on a Saturday, and she's like, um, "Oh, this is nice." I'm like, "Yeah, it's if they got it in black." And she's like, For "Goodness sake, Emma, can you wear something other than black?" Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like it. I like a, a blue. Um, I like I, occasionally I'll have a blue on. Brings out the colour of my eyes. Oh yes, yes it would. Um, Two pounds and ninety-five pence. And do you know what? You could at that price, you could use these instead of spacer beads, couldn't you? Oh, as you could. Yeah. as spacer beads. Oh my gosh! That right. Cool. Um, straight after the break, everybody, we have got brand new labradorite. Never seen this before. Whoa. Never. Uh, holy it's guacamole. Electric. It's electric. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Um, that's not something that British people would know. They don't really know the electric slide, do they, in the UK? Um, everyone's like, no. How incredible are these? Um, this strap. Are you serious, Beck? Right, I'm giving you a heads up right now. This strand, guaranteed under £10. Under £10, and it's coming up for you after the break. Don't go anywhere. We will see you in a very excited two. Are you new to Jewellery Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Our Jewellery Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people. of genuine gemstones is always exciting but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewelry then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers 
You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Tune into Jewelry Maker every morning at 8 a.m. for our breakfast club. We'll be bringing you low, low prices, last chance to buy, and end of line stock. Make sure you're watching because once the deals are gone, they're gone. Check out your Wall of Fame entries in this hour and be in with a chance to win £100 credit to your account. The Breakfast Club on Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Whoosh. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Joy Maker. <laughs> Lovely to have your company tonight. Oh, it's flying by tonight, isn't it? The, it is. the late show. Um, welcome. Well, welcome to the late show. Um, we have got today's one to. Uh, is, what, is, must have. <laughs> thanks. I'm like, what is it called again? Today's must have. Hang on, I'm just. Have what? a notch. Just let me have a scooch over. Sorry. Oh, I'll be on your lap in a minute. Um, Do you want me to scooch this way? No, no, right. no, it's fine. I just wanted to be close to you. I close like you. Close to you. Just like me. Um, so, um, oh my gosh, look at that one. Oh, that is insanely good. I, I flashed these wow. a little bit before we went on the break. I gave you a little flash, but there's a lot of flash in these Labradorites. There's, these are brand new. There are only 77 strands in existence. That's all that we ever had made. And this strand is, is guaranteed. We've still got under 10 pounds right there. This strand is guaranteed. And I can't believe it, Beck. I can't believe it's going under 10 pounds, <laughs> mate. I can't believe it. So this is your, and I'm, oh, I'm gonna try. I just wanna angle this so you can see the flash okay this is incredible you have got the most beautiful irregular rhombus rhombus rhombus, rhombus. Um, they're gorgeous every single one of these most beautiful that one almost looks like it's got some kind of like dragon skin effect on it as well which is cool as um, some of these have got beautiful moments of clarity mm -hmm. They're just so unique and different. This has got full rainbow. I can cap capture it. Absolutely gorgeous. My number one favorite gemstone of all time. Oh my gosh, I, mean, I love Labradorite. I absolutely adore it. And I'm always drawn to it. Always drawn to it. Oh. Look at this. That is vibrant, isn't it? Isn't it? You've got a beautiful colour change there between the velvety midnight blue yeah. to the slightly paler satin baby blue. Yes. That is sumptuous. And it is. And of course, every strand will be unique and different. They're so cool. I love them. So these are your irregular, plain, irregular rhombuses. How can you call something plain and irregular? Um, but I guess it's because it's not faceted. Um, I wish they'd go for smooth. 
smooth polished instead of plain. I realise that's two words when one will do. And I'm literally playing into the, the, the court that I made for myself earlier. Yes. But that's almost like blue, that's like blue sheen quality, isn't it? It you've is. Got there. It's beautiful. So they're approximately 20 by 11 to 26 by 12 mil. Um, I like how they've been drilled at the top, but then on a kind of jaunty angle that you've got there, they're just going to sit. It's just interesting um, on this beautiful. It's guaranteed under £10. There are loads of you on the phone lines. I'm not surprised. Gem, tell me, what would you do with this? Everyone's a pendant. Everyone's a pendant. Everyone is a pendant. Hello, yeah, my name absolutely. is Emma and I am a pendant. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, you know what I mean. Yes. They're absolutely stunning. They and are. One of the things that I adore about Madagascar and Labradorite is that you do get those different elements within. You have variation of internal texture because you have moments of translucency mm. where you can kind of see darker and then lighter within the gemstone. This but you prime always, example. Yeah, exactly that. You can see that the sort of darker moments within that semi-translucent they are stunning. They're gorgeous. Absolutely Less than gorgeous. 30 chances available. Loads of you there, like literally. Lynn, Christine, Alison's bought three. Leslie's there. Pauline's there. Collectors in London's bought two. Linda's bought two. Well done to Sue and Eva. Paul has bought two. Angela, well done to Claire and Lenora. Well done to Lynn, you've got yours as well. Um, Dorset, Jane, you've got yours. Christine, Shandy, Helen. Uh, the phone lines are ringing off the hook. They're guaranteed under £10. And you know what? I love wearing Labradorite pendant because it does, you know, attract the attention. Yeah. Um, you know, you do have people that I always say it's excuse me jewellery because people will stop you and say, excuse me, you know, what is that? What are you wearing? I've mm -hmm. never seen anything like it before. Um, and they just, they are perfect for pendants. And if you're a bit like quirky like me and you like something a little bit different because they're not, you know, perfect, they're abstract. They're not uniform. They're a bit irregular and a bit abstract, which is, I think that's the best way to be. <laughs> I thought we were mayhem. <laughs> mayhem and madness. No, mayhem, mischief, mischief and, mad and mayhem, yes. Both of us. £9.95, pence. Um, you've got a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you want to get this back, we are, we're a couple of irregular rhombuses, aren't we? Look at this, it's got the, <gasps> the gold. That's hedging and towards salmon. That is. Oh, that's that's quite uh, unusual, even in your beautiful Madagascar yeah. Labrador, right, to get the heat colours. That's a beautiful sheen. That wow. is beautiful. Oh, I might make one into a ring now, Ooh. so I can constantly admire it. Oh, actually, seeing it from this angle, you've not just got the salmon pink, you've no. got it grading down towards a sunset orange. It is. I, I, it's so... Difficult to show you that in the studio. It's gorgeous. But I you'll love get it. it. And they'll all be different. So, and that's got purples in it. Yeah. Mauves. Beautiful. Well, I like those salmons. I had a bit of salmon. I made a bit of inspired by actually by one of the jewelry, one of our jewelry makers, mm -hmm. Crazy Sally, mad as a box of frogs. Crazy Sally from Nebraska. If you're watching Crazy Sally, hello. Hey. Um, and she had some salmon. She had made some salmon sashimi and some miso soup the other day, and she put a picture on Facebook. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do that. So I did. Thanks, Sally. You inspired me to have a bit of uh, salmon and uh, some raw salmon and a bit of miso soup. Just thought I'd share that with you. Thanks. <laughs> so it's entirely my fault for describing it as salmon. Yeah, I could have totally. Pink, couldn't I? Yeah, yeah. Or apricots. <laughs> I haven't got a story about apricots. I almost bought a peach with me, but then I thought that's going to be really messy in a three-hour, uh, three-hour, three-minute break. <laughs> I had an you what? Sorry. I had an apricot this you had an apricot this morning. Oh, look at us. I haven't had an apricot in years. I love. <laughs> Adam had a carrot. What about you, Beck? What have you eaten today? <laughs> You had a Nando's? <laughs> Was it cheeky? <laughs> um, there are other places available that you can eat as well. Um, yeah, I've been, I've been, I'm not, I've only ever been once. I'm not going to talk about it because it wasn't my favourite experience. So there Never we go. Been. No, no, it's, it's not like, they do some good, 
Oh, you don't. No, they, they don't. They don't. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, oh, they do some aloumi, and then I was like, you don't need cheese, do you? So I was. I was. I did a vegetarian barbecue yesterday. Oh, how cool is yeah. that? Yeah. Well, I'm jumping off the. Jumping off the the. The, the meat bang wagon a bit these days. So barbecued artichokes an interesting experience. Ooh, sorry, I've just got a problem with my a wardrobe malfunction. It's fine. Ah. Um, we've got some labradorite. <gasps> Gem. You're gonna have like some excited noises now. Um, we're gonna start with. <gasps> I was looking um. at your stretchy. <laughs> I was looking at your um, amber bracelets. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking similar, <gasps> you could do a similar design with the Labradorite, mate. It'd be gorgeous. Well, I wear this one most days, which is Labradorite with uh, the Sh rainbow or the chakra, chakra tones, tones, as you prefer. Yes. I have the chakra bracelets that I love. Um, anyway, let's talk about, let's talk about the Labradorite. Um, these, so we've got, is the rest of the show Labradorite? We've got a <gasps> showcase. Sorry, that's <laughs> my excited dance. Did a little jig then. <laughs> excited jig. Um, so this is, these are, should I say, 58 carats of your Labradorite graduated plain oval, 6 by 4 to 10 by 6 on a 32 centimetre strand. Again, um, you've got these wonderful gold colours uh, that are coming through, these beautiful metallic golds. You've got these gorgeous... Um, electric blues, um, it's amazing. I love Labradorite, I could talk about it all day, but now we're doing a little bit of mini showcase, I guess I can talk about it a lot more. Um, incredible, incredible history from you know Native Americans to the Inuits of, of Canada, where of course the, the gemstone was first discovered. Um, it is a gemstone that is steeped in history. Uh, it is a, a gemstone that was originally, uh, you may already know this, so I don't know, but um, the uh, Inuit. Uh, people of Canada, they believed that when their ancestors died that they went up into the Aurora Borealis. So they would see the soils of the Aurora Borealis and they would believe that that was their ancestors, right? I love that. Um, however, when they first discovered Labradorite, and imagine, imagine being the first person to discover this, you'd be like, what on earth is that? And what they thought was they thought that it was their, the, the northern lights that had been kind of captured within the stone. So they'd go around I mean, smashing them, smashing the Labradorites. Sometimes when you... What? Hello. <laughs> wow. <Well. gasps> There's nine left. You've got to be quick. You've got to be quick, 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 quick. Yeah. Nine chances <laughs> left. Two pound and 95 pence. Beck. I... You, Beck's got the best deals ever today. I've got to say, this is an absolutely epic rundown. Superb. It is super special. Yeah. Good luck. Right, sorry. Right, next. <laughs> um, these are pure. <gasps> <laughs> I know that really annoys some people, you know, when the presenter's like, oh, but like, it's for me, it's like actually genuine. <laughs> it's true. It is true. You know, I say it as it is, right? That's <laughs> why I'm not here very often. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, look at these. They're That's mystical green gold. It really is. Oh, sunset. Salmon. <laughs> <laughs> A bit of red down there. It's just incredible, isn't it? I'm mesmerised. They kind of look like planets spinning round. Look at the colours of this one. Sorry, sorry, Gem, just like cutting you up there. But look at this one. It's amazing. They're, they're insane. They are super. And I was like, really, I'm, before I was, I was quite... <gasps> 
I mean, that's like bordering spectralite, you know, because you've it got is. that full spectrum of mm -hmm. the rainbow. This quality is insane, Beck. So that colourway there is rose gold. Yes. £22.95, is that... Oh, that's the shipping price. No, no, we didn't. We didn't say this was going under... Can I say that? It's going under 10. <gasps> Shut the front door, that's insane. I'm fairly sure it didn't go under 10 when I bought it, Becky. I'm fairly sure it's... Uh, do you know what, one of these, for if you went into... Can I, can I say, can I just... Sorry, I just don't know why I need to tap you on the shoulder there. £9.95. I recently went to the Touring Rock and Gem Show. Oh, cool. It goes to a lot of the horse racing courses. Um, and I thought you said Turin. Touring. Touring. I'm with you. I didn't go to Turin, no. Um, it was um, Chepstow, <laughs> but it was kind of like Turin, but different. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. <laughs> they don't have Welsh cakes in Turin, but they did at the Rock and Gem show in um, Chepstow. But, oh my gosh, sorry, I keep wanting to touch you because I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe the prices. Honestly, like I thought, oh, it's going to be kind of like trade prices. Mm -hmm. It's going to... I was so wrong. I was so wrong. Nine pounds and ninety-five pence. You could get like one of these for that kind of price. Oh, we've got a message. I've got my glasses, but I still can't read it. <gasps> it says. There. Shandy says, has Becky forgotten the under 10 showcase sign? No, I thought she had as well because, of course, the first auction that we did was under 10 pounds. We all we all thought that she'd forgotten about it. But that's exquisite. We've continued the under mm -hmm. 10. I can't believe it. Sterling silver rings. Oh, yes. Bob style necklaces where you can kind of spin the design. They're gorgeous. I can't believe it's 10 pounds. Honestly, when I went to this show and there's, there's people that were just selling beads mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, there's a few beads that I'm really like wanting to get that we don't have a jewelry maker. So I was like, right, I've got my shopping list. And I got there and I was looking, picking up a strand of beads and I was like, and I asked every, I wanted Moldavite beads, right, six mm -hmm. mil rounds. I asked every, nobody had any. And, but I was like, oh, these are nice. I picked them up and just, sorry, I'm, I'm just going to stop my conversation just so we can admire this as a ring. Whoa. You could bezel set this quite easily. Oh, gosh. So beautiful. Anyway, so, so six mils, say the tiger's eye that we just had, mm -hmm. like 12 pounds for a strand. Mm -hmm. I was like, no, forget it. <laughs> That's the, one of the joys of Jewelry Maker is that um, when you rent a table at a gem fair, mm -hmm. it will cost many hundreds or thousands of pounds to have that table space. And, uh, you know, we're firing these out really quickly aren't we so that's it and it's you know what it, it makes sense because we can do we do we do more business in an hour than you know somebody would do you know a whole month at a gem fair right mm -hmm. because that's just the way that we do do business and because we buy in bulk we sell in quantity and we have very little margins um you know we don't bump our our strands up massive you know it's very very small amounts because we sell quantity so we can do that so that's the they're spoiled here aren't we really mm. talking of being spoiled this is a this is a large this is 29 centimeters mm. and there's 95 carats of labradorite on here they're a proper rammed on here aren't they, they there's are. loads of them shoulder to shoulder <laughs> thanks that's a much nicer way of saying it Beautiful. So these are um, your faceted rondelles. And they're in, they're in, again, the quality is insane. Are these also, is everything going under 10? All the labradorites going under 10 pounds. Oh my gosh. This is one of those days where you wish you were watching, right? Uh, yeah, kind of. Although I'm loving being here with you and this fabulous team. Oh. I, I do sometimes wish they would install that little button that lets me buy the on-screen item without having to do anything. Do you know what? I'd, 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 put, that in a, I'd put that in a suggestion. <laughs> it has been suggested. Has it been suggested? Just a little red 
I'd little like red to buy, buy now button. Yes. I'd be so trigger happy. I want that one. I want that one. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you can just leave your cup of coffee on it. You're just like constantly, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next. This is, uh, this is such a premium strand as well. It is such beautiful. a premium strand. And again, we, when, when you see Labradorite, I'm, I, I, I recently bought, um, for my business, I recently bought uh, some, some tumbles, some Labradorite tumble stones. And when the kilo arrived, it was with lots of other tumble stones, but when it arrived, I literally went through everything because I didn't want to be able, I didn't want to offer my customers Labradorite that didn't have Labradorescence. Mm -hmm. But my gosh, half of the, the, the kilo was, didn't even show any kind of flash at all. Okay. So you can say something's Labradorite and it still is Labradorite, even if it doesn't have that metallic shimmer on, on the surface, mm -hmm. but, well, into the gemstone. But to, to have a strand like this, and not every single one is going to have the most amount of Labradorescence, but look how beautiful. For eight pounds and ninety-five pence, the quality is outstanding. It almost looks coated because you've got yes that beautiful faceting as well. It's not; it's completely natural. Everything that you've seen in the preceding couple of strands of Labrador, especially the irregular rhombuses, rhom rhomboids, whatever they were called. Rhomboi. Well, um, Rhomboi. <laughs> is that like the plural of rhombuses? And those Rhombi. incredible coins is true of every single one of these beads. They mm -hmm. do have that beautiful same quality of Labradorite. Uh, it's just that you don't always see it coming through the TV when it's in a bead form rather than in a slab yeah. of lab. But if you've seen this, this good on TV right now, and imagine when you take these off the strand and you really start to see the beauty, because mm -hmm. that's when you see it, right? When, I mean, there's so many on here right now. It's, it's crazy. Beautiful. Right, uh, next up, I've got, oh, that one's sort of gone on the floor, so I was, um, next, <laughs> so, <Stand> down. <laughs> so insincere, wasn't it? That's gone on the floor, Saz. Um, Saz. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some bicones. Look at these. See, they would be cool with the rum by, as well. <laughs> the rumbus is, as well, because it, they've, again, the regular, irregular, and so also, if you were going to break. set all of those in one piece, having a single bicone or saucer-like bicone between them, they're going to nestle up really closely. Oh, yes. And then you've got a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder Labradorite then, which is, you know, dream. Mmm, I like that. Do you know what else I... Do you know what you could do as well? You could replace a sterling silver saucer bead with one of these if you wanted to have that kind of... and use these instead of the beads. You could. That'd be gorgeous. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Really lovely beads. They're gorgeous. I love these. So you've got that smooth aspect to them. Mmm. Plain. <laughs> smooth. Smooth. Polished. Polished. I'm going to start a campaign. Oh, these are going under £5, by the way, oh, everybody. Wow. There's only 31 chances. This is incredible. And you've got, again, from three by, three by, ugh, three by two to six by four. Um, these are lovely. You could use these. As I said, a space is quite sparingly. Look at those gold. I know. <gasps> Even in stones of this size to get that kind of shimmer and that kind of quality. Mm -hmm. Three pound and 95 pence. Blummin' neck, Beck. For a foot of Labradorite. <laughs> a foot of Labradorite. Well, it is though, isn't it? Yes. If you're imperial minded. Yes, <laughs> it is. <laughs> Are you very imperial minded? <laughs> uh, <laughs> we love you, Jem. We love you. It's, it's mad that though, isn't it? That's an exquisite strand. Isn't really it lovely. beautiful? It's an unusual shape as well. There's, make sure you check it out, folks. There's lords in baskets. Well done. Hilda, Sandra, Michelle, Rosa Sport, Dean, Christine's there. Uh, Lynette, make sure you check it out. Um, oh, she's, uh, yeah, she's gone. Oh, another Lynette, check out. Lynn, Kerry, um, Sally Ann. Um, do make sure that you are checking out, folks. Um, just because at these kinds of prices at £3.95, it's a bit of a naughty show today, isn't it? 
Labradorite under 10. You'd think Labradorite under 10 you'd get like chips and, or something, wouldn't you? Yeah. Not the quality of what we've had today. No, it's absolutely fantastic. £3.95. And at that price... You can add it to your order. You can. Um, it's only 1 p.m. P until midnight tonight. So if you're thinking, oh, I'm, mm, I quite fancy a bit of that, or you could use it to space out some of the other pieces that mm -hmm. we bought for you, bought to you today. Uh, three pound ninety five p and p until midnight tonight. The more you buy, the more you save on your shipping. So I always like to think of my shipping fee separated between the number of items that I've purchased. I do that for my business. So when my when my my stock comes in, the shipping gets added and the tax that I pay when it comes into the country are mm -hmm. 20% on top of that. And then I figure it out. I've got a spreadsheet. I didn't make it. Jason made it my other half. And then it tells me exactly to the penny how much each item is mm -hmm. that I've ordered. So, yes. Okay, Gary's, uh, uh, Beck's like, yeah, come on, move on. Um, sorry. <laughs> Learn the sisters. <laughs> I know the sisters. It's all right, my mum used to call me by my brother's name, my sister's name, the dog's name, and then my name. My great aunt used to do that. She used to go, oh, ah, Susan, Judith, blah, 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 and then she'd finally get to Emma. Um, yeah. Right, we have got play mounds. Seven, five to seven mil graduated. Oh. For me, this is a, a necklace. This That's is a ne it is lovely, isn't it? It's my foot, by the way. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Where? That squeaky noise was my ah. foot. These are beautiful. <gasps> Look at these. Lovely to have that gentle graduation in size. It is. It's really, really pretty. You see a 7 mil, or well, you see an 8 mil, or you see a, a 6 mil, or a 4 mil, or whatever, but to actually have the 5s graduating through to the 7 mil is just beautiful. I would take some very, very small sterling silver round beads, and I'd like to just put one in between every one and have it as a necklace. It'd be a lovely long line necklace then, wouldn't it? Yeah. I mean, 36 centimetres already. Yep. So what's that, 14 or so, in 14, 15 it's inches? It's about 14 inches, yeah. Yeah, 14, 15 inches, yeah. So by the time you've added the spacers... What? Uh, that's not your price at £9.95. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going even lower and we're not just taking a pound or two off that price. 114 carats of Labradorite and it's incredible not only have these all been sourced and then you know mined going through the mining process the cutting process the polishing process but then they've all been threaded onto this beautiful strand graduated so they've done all of that work for you as well um, for, for five pounds and 95 pence absolutely so I mean I would be inclined to use them all in one go it's it's not every day you say that you can use that carrot weight in a single piece of jewellery absolutely right but uh, yeah why not why wouldn't you why wouldn't you make a lovely long line necklace actually oh I love that idea yeah. gorgeous you just take them off sort of two or three at a time and thread them onto your new threading material yeah and what kind of threading material would you um, kind of recommend for something like that for something like that because by the time if you were to make this imaginary longer length necklace with the sterling silver beads that we're talking we've about, already made it in our head made it, yeah in our heads it would be relatively weighty so i'd go for a, a 0.38 mil beading thread perfect thanks jem <laughs> right next up let's do <gasps> i'm at it again Little, tiny one. Oh, look at these as well. Sorry, <laughs> I'm so distracted. Squirrel. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am. Little itty bitty, tiny little Labradorites. Those are absolutely fantastic. Oh my gosh. Look at our little excited faces then. We were like, very excited. These are your two mil um, with your micro faceted, uh, beautiful. Um, oh, are they micro? Well, they are faceted. Oh no, they're not. They're round. Do you know what? Oh, there's no. so much sheen across the surface. I thought they were faceted as well. I did. But they're, they're not. They're smooth. 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 Are we trying to both do Sean Connery impressions there, or? Um, I don't know what mine was. Smooth. Yeah, yeah, it was. Smooth. Um. <laughs> 
It's a great word. They are though, they are smooth and they've got that, that wonderful, again, it, it's a, fascinating to me, something that's two millimetres in size can still have that labrador essence, still have that metallic sheen, mm -hmm. even in stones of this size. Mm -hmm. And you do get those, again, those moments of translucency and then there's little flashes of the, the baby blue and then there's a, a reasonable quantity of sort of green gold in this mm. as well. Char like a chartreuse colour. That's such a good word. That's a great word, isn't it? Um, there we go. Uh, £3.95. So do you know what? This whole hour, everything has been under £10. And you can mix and match, can't you? Mm -hmm. Maybe some of the coins that we've had, some of the um, uh, the regulars that we've had, maybe, and you can use and use it all together. You could have one of the coins at the very centre point. Yes. And then the preceding strand to this, the smooth, mm -hmm. spread with those individually in between, so alternating. They yes. have a very very long line necklace if you use them all, but they'd be gorgeous. Little stacker bracelets. I like the stacker silver. bracelets. Yeah. I like the stacker bracelet. And what threading material would you use for, say, a stacker bracelet? Um, possibly the slightly finer beading material, although I'm guessing from the look of it, a 0.38 beading like a tiger tail would go through it. Perfect. And if you've got the um, bolt rings, the, the bolt clasps that we had at the beginning yes. as well in the first hour, they were super cheap. They were under a $2.95. Under $3.95, isn't it? No, crazy. It crazy. Was. <laughs> Right, uh, next up we've got... You have to roll your R when you say this one. Rondels. That. Like that? <laughs> yeah, um, exactly like that. Rondels. It's nice having a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll do anything, honestly. I'll do that, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, should we look at the Ooh. rondels? Look at the blues in I know, there. I know, oh I know, gosh. they're beautiful. They're absolutely stunning. Uh, again, I'm just going to pop these uh, away from the hand a little bit so you can just see. <laughs> I, 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 I turned around and Jem was doing... I didn't know if it was Harry the Hornet. I think it's just Frank's the housefly. It's just a fly. It's just a fly. Everybody it's can calm fly. down. I'll, I'll stand down. Stand down. <sighs> Got a, wasp, a little mini wasp's nest out of the shed yesterday. They're so cool. Not if you're allergic to them. No, but I mean, there wasn't, and they just started to be formed, but it's like really interesting how they form them. I'm, I'm just a nerd, aren't I? We were talking about this earlier. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's talk about the Labradorite. It's 50 carats in these beautiful um, polished rondelles. I see what you did and I thank you. You're welcome. Um, Those I, baby blues are amazing. This aren't is they? such a gorgeous strand. And if you have never purchased Labradorite before, if you've never purchased anything from Jewelry Maker before, wouldn't that be a cool first strand? Oh. Get your hands on an optical effect gemstone. Absolutely. I love anything that's got a natural phenomenon. It's just so beautiful. Um, and it's different, you know, and to think that Mother Nature's created something like this is, is amazing to me to see. Some... Wow. Thanks, Becky. That's Thanks, fab. Beck. Survivor for a five pound note. That's amazing, isn't it? For a five pound note. I don't like the new fibers. Oh, no, me either. Keep, yeah. They keep blowing away and getting stuck in things, and I don't have to carry much cash, to be honest. And the parking but. machine never takes them. You should write a strongly worded email. <laughs> I did. You did. <laughs> Good luck, good luck, good luck. Right, um, next Labradorite, under £10. Excellent. Ooh! We've got four mil rounds, under £10. Oh, there's something so lovely about these. They just they feel smooth? nice. They're smooth. They're smooth. Is that a little song you're singing to me, Adam? Four mil rounds, under £10. That's lovely, that is. This is what we deal with the jewellery maker. It gets serenaded. <laughs> you get all kinds of things in your ear. <laughs> um, these are beautiful. 30, this is a, a lengthy strand as well, 38 centimetres. That's fantastic. It's super lengthy, isn't it? 
They're beautiful. And I like these because they've got, well, I love Labrador anyway. But again, you've got those moments of Oh yeah, transparency, and then you've got these gold flashes. Beautiful. There's almost moonstone effect yeah. in some of those, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. Those are gorgeous. They're lush. I love these. Um, again, they're going under five pounds, guaranteed. Get yourselves on the phone line: oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. They have never, ever, ever been under five pounds before. Tonight is the night. Hashtag Naughty Beck. Hashtag Naughty Beck. Um, four pounds. Don't don't search don't, that. Don't search that. No. Um, Just four saying. pounds <laughs> and ninety-five pence. Never been under five pounds before. So that's more than fifteen inches, isn't it? That is. Yeah, that's absolutely fantastic. There's a lot of translucency in this particular strand, and if you'll notice, it's from your original source. Yes, from the Canadian source, from Labrador in Canada. It's beautiful. And it's nice to say you've got something from the original source. Yeah, I particularly enjoy that. So I, I, I don't know about you, but for me, I'd, I'd pay the 25p and get the authenticity card yeah. just so I can say this is Canadian Labradorite. Absolutely. Yeah, it, it, that may be something that's important to you. Absolutely. That's gorgeous, Strand. Isn't it? It's beautiful. I love it. I'd like these in like a little stacker bracelet as well. I think I'd like to pop them with some six or eight millimetre moonstone rounds. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, that's white agate. I was like, oh, I've got some. No, it's white agate. But <laughs> yes. Beautiful. Four pounds and 95 pence. Oh, do you know what? We've got more some We have. We've we got, we got some more sterling silver next. We have got a 95 sterling silver findings pack, and it's coming up for you as a star buy. I just took a swig of water and I've just poured it all over myself. So if my that. hair is glittering, <laughs> glittering, glittering, um, and that, that's what it is. It's the, yes. the water that I've just poured all over myself and down my top. Another reason why I wear black um, all the time is because I'm a massive klutz. And so it doesn't show stuff very well. Let's move It's a classic um, me move, to be fair. Classic, classic me. A classic me move to kind of take a mouthful of water and only get half. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, findings. So this is a 20 piece findings set. Um, again, if you're brand new to jewelry maker, um, you get two, two free strands of genuine gemstones with your first purchase. And you get the getting, the getting started DVD. Um, I got a strand of ruby and a strand of tanzanite as my two free strands when I first bought my first purchase. So that's uh, pretty impressive. It's crazy. I was like, oh my gosh. I it's tanzanite, tanzanite, one of your big five? It's what, sorry? It's tanzanite, one of yeah, your big five. So that's two, two of, of the big, big five. five, yeah. As an example, that's incredible. It is incredible. Um, so, um, what you're getting right now is basically a whole findings pack so that you could actually just purchase this and get your two free strands mm -hmm. and you'd be able to genuinely make some jewellery. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you know, there would be maybe a few things you'd want to add if you wanted to make necklaces and maybe a chain and things like that. But what you've got right now, let me explain to you what's there. You are getting four of the sterling silver crimp beads. They are two mil by two mil. You're getting four of the sterling silver open jump rings, which are three and a half mil. You're getting four of the sterling silver head ball pins, which are approximately four millimeters with a two millimeter ball. You've got two of the 95 sterling silver shepherd's hooks. They're 16 by nine mil. Two of the sterling silver bolt ring clasps, which are five mil. And four of the sterling silver crimp bead covers, which are four mil. So, 
this as well I think is a lovely a lovely thing to be able to give as a gift so maybe you are a avid jewelry maker and you have lots of your friends and family say oh your jewelry is so beautiful I'd love to learn how to make jewelry um, or you know I'd like mm -hmm. to have a go at that how lovely would this be um, to be able to gift to somebody um, in a little organza bag or something, just a gift to somebody mm -hmm. and to say, you know, you said that you wanted to start one of the strands, one of the Labradorite strands that you got for mm -hmm. under £10 earlier and one of these. It's a lovely way for somebody to start, you know, it introduce is. them to JM. I think so. Most definitely. You know, what a classy and elegant way to introduce somebody to jewellery making. Oh, Especially if over. you give them the gift of, yes it is, if you give them the gift of your tutorage, your knowledge as well. You yeah. sit with them and you say, well, this is how you close the crump, uh, the crump bead? The crimp bead? Nobody knows. <laughs> and, and then this is how you turn just those, those little head pins into earrings. And, mm -hmm. and then they can make something for themselves or somebody that they find dear to them. Yeah. Like, I think it's just a really, really lovely. And you can never have enough findings, can you? Uh, no, really? For all of that, a 20 piece set, 20 pieces for a five pound note again mm -hmm. today. What a lovely gift. And you know what? I, you know, I, I bought a bottle of wine yesterday. We had a barbecue yesterday. Bought a bottle of wine. I spent more than that on a bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. What a, a really nice gift to give someone the gift of sterling silver. Yeah. So you've got a pair of earrings mm -hmm. straight away with your head pins and your earring findings. Yep. You've got two bracelets or a necklace and a bracelet there straight away. You just need to add some uh, threading material. Got a crimp on either end. And then you've got some jump rings that you can help with and you can even add a couple of charms as well so you've got three really lovely pieces of jewelry a full suite necklace bracelet pair of earrings how absolutely wonderful is that incredible in sterling silver for 4.95 4.95 £4 maybe you don't usually work with sterling silver maybe you've never bought sterling silver before what a great way to to, to try it out without breaking the bank mm -hmm. Beautiful. And you know what as well, if you're somebody that sells your jewellery, when you've got that sterling silver, the quality, you're not, you're not paying what you, you would be able to sell this for, if that makes any sense. Okay, so there's a perceived value with sterling silver. Mm -hmm. So you're buying this basically for a fiver, right? Nobody in their right mind would think that you could, I don't know, buy sterling silver for five pounds, right? Unless they watch Jewellery Maker. So, um, if you're somebody that's selling your jewellery, you can elevate the value of your jewellery by adding the sterling silver components, by, you know, knowing that you've got the real deal there. Advertising it, obviously, as your sterling silver as well, that is that perceived value. People associate sterling silver with more moolah, and then you're not really paying much more, but you'll be able to charge a lot more. Mm -hmm. I got there in the end. You're right, though, it's about perceived value. It is. It is about perceived mm -hmm. value. It is about perceived value. I only work with sterling silver with the pieces that I make, and um, there is th that perceived value that's there. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. and, and when you're making to sell or making to gift to somebody dear to you, to be able to say that every component is sterling silver, right down to the crimps and the crimp covers... Mm -hmm. then, you know, that's a real, a real boost, isn't it? It is, absolutely. Um, there's, like, literally less than ten chances left, so if you want those, make sure you are checking out. But right now, let's do... Ooh. Ooh! Oh, this strand's so bad. Um, do you know Seriously? what? Seriously? I have been, I've been eyeing this up on the website. I've been eyeing this up on the website. I... This is beautiful. Um, you are getting, right, kunzite. Let's first of all start. You're getting kunzite, you're getting aquamarine, you're getting green beryl, and you're getting morganite. This is absolutely spectacular. All in your six mil. In that 38 centimeter strand. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. That green beryl has almost a a, a, a Russian Amazonite kind of feel to it, but of course, what you're looking at, green beryl. What's green beryl, everybody? Emerald. It's an emerald, right? A green beryl is an is emerald, right? Um, look at the colour of the aquamarine as well. To get that, um, th that 
tone in the blue. Mm -hmm. A lot of times aquamarine is more of a aqua colour, obviously, yes. yeah. than to get this kind of colours that you would expect more from a Santa Maria to be more of that kind of traditional blue. Um, like a powder blue. It's beautiful. You've got the most gorgeous, um, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh no, that was the Amazonite. Sorry, I was showing you the Amazonite and then I was like, oh no, that's the green barrel. Ignore me, folks, ignore me. That was the Amazonite. This one is um, the green barrel that you've got there. And then, of course, you've got that beautiful Kunzite and the beautiful Morganite. I think that one is the Morganite because it's got more of a peach tone to it. And this one is the Kunzite. There we go. We got there in the end. Slightly <laughs> sort of lilac-y phosphorescence underneath yeah. it. Yeah. Beautiful. Love, love this. No! What a fantastic <gasps> way to try some exquisite gemstones. Yeah. Some really high quality gemstones. Some very considered gemstones. Mm -hmm. 22 pounds and 95 pence. Morganite, Kunzite. We're talking about gemstones that are, you know, known the world over. Um, gemstones that have been coveted in history. Gemstones that have been worn by the rich and the famous. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we kind of forget that when we're here at, at Jewelry Maker because we see prices like 22.95 for 100 carats of all of these. But I tell you what, should we take this under 15 pounds? <gasps> That's crazy. Becky smashing buttons. My cat's got buttons. Oh. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. <laughs> Becky is, is pressing the very excellent buttons on her keyboard that mean this is under £15. <laughs> What, what an incredible, 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 uh, just a beautiful strand. It's amazing. Oh. She bought me a shrew back yesterday. Not Becky, the cat. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's lovely. That shimmer from the Amazonite is incredible. It's just beautiful. I, I, I love this strand. And you know, it's so um, like delicately put together in terms of the colour palette. It just mm. blends lovely. You would be able to use them all in one go. Yes. But what a great way to have access to fantastic six mil rounds, which standalone solitaire is perfect. Beautiful. Many times over. Uh, talking of uh, green beryl, we've got emeralds. Look at these. They are chunky. Oh, they are. And I love, I love that you've got these moments of, I'm gonna, I don't want to blind anybody. I'll get my phone, phone in a minute so I can show you. But you have these moments of clarity within these emeralds, which are so cool. So you've got these beautiful textures, um, this lovely kind of veining that goes through. Um, you've got this vivid greens into those forest greens, into those bottle greens. Look at these ones. How cool are they? Really usable shaping as well. Yeah. What would you do with this, Gem? Everyone's uh, a solitaire ring for me. I mean, who wouldn't want an emerald ring? The solitaire of that kind of size. So the whole strand is 120 carats. Yeah. Those are some sizeable gemstones. Aren't they? Even the teeniest one on the strand has got to yeah. be what more than a carrot yeah one, absolutely one point something carrots on the on the very smallest end of that I mean, if you were new to jewelry making and you said yeah i'm just going to make a one carrot emerald ring you'd be delighted wouldn't you yes <laughs> i mean who can say that and that's the thing that and i say this every time i'm here and i don't i hate to sound like a broken record but it's just amazing to me that, you know, when you think about emerald and you think about, again, that perceived value, and imagine saying to somebody who doesn't know anything about Jewelry Maker, hey, I own a, I, I've just bought 120 carats of emerald. I've just bought 120 carats of emerald. They're going to think you married Rockefeller, right? Yes, absolutely. I mean, it, it, it is. It's so true. To, 
to think that you can you can get 120 carats of emerald and mm -hmm. and, and it's affordable for everybody is is just insane it, it really is. really is beautiful i'm just going to get my light uh, i just want to put a little light behind it so just want you to see how cool this is there should be a, a torch around somewhere if you prefer. Um, the, 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 what I don't want to do is I don't want to, like, I want to get it over the light so I don't Ooh. blind everybody. Oh, I've just done that to myself. Ah, now I can't see. <laughs> but look at this. This is what I mean. How cool <gasps> is this? So this is what I love. It is really cool. So you've got moments of clarity. And then you've got that almost, it's like, it's like forest. You're actually seeing Jardin. why emeralds have the term yeah. Jardin in them, in, in your beautiful crystalline emeralds, which we see for actually millions of pounds. You have these little, they're not fractures, but they're swooshes and swirls yeah, within. It's and an emerald can be photographed under a microscope and it can be recognised by its complete unique map yeah so you're seeing that in this nature of emeralds as well why it's referred to as the jardin <gasps> jardin or the garden <laughs> garden dank garden um my dad's just text me <laughs> Sorry. Hello, I'm Dad. Hi, Dad. He's not watching. I, nobody knows I'm on the telly, do they? They only, <laughs> they only watch if I tell them. I'm on telly. Um, £19. Look at the length That's of it. Absolutely fantastic. That's Beautiful. Cracking. Right. Um, gosh, where's the time gone? Um, your second kit's just arrived. It's <sighs> coming up after the break. It's going to be amazing. Um, and we've got the Chrysocola after the break as well. Before that, though... This is this this is one of the most most breathtaking strands that I've bought you tonight. This is purple garnet, and what I love so much about these wheels is that how small they are and how many of them there are. Mm -hmm. That colour is <gasps> astonishing. It is jammy and juicy and delicious, beautiful berry tones that you've got there. I think this is, do you know what? Who needs a, was it Loganberries you were trying to grow? Yes, Who I needs tried. a Loganberry when you've got natural, natural purple garnet? There is absolutely no mistaking the title purple here. Sometimes when you see a purple garnet, you can go, yeah, 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 that's, that's the purple spectrum end mm -hmm. of what a garnet might be. Mm -hmm. This is out and out purple. It's beautiful. It really is. And every single one of these wheels, wheels, has been beautifully, wheels, wheels has been beautifully faceted. We've been so well behaved tonight. Um, with this wonderful Harlequin faceting, there's only 25 left. But there's, there's absolutely, they're crammed on here, aren't they, these wheels? They are shoulder to shoulder. And one of the joys of, of when a gemstone is cut in this fashion is that you do get that complete flush sensation. It's almost a serpentine. It and is. And if you strand it in that fashion, it will kind of feel almost serpentine. It it's feels serpentine. I'm all about, I, I like a snaky feel. It's very smooth to the touch, but very fluid in its movement. It is. But do you know what you could do as well? I mean, I love the faceting that you've got here, but imagine flipping it the other way. So taking them off the strand and then using, there's a lot of surface area as well. If you wanted mm -hmm. to use it as like a little button effect kind of. Yes. Like this way. Yeah. So popping them back on those sterling silver head pins that were the featherweight wow. head pins right at the beginning of the six o'clock hour. Yes. Uh, you'll be able to see so much more of the gemstone. But I, I particularly love this cut, mm. stranded like this. And there's so much on there's so much on here. 44 carats of your natural purple garnet. So uh, when we say natural garnet, uh, purple uh, means that this hasn't been dyed um, to be able to bring you these colours. These are 100% natural. Exceptionally difficult to, to 
to be able to imagine like sourcing all of these and then threading them all and, and them all being so perfectly colour matched. I mean, it is a premium strand. Mm -hmm. It really, really is. Um, and absolutely beautiful. And, and again, going down to the end as well, like, you know, you could use these in, in earrings, like just a little section of these quite sparingly as well. Mm -hmm. um, I think that would be absolutely beautiful with the sterling silver um, findings kit that we just bought you. How lovely would that be? Uh, in a and I definitely want to use sterling silver with a purple garnet. Yeah. I think it deserves it. Absolutely. Absolutely. 0800 6 trouble 4 6 double 5. If you're loving this right now, if you're like myself and Gem and you're slightly obsessed with gemstones and you see beautiful pieces and you think, oh my gosh, that is, you know, if you watch Jewelry Maker, you know quality when you see it, right? If you're a regular um, um, shopper with us here, you know quality when you see it. So, you know, when you're looking at a strand like this, that is that premium, premium, premium quality. Get it home and see it for yourself. Use your 30 day money back guarantee. Get it home. Have a look. If it's not for you you can always send it back yes it is considered after we've been playing kind of 10 pound strands but when you look at this you know that what you're getting is luxury you know that what you're getting is top grade material you know it's been faceted beautifully you know that you've got that gorgeous clarity as well as that uniform color get it home have a look if it's not for you you can just send it back no quibbles no qualms no questions just send it back it's really that simple absolutely beautiful 49.95 today so after the break are we coming back uh, we've got the cry to cola um, that is coming up for you we've got some more great deals and we've got the kit oh my gosh can I just say look at the size of these citrine coming up for you on the other side of this don't go anywhere we'll see you in two Did you know that when you book a Jewellery Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewellery Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. of genuine gemstones is always exciting but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewelry then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers you can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewelry making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share.
Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. Welcome back. It's the last hour. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good and well happened. And welcome to Jewelry Maker. And tonight we're going to be no we're not. Um we're gonna be doing some jewelry making. Um <laughs> uh, my name is Emma. If I've not met you before, it's lovely to see you. I joined with the fabulous Gem Hawk, so you probably all know because she's fabulous and wonderful. Um we've got the kit coming up for you momentarily. Before that though, ba 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 bum. Christ, a cola. Um, have you seen this strand? I gave it a little flash earlier on, um, and now you get to see it in all of its glory. Um, this is one of the most beautiful Christ, a cola strands that I have ever, ever seen. And what I love about this, not only have you got the blend, uh, you know, of those beautiful greens and the blues that you've got there, uh, which are kind of textbook for Chrysocola, um, but I love these shapes and I love you've got, you know, more surface area to see those blends of colours because of the shapes that these are, uh, have been formed into. Yes, most definitely. They have chosen the, uh, the carving or the cutting exquisitely for the gemstone and you're right it shows it to its best aspect oh, you've got perfect. sort of malachite smushed together with azurite mm -hmm. smushed together with lapis chrysocola is amazing it's very planety it is very planety it's one of my favorites i really really love chrysocola um so you're getting these beautiful we're calling them plain hearts they're more like drops aren't they i would describe them as chubby bottom drops is there anything else you describe as chubby bottom drop? 
Just this particular That's... cut of gemstone. Okay. <laughs> Um, but they are, they are um, fat bottom bears. Um, they're beautiful. They are, uh, the, the blend of colour that you get from Christ Cola is just incredible. And they are very planetary. When you've got them in, in a round, uh, they almost look like little, little earths, little mm -hmm. planet earths that you've got there. But you don't see as much of the patterning and as much as that kind of blend of colours that you've got here um, between the two of, uh, colours that you have, the, those beautiful um, uh, forest greens, almost fern greens, a, a, a really vivid uh, hues of greens that you've got there, then blended with those oceanic colours, with those beautiful kind of deep sea blues that you've got there. I mean, that particular piece, gorgeous, loads of blue. And then you flip it over and you can see on the back you've got, again, those different, almost like, again, almost like a kind of snake skin, dragon skin kind of effect. They're almost otherworldly, aren't they? They are. It's something almost continental about them. Yes. Uh, but the blending is just heavenly. It is, isn't it? That blend of colours is just perfect. Look at that. That looks like... Do you know what? That looks like a map. Mm-hmm. It does. But the Amazon basin. Mmm. Beautiful. Oh, wow. And now you get to see them up close and personal, which is always lovely. Always lovely. It's difficult to show you that on, on uh, live on the TV, but that's why we have these gorgeous recordings. So you can really get an intricate look at what it is that you're purchasing today. And, and these are exquisite. Oh, wow. I, I was expecting these to be a lot more expensive than that, Beck. It does tend to be a gemstone that you have to... A little bit more thinky about it does it does and I, I you know again when I've been buying up a lot of like the six mil rounds lately this is one of those um, gemstones that I was like oh it's a bit, little bit more than what you pay for a, you know mm. a, 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 another strand mm -hmm. um, of the same size but at 21 what oh that's not even where we that's not even where we're stopping that's where we should be oh wow oh awesome Oh, this is even better. We're going under fifteen pounds today. Fourteen pounds a night for Christ, Christ, cola! I can't believe you've gone that low, mm. Beck. I mean, you'd kind of almost expect that to be your uh, bi-colour lapis, which we sometimes yes. are able to get in a blue-green blend. Yes, uh, yes, that's fantastic. Absolutely fabulous. This is incredible, incredible value. Beautiful quality. What would you be inclined to, to do with this strand? Does, it, does anything kind of like jump out when you see it? I think I would want to use them a little bit more sparingly because it is a special gemstone mm -hmm. that does usually have a more considered price tag to Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So I would want to be benefiting from the fact that Becky has pressed the button <laughs> in such a way as to make this super achievable. It um, is, really. And I think I'd probably want to put a clear gemstone around the outside mm. uh, and just allow that to be the center everyone could be a, a, a feature pendant Absolutely. but i would like some of those outer pieces on um, long dropper chain to be earrings just yes. a sing, single drop yep a couple of inches of chain sterling yes. silver like a stiletto drop like a stiletto drop mm. Beautiful. Um, lots of you taking advantage of this, collecting Cardiff, Tracy's there, Gabby, well done, Christine and Julie. Uh, I've got Cardiff, I've got Suffolk, Tyne and Weir, Cambridgeshire, Pembrokeshire. Um, make sure you are checking out if you're on the web, folks. Uh, if you're like us and you're pleasantly surprised right now, uh, £14.95, um, never ever seen this carat weight of Christ Scola go so low. Um, absolutely blown away by the, the, the cheeky deals that we've got. Take advantage while you see it. I always say that. If you're thinking about if you if this if this showed showed up on air and you're like oh I love that and then the price comes in and it's less than what you expected it to be that is the universe telling you go for it you know get it home if it's not for you we don't ask any questions you can just return it mm -hmm. honestly and we we'll just refund it you know you don't you don't have to worry about that at all um, but you know the worst thing you can do in my opinion is like something and I always say, if you see it and you like it, buy it. Mm -hmm. Because people don't regret the things they do. They always regret the things that they don't do. It's very true. It is, honestly. I'm like, no regrets. But then, you know, I went to go and buy a dress the other day. And I loved it. And then I didn't buy it. And then I went back in to buy it. And it had gone. So, yes. happens, right? Good luck. 
Good luck. Right, um, it is now, it's kit time. Um, can we just take a moment to just marvel at the mystique and the beauty of what Gem has created with this kit. These citrine are absolutely huge um, and this this is called golden sunlight i can't think of anything better and not only is the kit called golden sunlight but gem has absolutely captured the name of the kit within every single one of these beautiful designs excuse me that is they are just spectacular. They are absolutely spectacular. I love this citrine. It's a strand not dissimilar to one that I purchased for myself a few <sighs> months ago. And it just makes me so happy. Citrine is said to be the gemstone of happiness. It's said to bring joy and fortune and prosperity. Um, it, it can be given to somebody that you are fond of to, to bring them that level of joy. I think Look at it's. That. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Gem's like, hmm, and I'm like, I'm not listening to you, but I'm looking at the jewelry and I'm like, holy guacamole, that is amazing. But it is, you know, citrine is that gemstone of, um, it is scientifically proven that the colour yellow makes you smile. It's a science, it's a science. There's a mm -hmm. science to colour. Mm -hmm. You know, when you go to, um, it's no mistake that the, the golden arches are yellow and red. Red makes you hungry and and yellow makes you smile. And that's why you'll find a lot of fast food restaurants all have the colour red in their logos. Ah. It's no accident. Didn't no accident. That. So there we go. Um, but it has got that wonderful sunshiny glow. Citrine right now as well. Um, very, I'm finding for my business it's very difficult for me to source at the moment. Yeah. Very it, difficult. It does go through phases. It does. Um, and it, it is, it is, right now I'm finding it very difficult to source. I'm finding it very difficult to source. Certainly anything of this kind of, um, uh, and it's so unusual, this citrine. It's gorgeous. And you've got those blends of the, the almost like a bicolour effect that mm -hmm. you've got within the citrine. I just want to show you that and um, just use this piece as an example. Um, but you've got that, that bicolour. How cool is this? And the textures, it is almost like it's been fle like flecked with gold as well. It is. It's proper sunshine captured in a gemstone. It's and gorgeous. on my strand that I worked with, there were about three or four pieces that had a, a lovely lucky rainbow in them. Oh, and that's my fave. The piece that I'm going to work with for the demonstration has got a little bit of a rainbow in it as well. I'm not saying that you definitely will have one. No, um, but, but in this sort of standard of, of location. I think it's an absolutely gorgeous source, and all of the uh, all of the um, the rainbows that you get are because of the inclusions inside. So the way that the light is reflected, and, and in fact, I'm seeing them in this particular strand uh -huh. as well now. So again, we won't guarantee that you're going to get rainbows in yours, but it, it you know you could get some. Enjoy looking for them. I yeah. mean, citrine, especially of this nature, has got a really interesting inner dimension to it. There's sort of misty moments, there's captured uh, shards of light throughout. It's beautiful. I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> it's absolutely stunning. It is really, really lovely. And I'm looking at this like, mm, what could I, what could I make with this? Oh, Gem is going to demonstrate something. Um, just for the citrine alone right now, 580 carats of citrine, 580 carats of citrine. And in this particular strand, you have got 10, that's 10 there, right? Yeah, 10 stones in this particular strand. Right now, at 42 pounds and 80 pence, you're looking at, forget about everything else in the kit, because we haven't even touched on that yet, but the citrine alone, a stone of this size and a stone of this quality right now is four pounds and 30 pence. Mm -hmm. Four pounds and 30 pence. If I was sourcing that as a cabochon... There's no way! I'd be looking probably between six and ten pounds, and that would be without the drill hole and possibly without the faceting. Yeah. Finding citrine as a cabochon is quite, quite tricky, actually. Gosh. It's, it's fairly yeah. few and far between. So these are definitely cabochon sizes. I mean, they're vast. Wow. 
Wow. They're, they're, they're just mind-boggling. And every time you look at them, you're going to see something. And from different angles, you're going to see something different. And when you take them off the strand, you'll see, you know, completely different again. Just phenomenal. Right now, just for the citrine alone, you know, four pounds... What did I say? Four pounds thirty mm -hmm. for a, for a citrus of that size. Yeah. That in it itself is a massive, massive achievement. A massive achievement. And what you're looking at is, it, I believe it's Brazilian as well, right? I believe so. The clarity that you've got uh, as well, although you have got those interesting natural inclusions, you've got those interesting kind of um, uh, different nuances within mm -hmm. the 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 actual body of the, the crystal, the majority of it, has got that wonderful translucency, because it's... Yeah, and, and that is something to point out with citrine, isn't it? Because a yeah. lot of it can be quite milky and creamy yeah. and, and completely included to the point that you don't have light passing no. through it, where this does have that beautiful quartzness to it. It really does. It really, really does. Um, along with the... Sorry, all we've done is bark on about the citrine, but, you know, just for the citrine alone right now at £42.80, and pence, I'd be snapping that up. Um, it, and we don't see stones of this size very often in no. something that is so difficult to source at the moment. I can tell you that hand on heart my experience right now I'm really struggling I had I have a client who is desperate to get a big citrine piece and I literally I found one and I was like oh my gosh this is incredible it was like seven was it 700 carrots mm -hmm. oh my gosh it was amazing but yeah not in the budget so um, you're also getting the white crackled quartz as well, um, which is in this beautiful, um, well, they're faceted rounds, but they're just, they've just got that wonderful sparkle. I, I love the, the crackled um, effect um, with the crackled quartz, almost mimicking some of the, the moments that you have within the citrine as well, which is just beautiful. Um, on top of that, you've got the gold wire. You're getting two spools of gold wire. So you're getting 10 meters of your six mil and you are getting three meters of the 1.25 mil, so something of real substance. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. The big piece with the multiple stones in it, I think it's got five of the citrines on it, you really benefit from having that heavier gauge wire wow. when you're working with a piece like this. If you were to pop one mil through, uh, you might kind of struggle to keep the form of the necklace. Look, though, and you will see that that 1.25 mil wire has gone effortlessly through the drill holes Amazing. in the citrines on this strand. Amazing. So we're not stopping at £42.80. pence. Oh, my gosh, Beck. Wow. We're giving you a £20 saving. A £20 wow. saving. Wow, wow, wow. Um... <laughs> For citrine mm. of this particular, uh, this is insane, of this size, absolutely incredible. Um, each one of these stones now, without the wire, without the crackled quartz, just these citrines alone, you're looking at £2.30 per stone. Uh, Gem, this, this bracelet that we're mm -hmm. showing right now is one of the most spectacular, beautiful pieces I think I've ever seen on Jewelry Maker. The way that the design all the way around captures not only the, 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 the name of, of the bundle that we're bringing, the kit that we're bringing, but also that sunshiny golden beauty from within the citrine, it's spectacular. Something like that, you know, value for something like that, price point for something like that with the citrine of that size in? Um, probably north of £35, dependent on where I'm selling it, maybe up to sort of £50, £55 at a more exclusive event in a boutique, higher than that. What? <laughs> if I saw that for, I don't know, £110, I'd just go, oh, yeah, that's handmade and it's £110 and it's beautiful. I wouldn't bat an eyelid, honestly. That's insane. Hertrude, Hilda, Maggie, Gabby, Alan, uh, Wendy, Christine, Michelle, so many of you there. Make sure you're checking out, peeps. Make sure you're checking out. Fantastic. I mean, I like a faceted white quartz, and uh, I had an email come through saying that I was going to get faceted crackled white quartz, and I was like, oh, well, well, what's that going to be like? It's different. It's absolutely stunning. We've talked a lot about the citrine, but that quartz strand is absolutely gorgeous as well really really pretty it's like thousands of tiny little diamonds inside inside 
It's I beautiful. Mean, yes, it really is. Okay. Really gorgeous. So we are going to look at the pendant that's closest to me, um, which is an entry level beginner's design, uh, which I feel anybody would be able to achieve, oh, even if you're does, brand new to wire work. That does not look entry level beginner at all. It, no, I promise you it okay, is. Okay, I'm a couple well, I'm of key techniques. So we have two different wires in this bundle and we'll be using both of them for this demonstration. I'm starting off with the 1.25 millimeter gauge gold plated, uh, gold colored silver plated round wire. And I'm working with around 14 to 16 inches. Now this is again, more than we generally need, but it just gives us that reassurance we can change your mind part way through. Perfect. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a very, very simple bale at the top. Now at home, I would use bale makers or a marker pen to give me the round form. And I'm starting around about three to four inches from one end of that piece of wire, which we've cut. Right. And I'm just going to use very lazily the handle of my pliers to emulate a round form that you would much better achieve with a mandrel than I have just massacred the wire just there. But I don't have my mandrel with me. There you go. And we're going to take that tail all the way around the end around about three times and that creates a nice firm neck to the pendant which gives us strength that we can later rely on when we're kind of building up the design. Ah! It's just a fly. It's just a fly. You say it's just a fly. I'm going to panic, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. That was amazing. Screech. I do apologise. <laughs> He's flown away. It was where it landed and it was the brushing. You didn't see any of that. You didn't see any of, of that. It was a little bit personal. We're not even on first name terms. <laughs> what I'm going to do is after I've done my four little wraps <laughs> and I'm going to trim away using my flush cutters, just that little bit of excess and then smooth that end section away so that we can kind of cover that neatly uh, uh, later on in the design. So I'm just going to very, very uh, gently just smooth and heat the wire at this end so it's nice and straight. And I'm then going to add on one of these gorgeous citrines. Now this one does have a little rainbow and I'm going to bring that all the way along and you can see how fluidly that moves on the 1.25 millimeter wire. Wow. So you know that the drill hole here is absolutely impeccable. So the next thing that I'm going to do is decide which is the front face of the design. It doesn't really matter at the moment too much because that is going to spin. Um, but if this is the front because the cut wire around the neck is at the back there, I'm then going to decide whether I want to uh, go left or right. Sorry, the wire's just getting the best of me. I'm just going to push that out of the way a second. There we go. And I'm going to put a little right angle bend on the bottom there, going over to one side. So you can see I just tried to get in quite close to the base of the design with the bent chain nose pliers mm -hmm. to get that shape into position. Now, the next section of the demonstration would be to pre-strand some of those beautiful faceted crackled white quartz onto the 0.6 millimeter gauge gold colored silver plated wire mm -hmm. and what I've done is I've threaded a number of them onto the uh, wire as you can see just mm -hmm. coming all the way along there but I have left the wire on the reel what this enables me to do is to work with minimal wastage because quite often we we kind of estimate how much we're going to use we either overestimate or underestimate yeah now with the heavier wire that's fine we'll always find a use for it but if you're left with four inches of a 0.6 it, 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 it may well end up in the bin right. so it's also a great way of keeping your beads under control because they will be between the point that you are working and the point of control which is on the reel so I'm just going to pop the reel over to one side out of view but if you just uh, work out that the uh, beads have been pre-threaded onto there and I'll just pop the reel off to one side so the next thing I'm going to do is wind on around about four coils at the base of this little right angle that we've created mm -hmm. so I'm just going to take the tail and push maybe half an inch around one side and draw that around in a coil. So I've got two little coils on that side. I can now make best use of the wire and turn that all the way around. And you can see how smoothly and fluidly that works. Perfect. And then we're just going to uh, hopefully gain some control over the wire and then just squish that last bit down so again that it sits flat against that design mm -hmm. and in that way it's less likely to catch on clothes and the such like so we've started down on the base and mm -hmm. uh, this is the back that we're looking at so i'm just going to flip that over hopefully not causing any damage to the beautiful emma 
I just took my glasses off as well and maybe I'll put them back on. <laughs> Safety <laughs> glasses. So I've gone for four wraps down there at the base and the next thing I'm going to do is to allow one of those little gemstones to zip line into position. So my final wire, my 0.6 is coming underneath that heavy gauge wire at this stage. I'm going to hold that very, very firmly and take the tail over the top and draw that around. Now because I started with four wraps at the bottom, my sense of uh, wanting to keep things symmetrical would mean that I would want to go for four wraps again sure. further along. And you can take that however you want to, uh, if, if you want to keep that even, it just has a nice sense of symmetry. Now you can see the coil here has come slightly awry, so I place one of the tips of the pliers underneath the heavy wire and one over the top squish those into position and what that enables me to do is just tidy that coil up so it takes on an almost machined effect. Now at this stage things are still a little bit feisty and they're trying to sort of wibble all over the place. Don't worry about it. As you move through the technique it will start to gain control. So I'm just going to show you one more time how to add the quartz onto the heavy gauge wire which is to control it with your non-dominant hand, bring the tail of the wire over the top and all the way around. One, two, three and four. Nobody's singing three times a lady because I went for four. Normally people are singing in my ear at this stage about how many times I've coiled around the wire. So you continue with this design and you can have it quite open as such or you can scooch those so that they're nestled nice up and side by side as you prefer. And as you move along the design, I'm not going to do any more, you would just very very gently curve that wire until it fits into position like so. Gorgeous. So imagine that you have filled all of that space with the, a cluster or a more open design with the crackled faceted quartz and then you would simply use your 0.6 millimeter gauge at the end to wrap almost like a, a gizmo coil mm -hmm. around for a couple of inches and then take the tail of the wire all the way around that neckline like so this is quite a heavy wire and at this stage it's had a little bit of work hardening and then you would uh, just take that coil down at the bottom so I can show you how to coil that 1.25 wire if you like. So we're going to take the very end of the wire now, we've already filled all the way around the side with the white quartz, close to the end of that uh, section of 1.25 with your round nose pliers give that a really good tight grip and start twisting that around. Now it is a little bit more firm to work with than your one mil, but you do just need to take a little bit of control and take that steady. Now what you can do is leave the central coil naked and then gizmo around the outer coil as I have done in this design or you can leave the whole thing free of gizmo coiling or you can gizmo the whole lot. One thing I will say is when you're starting a coil it's much easier to start that coil with naked wire than it is with gizmoed wire. Once you get that first coil into position and once you get it going along you will then be able to uh, gain better purchase on it. But that's the basis of the design and you can see how quickly that will build up and you'll be able to add on the smaller gemstones to your heart's content. Wow. Super easy, I think. Really suitable for anybody to have a go with. And what a stunning price point for that strand I'm alone. I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away. And to think that you can create all of those pieces that you've made with that mm -hmm. kit. And, uh, and they look so expensive uh, and to have citrine of this size traditionally could be so expensive mm -hmm. it's been really popular if you've got it in your baskets do check it out Terry, Alice, Eleanor um, Tanya, Yvonne, Gabby Alan, make sure you are checking out lots of people have multi-bought as well so uh, good luck and well done to those of you that have multi-bought um, £22.80 and pence just for the citrine of these sizes alone absolutely. is absolutely incredible. It really, really is. 0800 644 655. It's not too late. Do take advantage. Oh my gosh, it's time for an Angelite star buy. Don't see Angelite very often here at Jewelry Maker. Um, it is a crystal that I work with, a gemstone that I work with a lot. Um, and I'm so excited to be able to bring this to you. These beautiful angelic blues that's coming up right now as a star buy.
There are very few gemstones in the world that have this wonderful, beautiful, serene, mm -hmm. angelic blue color that you've got here. And it's almost got kind of a silver undertone. It's very muted very um, calming and soothing. Um, it is a, a gemstone that um, a lot of people find that they can get those calming kind of soothing mm -hmm. energies from the from the gemstone itself and and uh, I think this is absolutely beautiful. Um, take a look at this 50 carats in your stunning angelite. Oh my gosh. The colour almost um, a forget-me-not blue but a little more muted yes a little more dreamy a little more calming and soothing celestial celestial mm. Mm. it is beautiful we were it, talking earlier about how yellow is the color of happiness mm -hmm. a blue is the color of calm it really is it really, really is. And healing. And healing, yes, definitely. And, you know, we don't talk, uh, you know, much about kind of uh, crystal healing, that kind of thing, um, and metaphysical beliefs within crystals, of course. Um, you know, everybody has their own kind of beliefs. But some people, you know, do believe with angelite that it is that, that, that calming gemstone that, that does help with, you know, if you're somebody that suffers from kind of having anxieties and, and, and things like that um, by wearing this gemstone, some people do believe that that, that is something that can help. Um, again, you know, not a fact, not suggesting that you, you know, buy this to help you with any kind of anxiety or anything, but uh, a lot of people um, do believe that with Angelite. Um, and, and this particular, uh, almost a silver dove grey kind of undertone that you've got just, it, it's, and we've talked about this before, how we're talking about this gemstone and our tone has, has come down. We've yeah. become a lot more serene, we've become a lot more subdued and relaxed and mm -hmm. calm be beautiful with how light this i would love it and that for me wearing this with how light and i'd be asleep yeah <laughs> a natural how light yeah. with angelite and then a drop of larimar off the bottom mm. and that's just heaven beautiful well they paint hospital waiting rooms in in blue quite mm -hmm. often as well yeah. to, to kind of make you feel calm yes as, as calm as the situation will allow absolutely Absolutely. 50 carats in your angel light. These are graduated plain rondelles, approximately 3 by 2 to 8 by 6 millimeter on a 16 centimeter strand. Um, what kind of... Um <laughs> What kind of, uh, I know we've talked about how light, we've talked about mm -hmm. um, uh, Larimar, you just mentioned. Oh, yes. um, I think this would be lovely with, I don't know, I think it'd be nice with kind of pewter, kind of gunmetal colours as well. Just that would like, be quite cool. Mm. Yeah, make it a bit more vintage feeling. Yeah. It'd be brilliant with uh, Rainbow Moonstone. Oh, yes. I'm just having a nosy what we've got coming up, seeing what else we could like pair it with. There's so many things that we could pair it with. It's just incredible. Be great with pearls as well because then you do have the um, the clouds, fluffy white clouds and blue sky. <gasps> it's funny you talk about Ooh. Larimar. It's funny that you talk about Larimar. I didn't know that was there. No. Honest. Oh, that is divine. Absolutely beautiful. And then I'm just going to bring in the how light from my bracelet. So you can think those three together are just so beautiful. That's beautiful. Isn't it? Love that combination. I do. It's lovely. And the great thing with the angel light as well is, you, you know, adding it now with the Larimar, you've got, you can, it, it brings out more of the blues. But if you were to add the, say, Tanzanite with this angel light, mm -hmm. that would be so lovely. You'd have more kind of the purple tones, which would come through as well. Yes. Gorgeous. Yeah. Now, everybody's checking out in 1995. That's not where we're going to be stopping today. Um, 0800 644 uh, Elizabeth Mary's there. Well done, Jane's there. Well done, Christine. Uh, well done to uh, Lancashire, Cheshire, Pembrokeshire. Make sure you are checking out if you're on the web. We're not stopping there. We are going lower. So, uh, there are some pearls here, actually. I, yeah, I do think. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh my god. 
That's gorgeous, isn't it? That is genuinely heavenly. It's beautiful. Hello to Kaylee. Make sure you are checking out, folks. 0800 uh, 644 uh, You can bid on the web, or of course, you can tap the app. Um, and it's yours today 50 carats of angel light for £12.95. That is absolutely insane if you have never ever ever had an opportunity to work with this gemstone to use this gemstone uh, take advantage of this today you've got that 30 day money back guarantee get it home see it for yourself um, it is a gemstone that I work with a lot um, if I have like custom orders for bracelets um, mm -hmm. you know um, I, I work a lot I'm qualified as a crystal therapist crystal healer so a lot of people um, give me kind of like prescriptions for a bracelet right this is something mm -hmm. that they want help with or they you know want to improve on um, and so working with the different crystals um, energies again this is not something that is a fact this is not something that we can you know say absolutely here on, on jewelry maker I want to make that perfectly clear um, but angel light is angel light is one of my favorites to work with because it's just that real again it just it's so calming just to look at it I mean just to even if you don't believe in any of that you know the color therapies uh -huh. and all that kind of stuff is just beautiful there is something to be said for its texture as well mm. it has almost a, a waxen texture yes. to it. it it's quite unusual and it is one of those gemstones that you just don't see every day it's not something that you see on the high street you nope. know you might occasionally see it in the boutique but it is more of a kind of a specialist thing I suppose it really is I I, I know I said this to you earlier and I was like mm, I'm probably not gonna say that on air but I am gonna say it on air um, I I I had to go elsewhere because I couldn't find any angel light there for, for my bracelets. I had to buy mine from somewhere that wasn't jewelry maker, everybody. It's a sad day. It is a sad day. Mm. It is a sad day. So it's not something that we see all the time. But with that said, we have got another strand for you that's <gasps> slightly different. So that is, for me, something that I would want to have to hand for when somebody does want to commission a piece with it. Yeah. Definitely. Lo everybody's checked out apart from one person. People are multi-buying as well. Um, <gasps> wow! <laughs> These massive. are massive. And they, th when we talk about that texture, mm. that kind of waxy texture that you're talking about, yeah. it's not highly polished. It doesn't have that glossy finish. It's not quite matte. It's kind of that in-between. Again, it's a, it, even the texture of it is... It's like a baby blanket. Serene. It's comforting. Comforting. Oh, the colour. The colour, though. Beautiful. Would you like this in a ring, Adam? I think it'd be gorgeous. So these are your... Um, what would you call these? Are they tumbles? Uh, I suppose, yeah, tumbles. Yes. Beautiful, aren't they? Um, these are your graduated plain tumbles, approximately 6 by 5 to 13 by 9 millimetres. I mean, they are substantial, sizable in that centre stone. And just to, uh, as Adam was talking about with the ring. Wow. Absolutely fantastic. Colour. I'd want it with rose gold plated sterling silver, I think. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Jim. Be quite a be very vintage, wouldn't it? Yeah, there'd be an element, almost mm. sort of 1950s. Mm. It's such a beautiful tone. I don't think there's anything else quite like it. There's nothing else like it, I don't think. I don't think there's anything else like it. Maybe, and sell, sell, I can never say it. Celeth diet is probably the closest that I would say, but even then yeah. that's more of an aquaceous blue than this kind of silver blue. There are similarities to it, but uh, yeah, mm -hmm. that's beautiful. It's the color of serenity, isn't it? It is. Oh, and look at it up close and personal. It's almost got a glow, like a calcedony glow to it as well, when you see it in the light box. Yes. Yeah. Incredible. Mm. Gorgeous. Oh, we, we loving this. Well, can we just talk about this for the rest of the show? <gasps> really? really? <laughs> we were separated at we birth, were. I'm fairly sure. <laughs> we actually were. <laughs> I remember our first ever show together. <laughs> We were just finishing each of the sentences, like we'd worked together for just a few minutes and we were finishing each of the sentences and then you, you said something. <laughs> I thought 
thought we weren't going to reference that, Emma. We're not going <laughs> to reference it, but Gem said something very funny that was, uh, she meant to say something else, but it came out as something else. I think I've got a video for it somewhere. I, I may put it on did my Facebook. Did you save it? Yeah, I That's did. horrific. <laughs> I saved it. <laughs> It's all on YouTube anyway. Uh, I will do. All to do with that faceted black spinel. No, it wasn't. Oh, it was it? London Blue. Oh, yes, you're right. London Blue overlooking the Thames. Yeah, I remember <laughs> yes. it well. The Glitterati. <sighs> so, um, £14.95. <laughs> 50 carat. Uh, 50 carats of Angelite. 50 carats of Angelite in these graduating <laughs> plain tumbles. Um, if, you, if you got the ones, I'd get both of these. I would absolutely yes. get both of these. Yeah, I think you would be able to kind of play around again with uh, the layering up. I mean, layered up, that looks amazing. Mm. With those little pearls that you had earlier. I don't know where with the crackle With the crackle quartz. quartz from the kit. Oh my gosh, that's heavenly. See, it's incredible, Literally isn't it? Heavenly. How it just takes on a totally different look. Uh, when you you change it, the gemstones that it's with. Yeah. So with the with the citrine earlier, and now you've it's just brought everything down and just oh, beautiful. You know when uh, goosebumps. Ooh. You see the the, the perfect colour of sky. It's getting sort of past uh, the afternoon. Yeah. It's not getting dark yet, but the sky is is beautiful. You've mm -hmm. had a wonderful day, and then the sun glints through the clouds, and it gives you that beautiful kind of light yeah. appreciation to the blue tone. Yeah, beautiful. Um, we've got a message, even even with my... Uh, uh, hi, Emma, Jem, Becky, Adam and Leah. Great show. Good to see you both again. Uh, love the show and the demos. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much. Mwah. We love Thanks you too. Thanks for being with us. Much yeah. appreciated. Feel free to send your messages in. It'd be, it's nice to get your texts in. It is. It's nice We'd love to, to know to hear people are watching. Random facts and stuff. We do. We need. Do we like a random fact? I like a random, random fact. Um, right. We are going to do the deal of the day next. If you missed this earlier, oh my gosh, this rhodolite garnet is incredible. Ooh. What you're about to see with these blush tones um, is is just beautiful. It's absolutely divine, and it's coming up right now. So, Rhodolite Garnet um, is an incredible gemstone that is renowned um, for having more of a, um, a kind of berry purple un undertone to it, uh -huh. rather than a red that you would see from a different garnet. <laughs> so, um, so an andradite. Um, so, <laughs> like it's all it's all there somewhere. It's all there somewhere. Um, but this particular strand has got this wonderful blush. That's the mm. the, the only word I can really describe. It has a, a a real just a little blush to it. Do you know it makes me think of dessert wine? Yeah. So sweet. Oh yes. But not deep like a claret. Beautiful. I like that. I like that. Dessert wine. Not deep like a claret. There we go. So you can see um, the, the most beautiful clarity that you've got in this as well. So you can really see the pinks coming through. You can see what we mean by those, the, the undertone of this uh, is, is that purple. So you've got those flashes of purple that are coming through. The glow, the clarity, absolutely everything in this strand is exquisite. How every single one of those... Um, beautiful graduated plain rondelles have just been beautifully polished i mean you can see reflecting the lights in the lazy susan where this has been recorded and it just shows you how highly polished and how exquisite the quality is of this particular piece and uh, i don't know looking at this right now it is 
uh, it's, it's decadent, it's rich, it's sumptuous, mm -hmm. um, and, and it's completely 100% natural. Um, when we look at Road Light Garnet, a lot of times, um, the premier location, of course, are in Rajasthan, in India. Um, this is your Indian uh, road like on it so you know that you're looking at some of the best quality that there is uh, to be able to own but even if you didn't know any of that just gazing your eyes upon this beautiful strand you can tell without a shadow of a doubt whether you know anything about gemstones or not that what you're looking at right now is is nothing shy of, of exceptional it is absolutely delicious every single one of those stones glowing beautifully imagine you know uh, how gorgeous you're going to feel wearing this imagine how many compliments you're going to get or how many people are going to say to you oh my gosh you know what a beautiful uh, piece of jewelry that you've created how stunning are those stones it is it's spectacular and of course garnet as well one of those gemstones if you're somebody that does sell your jewelry that people know about you know people know garnet it is a, a, a well loved and it's a well respected gemstone um, so this is um, going to be beautiful to be able to, you know, even use it as it is as, a, as an entire strand or to use these quite sparingly amongst kind of other pieces or other gemstones that you have in your collection. Um, just gorgeous. What would you do with this gem? I think I'd probably have to go for uh, bracelets, so just like a stacker style, mm. so uh, on a, a beading thread and then with sterling silver clasp. Uh, it is just very, very beautiful. Uh, you could open that out. I'd like to see what it looked like with rose gold mm, spaces in between. That. Mm. that would look really cool. And then obviously you could extend that out a little bit. Maybe go for two bracelets or um, you know something a little bit longer in a necklace form, something mm. like that. Gorgeous. I really? do love that. Beautiful. 50 carats with this clarity, with this colour. Um, you, you're talking about gem quality, you know, jewellery sh store quality. Mm -hmm. That's what we're looking at right now. Uh, you know, if you saw this, like your bracelet you were just describing then, with the sterling um, silver rose gold plated spacer beads mm -hmm. and the rose gold plated sterling silver clasp on the back. I mean, and you saw that in the window of a jeweller's, you know, for, you know, multiple three figures mm -hmm. you wouldn't bat an eyelid because this is the quality that you would expect to see you know in those high-end jewelry stores Wow! That's exceptional. <laughs> Absolutely oh my fantastic. Gosh. I was expecting this to be the same, the, like the Rondel, the um, wheels that we had earlier at forty nine mm -hmm. ninety nine. I thought we'd be closer to that price. Just beautiful. Um, that wonderful kind of dusty rose colour that you've got there. Um, oh, I like that description. Do you like that? That's mm. what I meant by like a blush, like. Like a vintage rose. Yeah. It's absolutely stunning. And some of those stones in the centre are really quite large, aren't they? They are really large. I mean, you're looking about five by threes in the centre there. So for this quality, you know, if these were opaque, if these were, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we do, I'm, you know, I work with garnets that are, are are opaque and I love them and they're beautiful but when you're looking at clarity like this when you're looking at a, a polish and a luster on the surface like this I mean it's just magical and and just so decadent and so beautiful um, and uh, and so high-end you know you'd be able to, I think this is to work with something of this quality would be incredible it would beautiful 29 99 0800 644 um, You can call our UK call centre, of course, um, right here in the UK. Um, and of course, you've got 30 day money back guarantee. So get it home, it's not for you. You can always send it back. And you can also add this to your order because there's only one PMP until midnight tonight. <laughs> right, let's do. Oh, this is. We've not had any cabs yet, Gem. Oh, it's at my street. It is right up your street. Okay then. I didn't know that we did this gemstone. Wow. Oh my gosh. I'm going to I'm actually just going to show you. I just want to show you this this piece to start with. Look at the feathers. It is how it forms in these beautiful 
feather-like inclusions that you've got here, just similar to what you would see in seraphonite mm -hmm. or seraphonite, you have these kind of yeah. feather like inclusions that you've got here. See, that one to me looks like two feathers, two wings have enclosed together mm. and they're protecting. Yes. And then, I mean, check this one out. And you can still see, again, you know, how it forms, that wonderful kind of natural. I love this, the blend of the, the two colours that you've got mm -hmm. there. And again, translucent meets opaque it's yes. beautiful they are they're gorgeous and look at this oh my gosh do you know what this reminds me of and i don't know if this is is going to be um the right thing to say but i'm going to say it anyway do you know what this reminds me of this from at the bottom this reminds me of the little juicy bits in a pink grapefruit oh okay yes i know what you're saying do you know what i mean the little what Little juice pockets, is that what you call them, madam? Ah, oh, they do, don't they? I love this pink grapefruit colour. In fact, I can't think of any other way to describe this colour now other than pink grapefruit. No, once you've seen it, you can't unsee it. No. It's like pink grapefruit with cream. Ooh. Ooh. That's gorgeous, I love that one. That is beautiful. What would you do with these, Gem? I mean, I know you are the queen of cabs. I love my pendant making and um, I recently launched a scolocyte pendant with the sunburst design not dissimilar to the bangle we were looking at earlier. Wow. And it was a real struggle to put it on my store rather than just keep it. Scolocyte is amazing and the more you see it the more you love it mm -hmm. and seeing it up close and personal in your hand is, is it's just a million miles better than yeah. seeing it on screen. It's it a is. stunning gemstone. It has a, almost a kind of shiller to it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. A wonderful, like you would expect to see in, like the, the, the like mica, you know, like you'd see in lapidolite or in um, some amazonites, you know, that beautiful. Yeah. It is like butterfly wings. It is. But then you've got almost swan-like feathers. Oh, a swan had my wine yesterday. I'm sorry, a swan took your wine? Yeah, a swan what? had my wine yesterday. I've got video on my phone, but I say a naughty word, so I can't show you. Was it an expensive wine? It was in a plastic beaker. I was outside having a barbecue. <laughs> it had my wine. You're supposed to give them grapes and cabbage. Well, they get swan food, swan and duck food. Well, that's much healthier. Yeah. yeah. Four t oh, my gosh! Now, that's not where I expected this to go. I thought no. a scolocyte parcel would be around the 34 30, yeah, that's exactly where I was. Maybe because Becky's in a button-pressing mood, it would be 29.95. That's half of what I thought it yeah, would be. Yeah, absolutely. That's exquisite. I know I, the, the, the piece that I, I made to sell, the, the, the individual cab was about 12, 13 pounds. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, scolocyte as well, like you said, there's not really... And the colour as well, it's very, it's very bang on trend right now. There's a lot of kind mm. of uh, nudes and uh, peaches and that rose gold, the rose gold. It's not going anywhere, is it, it's rose It's not gold? going anywhere. Mm. I'm glad, it's my fave. I was so ahead of the game, though. I used to, I've loved rose gold forever. And then yeah. I'm like, oh, now it's become trendy. I can get it in everything. <laughs> it's, it's just spectacular. Look at the... Sh I don't know how well you can see that. Can you see that? <gasps> that yeah, absolutely. That's amazing. Good luck. Good luck. Right, next up, I have got some multicolored opal for you. Ooh! Oh, look at this. Do you know what? Oh, gosh, that's fun. Do you know what? This is calming and smooth it, smoothing. It's calming and soothing and at the same time vivid. Yes. Is, does that make any sense at all? Have it a look at this strand. Sense. You'll know what I mean. You'll know, I mean, it's pastel with a pop. It is, though. I mean, that is almost neon. Yeah, at the same time, it's pastel. It is, yeah, and, and that's something that really only opal can do. So deliver. true. And this is from Peru as well. It is Peruvian. <gasps> It is beautiful. Uh, it, 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 again, against all skin tones, I can't wear anything that's a bit pasty because I'm a bit pasty. Yeah, me too. But with this, it's like, oh my gosh, it's pastel, yet at the same time, it's pop. 
Yeah. It's a pastel pop, that's what this strand should be called. Yeah, I'm, I'm coining that. Um, <laughs> no! Seriously? Beck, is it going under 10? £6.95, pence. add it to your order. <sighs> So um, it's Peruvian. It's Peruvian. It's multicolour. It's multicolour. And they're rounds. And they are rounds. Um, graduated, four to five mil. That's absolutely winning. And you've got the combination. So you're not just buying a strand of the pink Peruvian or the blue Peruvian mm -hmm. or the green Peruvian. Which is much less seen, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And that's why there's only a few pieces on this, uh, on this particular strand. Um, but you are getting all of those colours together. So you could either separate them, keep them as they are. Um, but to be able to, for £6.95, to be able to get all of those three colours from Peru on this beautiful strap, I think this is just a, an amazing deal. It's exceptional. You've also got that glow that you really only get with a, a coloured opal as yes. well. Yes, so it's true. quite unlike anything else. Do you know, I'd separate those blues out and pop them with the angelite. Oh, I think yes. That'd be just something a little bit different, just one in amongst mm. the, the more muted celest, celestial I almost said celestite, it's angelite, angelite. Yes. Not Perfect. celestite at all. Oh, oh. When are you back, Gem? I think I'm back on Friday. Are you? It's a challenge on the late, so uh, we'll see what we see. Ah. Oh, I don't know when I'm back. I'll be back when I get a text message from Tom or Chloe, which is usually, <laughs> can you come for today? Can you come for, we might need you tomorrow. Are you free if we meet, need you tomorrow? So that's what it is. But it's nice, I'm only down the road. <laughs> so it's lovely to be here. It is. Oh, oh it's been lovely working with you, darling. Mm. Mwish, mwish. Sister from another mist. I got my hair caught in your microphone. Oh, there. sorry, babe. It's all right. It's <laughs> all right. Um, so you're back on Friday on the Late Show. Yeah. Um, we are back tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Uh, don't forget, if there's anything in your shopping baskets, check, check, check it out. There's been some incredible deals tonight. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. Um, enjoy the rest of your evening and uh, look forward to seeing you all soon. Mwah. Love you lots. Bye.